Evgenia, this is so boring event. This is none of our business as long as the clients enjoy it. Go fetch some champagne for the guests, or everyone will die of bored heart. Who's that? This is Deputy Gorski. And I think that's Vadim Safrono with him. Go fetch some champagne for the guests, or everyone will die of boredom here. You bastard! It's been a long time since a beautiful woman spilled champagne all over me. Drowning you wouldn't be enough. To drown? Madame Dolinska, what was that? No comments. It's okay. Natalie, you saved me as always. Watch and learn, baby, while you still can. Everyone almost fell asleep until you came. And then bam, and it's all over the internet. The client will be happy. So who is the genius pair girl here? Well... Hey, did you spill champagne on someone famous? This Vadim Safronov. Who is he? Zhenya, you serious? Who's he? Bastard, who left me without a coat desert house. My sugar daddy had a heart attack, remember? Well, I thought that was it. I picked myself a suit, Sicilian widow style. Lace, corsets... Natalie, get to the point. Well, this Vadim Safronov saved my sugar daddy. He personally operated on him. He is like a genius cardiac surgeon. He also opened his clinic and called it Safronia in his honor. Now that is some peacock. Natalia, I don't get why you're upset. The Code Desert house is still yours, your sugar daddy is your husband. For now. He's got a second wind after the surgery. And a little birdie told me that he's looking for a younger wife. This is what you get for giving away your best years. So in the situation with Safronov, I mixed business with pleasure. I would never have thought that this playboy was a doctor. <laughs> Men without heart. Emilia, darling, if you want to leave, I will totally understand. Vadim has sent some message again that he is busy once again, that he has some kind of meeting. You look wonderful, darling, and beautiful as always. Good evening. You gained weight. Looks good on you. Let me introduce you, Emilia Kolubova, daughter of our new conductor. So nice to meet you. Likewise, I'll get something to eat. Get a caviar canapé. I hope champagne is good here. I hope so, too. This girl is a real fairy. Well-mannered. Fifth generation aristocrat. I will soon be able to call her my daughter. Good choice. I don't think Vadim will resist for too long. <laughs> and how is your Stasik doing? Still runs around with the ball? He does. He earns millions. We don't interfere with our son's choice. Neither personal nor professional. Champagne? Who serves champagne on the left, young man? You're at the opera, not an inn. Let me have some. Thank you. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, to a nice evening. Oh, oh I hope so. <laughs> Good evening, Sofia Polonska. Yes, I am a big fan of yours. Can I have a picture with you? All right. Godness, her pomposeness is so exhausting. Does she care what size she offered champagne from? But the girl is nice. Our Stanislav needs one like her. But he fools around with that Zhenya. Well, if that bothers you so much, 
Do something about it. I'm doing. Here. Yes, boss. How many are posts? And the branch mansions? Awesome. Yeah, Natalie is my doing. No complaints for Safronov? Perfect. Waiting for the bonus for your favorite employee. I'm on vacation as of today, by the way. Tough day ahead, Vadim Nikolaevich. It always is. Thanks. This is too much. Well, you opened up earlier. You're so bohemian in the morning. It's genetics, my love. Zhenya. A beautiful girl like you must wake up only with me. I hope you won't reject the football's rising star, the honor. What? You don't like it? I do. Very much. It's the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. Yes. Yes, I will marry you. And? Okay, we need to take a selfie. Shooting. Are they out of their minds? It's 7 a.m. It's probably neighbors. I'll take care of it. Kid, are you sick? Do you need help? No. Are you Zhenya? I'm Lyova. We need to talk. Kid, now it's not a good time. You don't recognize me. You haven't felt anything. Is this some kind of prank? No, I don't recognize you and I haven't felt anything. I don't know any kids. I'm your son. Женя, who is it?
Okay. Now tell those who sent you that they are too late. Stanislav has already proposed to me. Now go. Who was it? The kid next door forgot his backpack. Now he is asking me to give him a lift. Wait for me downstairs, Lenya. Call him a cab. We need to go to my parents. Today? Of course. You said yes. We need to tell them. Okay, I'll drive him and be right back. All right. I'm going to my training. Gained a few pounds during the camp. Go take a shower. I'll prepare everything. Okay. Wait for me outside. Lenochka boss will be here any minute, and you are doing a makeup. You said the boss likes beautiful woman. As a woman, I understand you, of course. But as a colleague, I must warn you, he is not the kind of man interested in nurses. Well, who is he into? Good morning, Vadim Nikolaevich. Good morning. Good morning, Svetlana Ivanovna, Lenochka. So, uh, I need medical records of everyone who has an appointment today on my table. Lenochka, drop by my office and get me some coffee. Here, drink this. Heat up yourself this syrenic in 20 minutes. They are in the fridge. And this is what you wear after the gym. Take a banana and the protein shake to the gym with you. They are on the fridge on the second shelf. Oh, and don't forget to drink your medicine for your heart muscle. You're so sexy when you're being no-nonsense. Let the kid walk. You can do that if you intend to do cardio. It's too much float. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. okay. Here you go. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? You can. Button up. And remove that bright lipstick. Lena, I hope I won't have to remind you of subordination and inappropriacy of flirting at work. Vadim Nikolaevich, that's not what I meant. I would like to order the bouquet. I need something stylish and laconic. I'll come by in an hour. Thanks. Was it Stanislav Khodkevich, the goal scorer? Is he your fiancé? Did he give that to you? Get in. I bought it myself. I work a lot, you know. Back up. I only rode in a taxi with my mom before, and it was only a couple times. Ah, oh, so you have another mom. And that's who I'm gonna talk to. Please don't! She doesn't know I came here. She will. It's either your mom or the police. Your choice, prankster. Why the police? I'll tell them you blackmailed me and they'll arrest you. So, is it mom? Don't start crying. I was kidding about the police. We'll go to your mom, and I'll talk to her. Tell me the address. Salutna Street. Building? You don't have any more kids. I don't have any kids. Mom, hi. Me and Jenka will come for dinner today. We need to talk. Not on the phone. I don't care. Cook what you want, Mom. I'm not hungry. I had breakfast. Okay, bye. 
Hey, hey. You are so beautiful. Stop it. Tell me. Is your husband pampering you, right? When did we last see each other? Six months ago? Something like that, yes? Well, sure. So happy that you've forgotten about your friend. Actually, I got divorced two months ago and moved back to my father. Now I'm coming to my senses. Started seeing people at least. That's something. And recently I was given Sofia Safronova as a mother-in-law. Do you know her? Sofia, Sofia, former opera prima. Her son is a cardiac surgeon. That's it. Vadim Safronov. That's right. It was him who brought my grandpa back to life. My gramps had two heart attacks, you know? That Vadim is alright. He's cute. Yeah? I haven't seen him yet, to be honest. Talking about men. Are you still into your footballer? That nuts. And you haven't done anything to get closer to him? Well, we had a thing once. I thought it was gonna go from there, but then that Jenny came. Now I don't know what to do. Here's my advice to you. Make friends with his mom. Moms know best what their boys need. And stop wearing that shirt. A. It's not your color. And B. Stars never fall for their fans. There you have it, Kolya. It's only morning and I don't have my voice. I asked you. I asked you so many times. Turn off that AC in the bedroom for the night. My godness, you're eating this bacon again. It's pure cholesterol. White bread. Put it down. Doctor orders, Kolya. Where are you going? I haven't finished yet. Kolya. Nikola. Take me to the shopping mall. Kolya. So, is this how you'll go? In a robe? And diamonds? No, I'll take all the robe. I'll keep the diamonds. That's only one good thing left from my old life. Actually... That's my mom's diamonds. Then it's the only good thing left from her. Kolya. Fine. You know the code. Take that sweet girl, Amelia. I've got business. What business is that? My business. Nikola. Why, Kolya? Why you never have time for your wife? I think this is your home. Hi, do you know where this boy Lev and his mom live? Why? Well, they won a contest, but there's no building number in our database. Is their last name also not in your database? Stop! Where are you going? Stop! Stop, I tell you! Get your hands off, my son! Lova, you scared me so much. Why aren't you at school? Where have you been? He blackmailed me. And it's as if you don't know about this. What are you talking about? Lova. Shame on you for sending a sick kid on a job. What does that even mean? Who are you? Lova, let's go home. Hello, miss. I'll take the baguette in about 15 minutes. What's wrong? Is he a drama club attendee? 
Лева. Call an ambulance. I don't have a phone. Hello, emergency. There's a sick kid. He's unconscious. Absolutely. Building eight. Building eight. What do you mean in an hour? What if he dies? He won't make it before the ambulance arrives. He has a bad heart. Do you have a car? Take us to the nearest hospital. I'll show you where to go. Please help. Save my son. God. Vadim Nikolaevich, I am a grateful man. Ask whatever you want. I'll do what I can. I need a permit to construct a new wing. We have a waiting list six months ahead. We want to open a children's department. No problem. I'll ask around what's what and call you. Say hi to your father. How is he? Tell me. He's fine. He's getting used to mom being back from Italy. She got bored. I see. So no one's gonna get bored here now, right? <laughs> yeah. How do you like this model? Looks a bit large. Honey, if asked you to bring me size 48, you should have brought me size 48. 52? I'm so sorry. Emilia, do I look like size 52? Sofia Pavlovna, of course not. Size 44 at most. I found a few options for you. I think this cardigan would match your eyes perfectly. And this one is for every day. What do you say? Yeah, I always wanted a daughter, but had a son who doesn't care about me. I think he might have forgotten that color my eyes are. Sofia Pavlovna, tell me about your Vadim. Why is he so closed? Yes, closed. That's true. He changed so much after that tragedy. I still can't talk about it. Sofia Pavlovna, I'm sorry I didn't want to upset you. How about we try on your garments? <laughs> yes. It's 48. You are an angel. Galia Stanislav and his girlfriend will come for dinner today. He is on diet. Make something healthy. Fish and vegetables. The dinner must be ready by one. Go. I don't know. He has a career in the best football clubs in the world. He could make himself such a couple. We're not gonna kill this Zheng, right? No need. We are civilized people. There are other methods. Irena Lvovna, Alina Kazitska is here to see you. Oh, Alinochka. Good afternoon. Hello. Hi. What brings you here so early? I was just passing by. Is Stanislav here by any chance? No. Why? Nothing. I better go. No, wait a minute. Did you agree to meet? Did you talk on the phone? No. Actually, I came to have a coffee with you. Galia, don't just stand here. Bring the girl some coffee. No sugar? Yes. Galia, no sugar. And a cup for me. Also, could you recommend me some nice beauty salon? A beauty salon? 
Of course I could. By the way, Stanislav asked about you today. Yeah. Where did you go? How were you doing? You know, I think this relationship with Jenya is such a drag for him. Really. So don't disappear. Act. I'm gonna text you the address and I'll call the cosmetologist and the hairdresser myself, all right? Sir, help us, please. We need to get the kid out of the car. Hello, miss. I'm stuck in traffic. I'll be in about 10 minutes to get the baguette. Thank you. Nurse, my son's unconscious. The doctor will be here soon. What do you mean soon? The boy has heart problems. Call the doctor now. What did Lova want from you? He said he was my son. What? Do I have to get the doctor myself? I'll stay with you until the doctor comes. Do you have a business card? Yes. I'll take it from here. You go. The bouquet awaits you. I'll call you later. Okay. Mom, have you seen my latest hat trick? The people are voting. They say it's the goal of the month. Put the phone away. You can watch it after dinner. By the way, we have fish and vegetables for dinner. Fish? I don't want fish. Can I have chicken pot pie or... You said you didn't care about gala meat fish. So, if you please, gala. Where is your girlfriend, by the way? Punctuality is the politeness of kings, you know. Also, what am I saying? What? Hello, good afternoon. Hello, sorry I'm late. The traffic is terrible. Hello. Here in Lvovna, this is for you. Thank you. Such wonderful flowers. You have an excellent taste. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to lilies. Galia? You have pretty new ring. Thanks. Sorry, I didn't know about the lilies. I transferred you the money for the next month. I intend to invest your prize money in stocks. Any wishes? You could invest in pharmaceutic or IT startups. Their return rate is high there right now. Oh, you know your finance? Zhenya, thank you for your opinion. I'm sure Stanislav appreciates it. So, uh, what do you think? Dad, you decide. We have enough money for now. We'll be able to swim in it soon. Did you watch the latest Chelsea game? Of course. No, we didn't have the pleasure. There was a scout I saw in our match yesterday. He was watching me the whole game. They'll offer me a contract. Maybe I'll go to Chelsea. God, you look so much like your granddad. His eyes also lit up when he talked about football. I wish he could see you right now. Is that what you wanted to tell us today? Not really. Mom, where's Grandma's medallion? What do you mean? It is where it's supposed to be in the office safe. Why? Then let's go. You still haven't changed the code? For once? You don't talk about stuff like this out loud. Here? What do you need it for? Do you remember what Grandma said? I should give it to my fiancé. Well, I'm giving it. We're getting married. 
You don't mind, do you? Why would she mind? This is my medallion. I... We are very happy for you. Thanks, Dad. Congratulations. Okay, I'm late. I'm off to the club. You guys discuss what's what. Genia has my schedule until the end of the year. But what about the dinner? I'll eat at home. Okay, I gotta go. I'll walk you out. All right. Irene Lvovna, I think someone really wants to ruin everything for me and Stanislav. What makes you say that? Nothing much, just a typical woman's violence. Do you know who that might be? I don't know. Stanislav has many fans. You can't remember all of them. Maybe it's someone especially persistent. An ex-girlfriend? You know, now that you say that, I immediately thought of Alina Kozitska. Alina? We were good friends with her parents, and her grandfather was a famous football coach. Just like my father. That's all Stanislav has never told me about it. They had a romance. They were even going to get married. She doesn't think that you're the reason for their breakup. What if she does? A woman abandoned is capable of many things. Now I see why she came this morning and... Ask to get her an appointment at the salon. What salon? Lotus. I see. Thank you for the info. I have to go now. See you soon. Goodbye. Good afternoon, miss. I urgently need manicure, pedicure, haircut, styling, massage, cosmetologist, and epilation. I'll be generous with the specialists and you personally. I will go talk to the specialists and I'll see what I can do. Would you like some coffee? No, I don't have time for coffee. Patient Alina, room seven. What is it? Don't you see that there's a treatment taking place? Are you the cosmetologist? I am. My friend has a terrible allergy because of your treatment. She's all covered in red spots and she's suffocating. That's impossible. It must be some kind of misunderstanding. Well, hello there. Jenya, what are you doing here? Stay down. Get your hands off me. I'll call for help and you'll be arrested for assault. 
We'll go down together, Blackmailer. Why did you send that kid? You want to ruin everything for us. What kid? Don't pretend you don't know. Your boy was late. Stanislav has already proposed to me, and I will marry him. And if you continue bothering us, you'll be sorry next time. I'm telling you, she is crazy. She started saying some nonsense about blackmail some kid, and I don't know anything about it. Godness, she is dangerous. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. Iran says that it's not working out between them, and that Stanislav asked about me. Maybe that Genia thought that he wanted to come back to me and... flipped? Look, I would talk to him if I were you. You're right. I already know that it was Alina who paid you. What the hell are you talking about? It's not why I came. Lova is dying. What? Mitral stenosis. It's getting worse. He needs a surgery fast. Lova actually is your son. Have you gone mad? There. His birth certificate. His adoption certificate. This is an expert from your medical record. Nine years ago, you gave birth to Lova and immediately gave him away. Two months later, I adopted him. Where did you get these documents? They couldn't issue those to you. I gave a bribe. I wanted to know that you were healthy and that Lova was healthy and now he's dying. Those are fake. I don't have any kids and I've never had any. Now get out before I call security. Those are real documents, and Lova is your son. If you refuse to save him, everyone will know about it. Who do you live with? Your husband? Boyfriend? He will find out too. Calm down. No need to yell. Sit. Okay. I don't have kids, and I've never had any. But nothing human is alien to me. He could have just come and talked to me. I have connections. I'll try to find out who operates such cases. Maybe I'll help you with some money. But that's all I can do. You got that? Leave the doctor's report and your phone number. Are we having guests? Yes, but they were just leaving. I'll call you when I'll find something out. Is that Stanislav Hotkevich? Really? Goodbye. Bye. New neighbor. Got it. I'm gonna take a shower. Give me two minutes. Okay.
Here's what I have to say. With this diagnosis, the boy should be transferred abroad, urgently. Germany, Israel. How much could it cost? About 100,000 euros. And no one does these kind of surgeries here? Only Vadim Nikolaevich Safronov. But it's harder to get into his Safronia than all the clinics in Germany and Israel combined. Tell me, is the boy your family? No, he's my acquaintance, son. Well, tell your acquaintance to hurry up. A month or two tops. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a nice day. Thank you, Lena. You're welcome. Mom? Vadim, you are not just feeling about or drinking coffee. You are talking to your mother. Everything else can wait. Mom, what did you want to discuss? Vadim, I'm having a small family dinner tonight. Your father, me, and... Emilia will be there. You're at it again? I've told you many times that I hate matchmaking. No need to get into my personal life. Okay, whatever. But you didn't listen to me once. And how did that end up? Mom, you should go. Thanks. Hi, I'm here to see Vadim Nikolaevich. Where's his office? Vadim Nikolaevich is busy today. I can make you an appointment for another day. What is this about? It's personal. Lena? Security? Miss, you can't go in there. Are you kidding me? Lady, let me walk you out. It's Evgenia Alexandrovna to you. I have an appointment. Don't make me use force. So, is this how it's gonna be? Okay. Okay. Miss, so should I make an appointment or not? What's going on here? Well, soon they will start kicking me out of your clinic like that. Right, Vadim? Uh, what's going on here? Madness. Natalia, pay attention to me, please. Zhenya, what's with the negative wipe? Why do you even need this Playboy Safronov? There are much more promising candidates around. Actually, I'm getting married. <gasps> Let me take a look. We need Safronov because we want to offer him to collaborate with our agency. But we don't know how to approach him. There's hardly any information on the Internet. That's right, because you shouldn't search on the Internet, but right here. Safronov is an opportunist. He operates only on the right and important people. Right now he is expanding his clinic. He's had a quite a lot of women, as you may understand. All the rumor has it that he will settle down soon. Someone serious? Emilia Kolobova. She's working his mother, not him. Follows her everywhere. Although, you know, men falls for Emilias like her themselves. What do you mean, like her? You know, she is all spiritual, light, just like a fairy. So it's models. What else? Also, he likes to shoot. He goes to the shooting range. The one in the park, what it calls scope or something. He practices there every morning. He likes to shoot, you say? Yep.
It's the first time I see a girl shoot like that. Vadim, were you firing at someone in particular? Yes, my boss. Why is that? She is a spinster. In vibes, beautiful girls. Oh. Where did you learn to shoot like that? First love. She shot cans. I had to do it, too. I've always liked women who know how to handle firearms. Is that so? How about six o'clock? Same place. All right. Will you make it in these high heels? They feel like slippers. Wonderful. Good morning, son. How are you feeling? Here's your breakfast and medicine. Lova, talk to me. Why did you go to her? Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you tell me about her? I wanted to know what my real mom looked like. Look, Lova. Even if she gave birth to you, isn't mom the one who takes care of their child, who loves them, looks after them, worries about them? Don't I do it all? You do. I will never ever give you up. I will do everything for you to recover. Anything. I love you very much. I love you too, mom. Men without heart. No. Vadim Nikolaevich is all booked up these days. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. Hi. Records? On your table. You have a visitor. I told them that you were busy. Mom. What brings you? No. You ignored my yesterday's invitation. You don't answer my calls. I had to drag myself here across town. And I had a massage appointment for today. You know how my back hurts. Also, what do you know about me? Mom, you shouldn't have such sacrifices. Stop clowning around. I want to be there today. Vadim, you're not getting out of this. You should see your parents at least once a year. Mom, you've invited someone else, am I right? No one. Only Dad and Amelia will be there. You know I'm against matchmaking. Emilia is my guest. A well-mannered girl. Blonde. She pays much more attention to me than my own. Be there at 6 p.m. or you can forget. That I have a mother. Got it. Vadim Nikolaevich, I've brought my father-in-law. He's not feeling well again. It already happened to him once before. Looks like it's his heart. Let's take a look. I'll go work, Mom. Alina? Hey. Oh, hey. I didn't know you jogged here. How are you? Fine, you? Also fine. Stas, tell me, is everything okay with your Zhenya? She's been acting weird. Why? What's up? Did you see her? Not, not me. She saw me. Can you imagine? She found me at the salon, started saying that no one would bother you, threatened me and accused me of blackmail. So it's not a coincidence that you're jogging here. Did you come to say nasty things about my Zhenya? You... You don't believe me? 
We have been friends in childhood, you know? Friends? Is this friendship to you? You badmouth my fiancé. Is this okay to you? Don't come near us. You got that? Don't stand there. Get out of here. Calm down. There, there. You should have seen him. I thought he was gonna hit me. Godness. That's what I was afraid of. What? She turned him against all of his old friends. He might soon stop seeing us. Why would she do that? What do you mean, why? To control him completely. His money, to be exact. She doesn't need anything else from Stanislav. Alina. You and I must save him. Yeah. Tell me what to do. I will do anything. My girl. What are you hiding there from me? It's nothing. Show me? No. What are you hiding? Well, when I was a kid, I dreamt of a Cinderella-style wedding in a French castle and gathered pictures in my album. Cinderella? Then I'll be Prince Charming. You're my king. My love. I don't need France. Or Loire Valley castles. It's so much money. Look, if you want Loire and Cinderella, then it's no problem. I can make my love's dream come true. Really? Yeah. You're the best. Right, so how about tonight? Will you drop by the club? We'll go to the restaurant together. The banquet is at six, Mihalich said. Don't be late, and you can't argue with the coach. Sweet, how about to meet at the restaurant? I have got to see Natalie. She has got some family problems. And I'll be sitting there alone like an idiot? Not an idiot. You'll show the guys here in your right? They haven't seen it yet. Yeah, they'll be jealous. Okay, I'm going to take a shower. Don't be late. Clear. What happened? Assisting. Intubate. Intubate. Give him three cubes of adrenaline. Hemodynamics is very weak. Vadim Nikolaevich, we're not gonna restart him. Another three cubes. Pupils are dilated. It's not hot. It happens, Vadim Nikolaevich. Time of death, 1607. Sell the family yourself. Hey. Hey. So, where are you taking me? Restaurant or straight to a bar? Not today. I'm sorry. Tough day. Did something happen? I don't want to talk about it. How about this? We'll go somewhere next time. I'll call you. Where are you gonna call? You don't have my number. All right. Type it in. All right. I won't wait long. Okay. Bye. Yes, ma'am. Vadim, why are you late? Emilia is already here. It's not good. Not nice to make us wait for you. Mom, I can't make it today. 
I warned you. You can forget my number forever. Mom, listen, this is blackmail. Okay, I'll be there soon. But I won't be alone. Plus one. See ya. Kolya, do you ever know who our son is bringing to our home? He's telling me that he's coming with some guest. Although there wasn't even a hint of her in the morning. What are we gonna do? Leave our son alone. And go out to our guest immediately. I don't know what else to say to her. Godness, have a conversation with a young, intelligent woman. I allow it. I can only imagine who Vadim is bringing home. Another tasteless provincial. Fine. I will give her a warm welcome. Zhenya! <laughs> Zhenya, wait! Wait a second. Let's go. Where? Dinner with my parents. What? Spontaneous dinner, but I really need you as a plus one. How long will it take? We'll have a dinner and leave. Okay, I have to make a call. Sure. Hello, Natalia. Can you cover for me? I'll say that your sugar daddy is failing for divorce and I'm counseling you. I don't know what's happened with you, girlfriend. But it's better to leave my sugar daddy out of it, because he will file for divorce if he finds out. Can you imagine? I found a youth ring in his pocket. It's so lame. With hearts and all. Natalie, please, it's life or death situation. Fine. I will cover for you. You haven't even married yet, and you're already out and about. Be careful, girl. Thanks. I'll be damned. Irena Lvovna, that's not me. <laughs> awesome. Brilliant, Denise. Okay, tonight you're going to a party, there Stanislav will be. Zhenya will come later, they will let you in. This is your chance, baby. What do I need to do? Looking like this? Nothing. He will do everything himself. Well, go ahead. Did you lose something, darling? Yes. The invitation to the party. What party? The one you're going to. I am also invited, but I can't find my invitation anywhere. How about we use yours? It is for two? There's nothing for you to do there. It's a boring gathering of important people and dumb athletes. Baby, I was so upset then you were taken to hospital. I understand that we need to spend as much time together as we can. I'll be quick. My family nest. I'll be damned. Mine is my smaller than your parking lot. Mommy. Meet Zhenya. Hi. Oh, we have met. Was it you who was kicked out of my son's clinic yesterday? Mom, you're mistaken. No one's kicked out of my clinic. You have a clinic? I have a lot of things. Come on, I'll introduce you to my dad. Who did he bring to our home? Hey. Hey. Hey, man. How's your knee? It's fine. Good luck. Hi. Stanislav, good to see you. Hi. How's it going? I hear things are looking up. That's right. I thought Jenya went to your place. No, she didn't visit. She said you were divorcing, no? No, we're not. Oh. For now. I guess I heard wrong. Forget what I said. Have a nice night. Give me another. I 
will have what he is having, please. Alina, is that you? You're unrecognizable. You look good. Listen, I'm sorry for earlier. I didn't mean to. I don't know what got into me. It's okay. Happens to the best of us. So, we're good? <laughs> we're good. It is so nice to get together in a close circle of outstanding people. Evgenia, you may not know it, but my son is a brilliant cardiac surgeon. Mom. My husband is a minister. Former. Emilia comes from a dynasty of extraordinary wonderful conductors. As for me, I used to shine at La Scala stage. I could sing F6. And what do you do, Evgenia? I'm a shopping consultant. I'm sorry, who? Sofia Pavlovna, those are people who help others pick their clothing. Why would they need help? Are they handicapped? Of course not. It's just that sometimes people have no taste. They seem to be covered in diamonds from head to toe, but they lack taste. <coughs> And your parents? Are they consultants as well? No, my dad is a very important man. He is the main honey wagon operator in town. Honey wagon? Honey wagon? Is that... Oh, God. And what does your mom do? My mom is a colleague of yours. She is a music teacher at the kindergarten. <laughs> Oksana Dmitrievna, don't worry. I will treat our esteemed guest myself. Vadim, mom will give you the best piece of chicken. Here you go. Now, Evgenia. How embarrassing. You could find something decent in my help's closing. Or we could reimburse you. It's not expensive. So far. Has anyone seen Kurovin's latest play? It's so absurd. Vadim, I need to talk to you now. Would you like a cup of coffee in the garden? No, thanks. I'm gonna go wash my dress. Who did you bring to our home? Your dad is a minister. Former. Okay, former. I could sing F6. And what is this? It's just ooh. Mom, it's not just ooh. It's love at first sight and I'm gonna marry her. Over my dead body. Deal. Don't be an idiot. Mom. Eve's dropping. You can tell the lady of the house. It can't get any worse. It's not my style. And I'm not claiming Vadim. Me neither. Are you really a personal shopper? Your watch is quite expensive. You think? I know. But unemployed conductor's daughters don't wear such things, too. Zhenia, pick up. When are we going to the city?
We're not going to the city. I had a drink. This wasn't the deal. I need to go to the city. It's not like... You have mouths to feed. I promised my mom to be back by midnight. Call me a taxi. Sweetie, taxi doesn't come here at night. We've tried. Call your mom. Tell her you'll be back in the morning. What's the problem? It's so romantic here at night. I have a balcony in my room. You can see stars from there. You can gaze at them. Look, I don't sleep with a man I don't know. So let's get to know each other. Excuse me. I'm sorry I didn't want to bother you. Can you spare me a couple minutes? I'd like to discuss something with you. Can it wait till morning? Of course. Then good night. Natalie, what's wrong? Finally. Can you imagine? I almost caught my sugar daddy red-hunted. He wanted to go to the party with his mistress. And I had to go with him to stop them. And your footballer was there. Shit. But your sugar daddy doesn't like football and all that. That's not all. Your footballer left with Alina Kozitska. She was all dressed up. My god, her again. Zhenya, open up. Don't be stupid. Okay, bye. Zhenya. Zhenya. I'm not gonna open, leave. What Barsik? Why did you take the phone? I just wanted to play. Give it back. Why are you texting here and lying to me at that? Don't get upset, son. I'm so sorry. It's gonna be okay, I promise. I'm tired of sitting at home. I wanna go to school, to my friends. You'll have your surgery soon, and then you'll go to school. I'll even let you go to football classes if you want. Really? Even football? Of course. Have I ever lied to you? Zhenya. Why aren't you eating anything? I watch my figure. You skank. You're such a skank. You stole my diamond necklace. What? I didn't steal anything. Why would I need your diamonds? Well, sure. Why would Honey Wagon Operator's daughter need a diamond necklace? I demand. I insist we go and search her purse at once. That's it. I won't stand for this. Who do you think you are? Who am I? Oh. Mom. Sofa. You can't just accuse people like that. Who did you bring to our home? Where did you even meet her? A shopping consultant. Why are you being silent? You also think I stole it. Okay, let's search me. See? There's nothing in there. What's in there? I 
I didn't take that you planted it there. What did I tell you? There. We have to call the police. Женя. Can I have a word with you? Zhenya was in her room the whole night locked with a key. I was awake, and I'm sure that she didn't leave anywhere. You know perfectly well the audibility in our house, and in the morning, we left our rooms at the same time and came down to the dining room. Not true. Yesterday you came here together and she spent the night with you. No, ma'am. You've miscalculated. I'm sorry about the incident. I hope all of this stays between us. Of course. You're at it again? Not only do you stick up your nose everywhere, you're also willing to frame a girl. If only everything turns out the way you want it. Everyone must dance to your tune. Have you ever asked what others want? You're such a bitch, Sofa. I can't look at you anymore. And I won't. Kolya, you got me all wrong. I meant well. Zhenya. Don't do this. I talked to Mom, it was all a misunderstanding. So this is how you act in your family nests. You call people thieves and kick them out. Good to know. Wait, wait. Leave me alone. You disgust me. You and your snob family. Then why did you go with me? You wanted to pick up a rich guy, right? You eat it. I don't need a rich guy. I earn well myself. It's just my best friend's son need a surgery. You know, your vicious mommy almost got me at first. What do you mean? I actually was at your clinic. I was told that only you could help us. But I was kicked out of there, because no one cares about sick and poor kids. Vadim Nikolaevich comes to the rescue only for the rich, whose heart is acting up. That's why I need this whole show. And it actually worked. You know why? Why? Because you're worthless. A turkey cock, who is easy to buy with a stupid chick with long legs. How do you even do the heart surgeries? I'm a good surgeon. A man without a heart can't give it to others. I can help the boy. Kolya gave me this bracelet when our son was born. It was such a rare thing back in the day. And where did he even get it back then? Very nice. Kolya. Maybe he will come back to me. He definitely will. He loves you very much. He just needs some time to calm down a little. Sofia Pavlovna. Everything will surely work out. So what Natalia's place you stayed the night at? Her husband doesn't know about the divorce. I really did stay at night at the friend's place, but not Natalie's. Do you think I'm an idiot? I stayed with a friend from the orphanage. What orphanage? I lived with my grandma until I was 10. Then she died and I got into an orphanage. 
I had an only friend there. She has got problems, not me. Oh, yeah. And what problems does this friend have? Her son got very sick. She needed support. And you couldn't tell me about it. I love you very much. I was afraid that you would think that I wasn't good enough for you. Your mom thinks that I only need your money. Zhenya, how could you think that? I don't care where you're from. I was very worried about you, you know. Someone's gonna have to work later to restore my nerve cells. Oh, yeah. Good people told me that Alina consoled you yesterday. Alina? Uh -huh. Yes. She was all dressed up yesterday, and I thought she was pretending to be you. What? Why would I need a poor copy when I have the original? Hello, Vera. Hi. It's Evgenia. I made inquiries. They can help Lova at the Safronia Clinic. Safronia. I'll text you the coordinates. You'll have to make an appointment. But I don't have money for the surgery. I can give you $5,000. That's the best I can do for you. Tell Lova to get well. Bye. Safronov. He even kissed me at the party yesterday. He had a glass of cognac, but still. Anyway, I drove him home, left him with the security. I was afraid to take him to the apartment. What if that crazy chick was there? The ball is in your court now. Act? But how? Let him feel like a man. Right. I'll ask him to put up a shelf for me. Oh, God. I don't think he would be able to. More likely you would do it for him. Do you have a car? Yes. It's just that Stanislav is really into cars. And if you would want to buy a new one, he could help you with that. Well, go for it. I already miss you. I'm going to my parents after training to discuss the wedding. I'll see you there. Did you forget something? What are you doing here? I think we've discussed everything. Did your mom send you or did you run away again? You left me because I was sick. Do you want to drink water juice? No. Thanks. Listen. I'm not your mom. This is just impossible. I found my birth certificate. And your name is on it. And on Facebook, your birthplace and age match. It's just a coincidence. But even if I had to leave my child, I would do it not because they were sick. Why then? Well, because I would understand that I couldn't give him anything. Doctor's medicine, care. Does your mom know you're here? She doesn't. She can't help me. 
That's why I'm gonna die soon. You won't die. You'll have a surgery. We've found a clinic and we'll have the money. You will recover. And now I need to call your mom to bring you your medicine. Here, talk to your mom. How do you like Barsik? Barsik's awesome. The coolest Barsik in the world. Mom, it's me. Just don't be mad. I'm a genius. Mom, don't yell, please. Will you come get me? Okay. Bye. Lila, you need to rest until your mom gets here. Do you have a children's room? No, but I'll think of something. What if you have more kids? Where will they sleep? I don't know. I've never thought about it. Wow! You have a video game console? Yeah. Want to play? Yes, but I don't know how. Here, I'll show you. You run with this. That's tackle. That's a pass. Here. Play. I'm gonna go and get ready. Where is Lyoba? Asleep. Go to the kitchen. I don't have much time, so I'll be brief. Why don't you watch your son and let him run around town? He is barely breathing. I went for my shift. They don't give me sick leave anymore. He was asleep. I didn't know he would run away again. Here. What's this? Your glass. I stole it to make a DNA test. I spent all my money on it. Now I have nothing to buy Lyova medicine, but I won't convince you otherwise, right? Lyova is your son. I would have never admitted that to you, but they told me that they had a waiting list six months ahead at the clinic of yours. Lyova simply won't make it. You have connections. This friend of yours, he is famous footballer, right? Please arrange surgery for Lova. And continue living your beautiful life. Please. This can't be. Excuse me. Oh, God. From Safronov, come to the clinic, bring the medical record.
I can't promise you anything, but I'll try to do everything in my power. I'll try to convince the owner of the clinic. Stay here. The boy is sick. No need to take him anywhere. Don't open the door to anyone and don't show any signs of life. I'll be back soon. What if your footballer comes back? He won't. And if he does, tell him you're my friend. And keep your mouth shut. Okay. Anyway, I thought this Zhenya would call the police herself. I definitely didn't expect that from Sofia Pavlovna. Mine is also Zhenya. Believe it or not, I hate that name. I hate that type. She is all no nonsense, but a beauty with a long legs at that. Ours is also like that. Hey, maybe it's the same Zhenya? No. Mine isn't stupid. She wouldn't cheat on Stanislav. Well, she didn't. I'm here to see Vladimir Nikolaevich. Miss Wirral already explained to you. There are no openings right now. I'm here. Come on in. What's up? My love. I need to see the boy. It's all there. Tests, reports. Or is it that bad? This is for you instead of the ruined one. I hope I got the right size. I don't need anything from you. Take a look. You can always refuse. Your style, your harmony. I wonder, does this dress cost more or less than surgery? I've got the permit to construct a new wing where I'll be able to treat kids for free. And what do you do for others, apart from these shows for the sake of sick children? Anyway, I haven't had lunch today. Or breakfast. I had two surgeries in the morning. How about we go eat and I'll tell you what we're gonna do with Lova there. I hope Eugenia's friend is okay. I think so. Who else is gonna be at the wedding from her side? Zhenya is from an orphanage, so there won't be any family. A few friends, maybe. From an orphanage? You said she was raised by her grandma. Mom, what do you want from me? I don't care where she's from, even if she was raised by wolves. Are you against the wedding? No, no, we're not against it. France, Cinderella. Well, it's your money. You decide. Good then. I can't reach her. She promised to come and discuss the wedding. Babe. Hey, Vera, I have good news. Lova will be exam tomorrow and they'll decide what to do next. How's he? There's a chicken in the freezer. You can defrost and boil it, or order takeout from a restaurant. Is the boy with you? Yes, it's hard for my friend alone, and they're with me for now. Anyway, the surgery will cost around $25,000.
How much? The price includes many components. Doctor's salary, medication, upkeep at the clinic, and so on. Fine, I'll find the money. Why you? Because Vera has no money. She's from an orphanage. My love. You said she was your childhood friend. Are you from an orphanage too? What does it matter? I have to go. Wait. I need to talk to you. I really need to go. It's important. Seriosa, bring the bill, please. Let's take a walk. I'll tell you everything. Zhenya doesn't answer. She has some problems with her friend. Maybe that's why she's late. Okay, I'm gonna go. We'll discuss the wedding next time. Wait. What? Do you have an hour of your time? I do. Why? Have a seat. I met Alina. She's going to buy a new car. She said she didn't understand anything about it. Maybe you could help her. You know this stuff. No problem, I'll help. So I will call her. Go ahead. So, what did you want to talk about? Vadim Nikolaevich! Hey, hey, hey. Hello, Vadim Nikolaevich. Hello. Katusha runs so fast. I can't keep up with her. I'm so happy. Vadim Nikolaevich, our whole family prays for you every day. You remember how she was. She barely walked. And now she does gymnastics. She is making great progress. That's good. Come for a checkup just in case. Well, I can see her cheeks are red like the real future Olympic champion, right? Thank you so much. We'll make sure to come by. Bye. 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 Now that's a some convenient encounter. You think I'm a bastard? I must apologize to you for my mother. She's basically an egoistic child, but that's understandable. Her hope to have grandkids is fading away every year. Why is that? Vadim Nikolaevich values himself too high? No. Vadim Nikolaevich is a widower. My wife lied to me. She didn't go to the hospital with the sick kid, but to his friend's birthday party. He really wanted to go. They got into a car crash. She died on the spot, and our son was brought to a hospital where I worked. I didn't know who I was going to operate on until I walked into the OR. Kirill died in my arms. I haven't operated on children under no pretext since then. What about Lova? I'll put him in the plan for this month. A colleague of mine will operate, not me. He's very good. But you must promise me one thing. 25,000. Never lie to me. Vadim, there is no need for all of this. I just need your professional help. I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in you. And what if I reject you? You won't help me. I will, of course, but that's not the point. I have to go. Wait. Somebody's waiting for you. Yes, my friend already called. Then tomorrow morning at the clinic with the boy, on an empty stomach. They'll do the tests and I'll examine him. Men without heart. How do you understand all this? It's an absolute puzzle to me. Whoa, that's it. This ride is fire. Zero to a hundred in 4.9. You should take it. I don't drive that fast. I'm not as courageous as you are. Stas, this might sound stupid, but I've always wanted a red car. Stupid, right? Why? Have you seen my new ride? 
It's also red. Ferrari are red. All the cool cars are red, you know. Good afternoon. Hi. Uh, can we have a car like this, but the red one? Of course, it can be at our dealership tomorrow morning. And you're Stanislav Khotkevich? Can I have your autograph? Please, I'm your huge fan. I just want to say that your last hat trick is just fantastic, really. And of course, we will offer you exclusive discount conditions. Full set and snow tires as a bonus. Rear view camera, tire pressure monitor, ESP, ABS. Maximum package. Take it, they'll make you a discount. Tell me, how will you pay for it? Cash, non-cash, any form of payment convenient for you? Well, I don't know yet. I didn't take money with me. How about I come tomorrow? Of course, no problem. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. the car will be at the dealership. Okay, I'll come by too. I want to ride this baby. Well, then tomorrow at 9. Here. It's a deal. By the way, I advised Jenka to get the same car, but she didn't listen. She does everything her way. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Good luck. Well, is it agreed? Did someone come? I have to bring Lava to the clinic tomorrow morning for tests and examination. I will take my son myself. No, I will do it. I found the clinic thanks to my personal connections, and you shouldn't be there. It's either that or nothing. Fine. Lova is fast asleep. I'll go wake him up and we'll go home and I will bring him tomorrow morning. Let him sleep. Are you going to take him on a public transport across town? I thought you would give us a ride, or a sick child isn't worthy of such an honor. It's a 15-minute drive from my home to the clinic. It's an hour from yours. And that's not taking traffic into account. Why would you drag him? The doctor said it's very serious. All right. I'll call you after the clinic. Here is his medicine. The prescription says how, what, and then to give him. He has to take one pill in an hour before bedtime. Wake him up and give it to him. One more thing. Leova doesn't eat frozen food, so you will have to make him a porridge in the morning. Can you do that? He has to go to the clinic on an empty stomach. Hello. This is Iran Hatkevich. They should have notified you about my call. Everything I say is strictly confidential. I urgently need information about this person. Zhenya? What the hell? I was waiting for you at my parents' house. You don't even pick up your phone. I was at the hospital with Lava, my friend's son. He's really bad. He's staying with us tonight. It's far for him to go home. Let him stay? No problem. I hope he gets better. Is that all his? Damn. Shit. Poor kid. Zhenya, we have started a discussion with my father. He says that if the whole team goes, we need a private jet. You know, I don't want the wedding. What do you mean? Let's just quietly sign the papers, and that's it. And all the money for castles, dresses, jets, we'll give to a fund that helps children. Zhenya, are you feeling all right? You wanted this yourself, France, Cinderella, your album. Why not, Jenny? It's so pointless. What matters is that we're together.
You know, Genia, you're a genius. Charity is awesome. Everyone will talk about us. We only have to make some children like Beckham's. Only more. Five to beat them. You would be the best mother. Stop it. There's a kid here. We'll make him up. Let's see. Stanislav. Hotkevich. Stanislav Hotkevich has announced his engagement. Bingo. And after the test, I will take it to the best confectionery. Mom doesn't let me have sweets before my meals. Okay, then we'll have breakfast after the hospital, and then we'll have cakes after that. But before the hospital, we'll stop by a place. What place? It's a surprise. Get in. I have never been to such a beautiful store before. Do you like it? Yes, very much. We'll buy you whatever you want. Even a tablet? A tablet first. I'm gonna die, right? Is that why you bought me a tablet? As a farewell gift? Sweetie, I'll do anything for you to get better and live happily ever after. You still have to introduce me to Barsik. Do you really want to meet him? Of course. He is lying in cat's clothing. Come on. Once again, please, tell my son that I'm expecting him. Vadim Nikolaevich has set a time for personal visits, before 8 a.m. and after 6 p.m. But this, of course, doesn't concern his own mother. Hi. We are here to see Vadim Nikolaevich. Evgenia? What a grown child you have. What do you know? Vadim Nikolaevich, there are people here to see you. Sofia Palna, I'm very glad to see you too. So you have found time between investigations and decided to pay a visit to your son. So this is how it is, right, Vadim? You have time for the honey vegan operator's daughter, but not for your own mother. Why don't you answer my calls? Mom? Lenochka, please see my mom to my office and make her some... Coffee. Coffee. Mom, I'll take care of you right after the young man here. Sofia Palna, follow me. Vadim, we need to talk tete a tete. Well, of course. Come with me. Vadim. Vadim. Lev. Well, Lev, another small shot, and we will bolster your strength with some cookies. Relax your arm. It's gonna hurt again? It won't. Don't worry. Everyone says that I have such a good hand. Well, what do you say? Did it hurt? Old? It is done? You are not like the other nurses. You are all so kind here. As if it's not a hospital at all. Here is a certificate of courage for you. And the cookies, just as I promised. Well, Lev, I know that you're tired of all this, but I need to listen to your engine. Breathe. 
Don't breathe. Take a breath. Breathe out. Breathe normally. That's all. Come to my office. Can I have a picture with you? Sure. I blinked in this one. You can post this one. All right, one second. There. Ladies, don't you have work to do? Is the paperwork ready? Oh, hey. Hey. So, are we taking the car? Look, I don't know what to do. Mine didn't start again today. I need a new one, but I can't afford this one. I have to save for six months. Say, is there an installment plan or a lease? Unfortunately, it's either installments or the discount. Some other time, then. Sorry for wasting your time. Don't be coy. I could lend you the money if you want. I have some. It's not safe to drive a faulty car, you know. Stas, thank you so much. I will be able to repay you in parts every month, or even once every two weeks. No problem. My dad made a few good investments, so we are in no need of money. And there will be even more money in a month or two. It's a secret. We're negotiating with a scout from Europe. So you mean... You will leave? Well, yeah. So are we taking the car or not? You know, you may have a lot of money, but... Your genia would probably mind. I decide myself. Give me the agreement. Yes, here's the agreement. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. I will gladly answer. Here. The agreement. Are you a singer? Was it you who sang in the magic flute? I remembered you. My mom took me to a theater on my birthday. You look like a firebird. What a sweet boy. I did sing the Queen of the Night. I sang very high notes. Did you like it? A lot. Vadim, I hope you will help this young music lover. Well, of course I will. Zhenya, I need to discuss the boy's health with his mom. Can you call her and ask her to come here? And while we wait, we'll have lunch together? No, thanks. I'll call Vera. She will come. But me and Lova have to go. Zhenya, you don't understand. It's better for the boy to stay here. Lova, what do you say? Would you stay here with us? There's a TV, good food, they give you ice cream. You'll watch some cartoons and in the meantime we'll watch your heart. I don't mind. It's great here. But we haven't signed the agreement yet and all of Lova's medicine is at home. I've prescribed different medicine and will sign the agreement soon. It's just that my former classmate is in the town, Artemi. What Artemi? I hated that show off. Mom, can you stay out of it? He's been living and working in Israel for a long time now, and he's here for a conference. It's just that I don't operate on children myself, and I trust him like myself. He'll do the surgery. The only thing is that you have to make the payment today or tomorrow. I'll get the money. Good. Optionally, the mom can also live with the kid, but you'll have to pay extra for that. Mom. I'll pay for everything. All right. This is your room. All right. When will mom be here? Vera will be here soon, and I have to leave for a couple of hours. You can have a tablet with games, so you won't get bored. 
Will you leave me again? I won't leave you. Ever. You'll grow so tired of me, so that you'll run away from me. Bye. Well, honey, make yourself comfortable. Vadim, looks like you are in love with this girl, but she's terrible, and with a sick kid. Mom, you're terrible. First of all, it's not her kid, it's her friends. Secondly, even if he was hers, what's so bad about it? It's not what I mean. I'm talking about her family. And who is she anyway? And nobody. What do you have to talk about with her? You a genius cardiac surgeon. Mom, your snobism is killing me. It's not a snobism. I'm used to telling the truth in the face. Mom, you just don't see yourself from the outside. Vadim. Enough. I have to go to my patients. Vadim, your father left home. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. I understand him very well, Mom. I would run away from you as well, but I don't know where. Yeah, hi, I'm calling about the car sale. Yes, I'm ready to come right now. Text me the address, please. It's a nice car. I'm okay with everything. Can I give you a ride? We'll make a lap. Yeah, sure. Stop! I'm so stupid. Nikolai doesn't even want to talk to me. Sofia Pavlovna, ask your son to get in touch with his father. He will probably answer. No, I will not humiliate myself. If they don't need me, I will swallow a handful of sleeping pills and won't wake up. My God, Sofia Pavlovna, don't say that. I would talk to Vadim myself. I just don't know how. He probably won't have time for me to. Really? Of course. Would you do that? Oh, Emilia, you're an angel. You know, I think the best way is to pay him a visit at home in the evening. Then he will know where to run and nothing to cover with. Write down the address. Trokprudny Lane, Building 4, Apartment 25. Thanks. My God. What a beauty. You know, Angela Novitska has exactly the same thing. She was proving to me that it was a one-off product for a good hour. <laughs> By the way, have you heard? She was robbed. You don't say. Yes, her husband to be exact. Rumor has it, he brought a mistress, and at the moment, the house was attacked. Goodness, it serves him right that don't get a mistress with a living wife. To be honest, I didn't hear anything about it, and I don't know who Angela Novitska is. Angela Novitska is a real bitch. Let me tell you a secret. This ring was made by a local jeweler. Something tells me that it's not the only one in town. But I don't have one. To us. To you. You must file the report. How many of you smart asses are there? You must. And you must watch your belongings, so? Look, I really need money. I wanted to sell my car to save a child. File the report, please. 
I need a statement from my insurance company to at least get a compensation. Why didn't you start with that? You urgently need money and they stole your car straight away. How inconvenient. And you're covering with a child. Have you no shame? I'm telling the truth. That's how much of this truth I've heard in my life. And actually, lady, I have a lunch break. Right now. I'm worried about him. You understand my state. Hi, are you a doctor? Hello, yes. Do you work here, right? Yes. What's going on here? My friend brought my son here for examination today. She promised to call me back and she didn't. I was told he was hospitalized, but they don't tell me what room he is in. Lev Tamilin, maybe you know him. Oh, Lev Tamilin, sure I do. Down the hall, room 9, and you... You are Vera, Evgenia's friend. I guess you could say that. Could? I think you're very lucky to have a friend like her. She'll do everything for you. How is Lova? Why has he been kept in the hospital? Is he in danger? That's what I wanted to discuss with you. He has atrial fibrillation and pulmonary edema. It's very serious. He needs surgery. And to avoid irreversible consequences, he needs to stay here under the supervision of doctors. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I urgently need $25,000 for my friend's son's operation. It can't wait. She'll repay us later. Uh-huh. Zhenya, what the hell? I haven't finished. I need 25000 for Lova's operation now. Why didn't you say sooner? I've already lent some to Alina. Alina? Yeah. She asked. She asked to look at a car and help her. And she was short of money, so I borrowed her 30 grand. So there is no more money, unless I ask my father. You gave Alina so much money and told me nothing? What were you thinking? What does this Alina even want? Zhenya, I earned this money myself. Why are you scolding as if I am a kid? Yeah? Then why does your dad take care of all your money? Because my dad knows this stuff better. You could have given some of yours if it was so urgent. You're obviously unaware of it, but I don't have such kind of money. Zhenya. Zhenya, don't be mad. Shit. Come on, oh, come on. That's it. Give me the tablet. It's a gift. Lova, you can't worry, even because of the game. Why did you even buy this stupid tablet? It's bad for your eyes, and it makes you dumper. Not true. Zhenya said it's safe, and it has educational games. What does she know? She knows. Give me the tablet back. Okay. But play another game. You can't worry. Zhenya said I'll get better here. She said right. I wanted to sell my car to pay for the surgery, but it was stolen. The police don't file the report, and they don't give me the statement for my insurance. Tomorrow morning, I'll try to withdraw everything I have on my account, and I think that this should be enough for my advance payment. The banks are closed already. Where exactly they didn't file the report? It's for you. It's your General Shevchenko. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it. It will be done in the best way possible. 
Well, they won't find the car, as you may understand. The important thing is that they gave me the statement for my insurance. When did you eat last time? It's not important. It's important. Let's go get dinner. I promised Lova that I'd come to him. He's with his mom right now. She came to the clinic. She was looking for him. Why didn't you tell her anything? She's his mother. She's worried. My purse and phone were stolen. I couldn't. Right. I see. You need to eat anyway. I insist as a doctor. Look, I'm not up to a romance right now. I'm not going to a restaurant. No one's taking you there. Zhenya. I haven't told Lova's mother yet, but I will tell you, he's... He's in a very bad condition. It would be a miracle if he leaves the OR. I thought doctors didn't make such prognosis. It's not a prognosis. I've seen a lot of things in my life. I know that miracles happen. As I understand, you're the only close person to your friend. Just in case, so that you know what to do if anything happens. And now let's go to my place. I'll eat myself and I'll feed you. And we'll talk in a normal, calm environment. Come on. Wait. Are you kidding me? Decided to hide behind me in front of your mom's protege again? And under this pretext like this? Don't freak out. I'm not kidding with such things. Let me find out what does she want. Wait. Hi, Emilia. What can I do for you? Sorry to bother you. I have decided to talk about your mother and took the liberty of coming to your place. I don't think now is the best time to talk about my mother. Maybe you could give me 30 minutes of your time tomorrow. It's really important. Tomorrow with pleasure. Then here's my business card. I'll call you. Hotkevich has a beautiful fiance. He probably had to steal her from other contenders. What about Hotkevich? Your friend Evgenia. She and Hadkevich announced their wedding the other day. You didn't know that? Zhenya. Wait. Wait, I tell you. Stop. Stop. You're fast with her. At least figure out which girls you have on even days and which on odd days. How about you start with yourself with even and dot? Is it true that you're getting married? My personal life is none of your concern. You're wrong. It is my concern ever since you came into mine. You're flattering yourself. If it's Amelia, then so be it. Do what you want. Wait. I don't need Amelia. I need you. Do you like eggs? Where are my shoes? In the hall. Is that all you want to say to me? I have to go. Why do you need a gun? And why is it not in safe? Why are you so nervous? I thought you had a way with weapons. It's not a toy, it's a firearm. Please. We're not in a Chekhov's play. Zhen, what's wrong? Stay. We'll have breakfast. Or do you have to run, prepare for your wedding? I have to deal with the money and the agreement. Very well. Wonderful. Oh. 
Where have you been? Where? I called every hospital, every morgue. Let me go, you're hurting me. My car and my purse with my phone in it were stolen. I spent the night at the hospital with Lova. He was hospitalized yesterday. They will operate on him. Damn it, Jenya. I'm, I'm sorry. Jenya. I'm sorry. Look, I was worried the whole night. I have a training in the morning. I'm sorry. I need to take a shower. Okay, of course. Женя, listen. My parents are expecting us for dinner. How about we go to them? I'll get the money for the boy from my father. Thank you. You are very nice. I managed to find out that Evgenia Alexandrovna Lisitsina was actually raised in an orphanage after her grandmother's death. Her mom died during childbirth. Nothing is known about her father. Was there something else after the orphanage? Yes. She got pregnant at 16. But it is unclear whether she gave birth or not. Before she turned 16, she practiced shooting. She was a good shooter. She could even join the Olympic team. Then, judging by the night school graduation certificate, she enrolled at a college. She studied well. At the same time, she worked as a waitress, cleaner, watchman. After a year of study, she transferred to a good university, faculty of commerce. In her third year, she became an intern at a PR company. And then she hit the jackpot. What do you mean? She worked her butt off. She was making her career. You know, overall, she's a good girl, a good person. She's just put a sick boy in a clinic. There's only one bad thing. She's cheating on your son. And do you have proof? Jenia, why did you decide not to have a wedding? You and Charity? Did something happen? Nothing happened. I just changed my mind. But why children? Not dogs, not cats, but children. Do you love kids so much? Mom, why not? Zhenya's friend has a sick child. She was very impressed by that. Dad, I need $25,000, by the way. Or how much is it, Zhenya? May I ask you, why do you need this kind of money? We need to help the boy. I am sorry, but you've used up your limit. The rest of the money are in circulation, and it's not that easy to get it back. I'm gonna need at least two weeks. Well, then lend me some of yours. You have the money. I don't have that much. Excuse me. Emilia, hi. This is Vadim. Could you come to my place tonight? Tuk -tuk. 
Knock, knock. What are you doing? You decided to rob us. God, I knew it was all about the money. What money? You don't have that much. You can't even lend it to your own son. Don't push it, honey. Better look what I want to give you as a wedding gift. Is that your son? Did you follow me? No, not me. Specially trained people did. And that's why I know everything about you. About your kid. And what you are sleeping with the doctor. Here's my advice to you. Never mess with people who can protect their family and their money as well. Do you think I'm with your son because of the money? Well, of course. Why else? You don't understand nothing. Get out of here. You have an interesting apartment. Yeah. Original paintings? Are you into art? Gifts from patients. Not bad. And you? I'll refrain. I have an important meeting. What did you want to talk about? Your mother. She is very lonely. You know, she has been going towards that all of her life. Yes? Perfect. I'll be there soon. I gotta run. Do you need a ride? No, thanks. I'm okay. I hope we will get a chance to talk about your mother and not only that. And the little prince went back to meet the fox. Goodbye, he said. Goodbye, said the fox. And now here is my secret, a very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. The little prince repeated, so that he would be sure to remember. It is the time you have wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important. It is the time I have wasted for my rose, said the little prince, so that he would be sure to remember. Men have forgotten this truth, said the fox. But you must not forget it. You become responsible forever for that you have tempted. This is unexpected. Левушка. Левушка, I'm sorry. I spent half a day at the police station yesterday. My car and my purse were stolen. It was all the money and my phone in it. Now I'm here, and I'll be with you until you get better. You promised me yesterday and didn't come. I did come. It's just, you were with your mom, and I didn't want to bother you. See how much stuff. I'm not even gonna go home for a couple of days, so I can be with you. Sofia Palma, what are you doing here? Well, Vadim has a meeting with Emilia today, so I decided to spend my evening like that. Levushka's mom went to get these things, and we are here reading The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint. Exupéry. Good boy. Sofia Palna, is someone waiting for you at home? Does it matter? It does. I perfectly understand everything, and I'm not mad at you. What do you know about loneliness? I know absolutely everything about loneliness. Coffee. Please. I'll be right back.
The coffee is so bad here. You know, if they put Italian coffee machine here, the price will be completely through the roof. You know, Zhenya, your lover reminds me of our Kirusha very much. You can't even imagine how much I miss him. Loving your grandkids isn't the same as loving your children. It's more conscious, less egoistic. I would give up anything for him to live. Everything okay, Mom? Yes. Zhenya, come on, we need to talk. You go, Zhenya. I'll stay with Lova. Zhenya? Zhenya, are you home? Mom, what did you say to Zhenya? She ran away. What the hell? Bring her back now. What the hell are you talking about? What man? Artemy, meet Evgenia. Evgenia is a close friend of the boy's mom. You can discuss everything with her. Hello, I've looked through your documents and I absolutely agree with Vadim. The boy urgently needs surgery. What are his chances? Whatever the chances, he needs to have a surgery. There are no options. The surgery is scheduled for the morning. But I don't have the money. It's okay, I'll put my money in. We'll deal with it later. I gotta go. I'll be at the clinic at 7. Vadim will tell you about the surgery himself. Bye. Bye. I know about Stanislav. If you're going to marry him, then why did you stay? It's over. I left him. If you have nowhere to go, then stay at my place. It's cold in here. No fever. It's your nerves. Lay down. Come on. I love you.
You don't pick up, Mom. Fine. You've been controlling me my whole life. Everything must go the way you want it. But I don't want to. I don't want to live anymore. You got that? Goodbye. Men without heart. I overslept. Tell me where is Lyova. He is not in his room. He is in the OR. Vadim Nikolaevich asked me to give you this. Where is the OR? On the second floor. But you can't go in there. How long has he been there? Three hours now. Is that bad, right? Is that very bad, right? Cut it out. He needs our support, not his Turks. Our support? What do you even know about it? What is it to you? Your life won't change at all if he doesn't come out of that OR. It is my word that would shatter. Mine, you hear? Oh, God. Where are we to lead? Oh, God. What's happened to someone not well? Yes, give her some sedatives. No, 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 I'm okay, please. There's no need. Mommy, I've been working with children for 20 years, and I know how they feel their mothers. Come on, I'll give you a shot, and you'll come back here, and you'll feel better, and your child will too. My boy, my boy, open your eyes. Please open your eyes, sweetie. I'm begging you. Ambulance to four, Juvelirne Street, section two, floor seven. Presumably suicide attempt. The person is still alive. Is that Hotkevich? Don't you dare tell someone. You lose your job the same way, my sweetheart. We need to put him to the side. Okay. Where is the ambulance? How's my son? Son? Your son is fine, Evgenia. Vadim! Lova now has two birthdays. It was a very difficult operation. Two cardiac arrests. If it wasn't for Vadim... Lev will be under the supervision of doctors until evening. He must be under supervision for at least four hours. If he did take the pills himself, he needs consultation with a psychiatrist. Oh, my God. Can we do without the hospital? I will bring any medication. I'll pay any money. Try helping him here. Overall, his condition is not critical, but there's no guarantee that he won't swallow pills again. According to the rules, I have to take him to the hospital. I will compensate you for breaking the rules and see that he doesn't take anything else. But you will be saving him in this apartment. Get the magnesium sulfate solution ready. Lova. Everything is fine. Lova is under the supervision of doctors for now, but everything will be okay. Thank you. Thank you for saving my son. We won't bother you anymore. But I really want to help him. He's gonna need re-examination, recovery. I can do all that. Leave. Leave and mind your own life. I don't have my own life anymore. Our life will never be yours. Leave.
You can't go in there. Important meeting. When can I go there? I don't know. I see. Thanks. Give me the bill for a left a million surgery, please. Женя, missed call. Are you feeling all right? Maybe we should check your blood pressure. No, thanks. Here you go. Would you give this to his mother? I'll pay myself. Hi, Amelia. Would you like to continue our conversation? Vadim, call me back, please. We really need to talk. Boss. Yes, boss. Look, I'm sorry. I can't deal with you right now. What journalist at the office? What do you mean, missing? He didn't come to the press conference? You bitch. Don't ever call you. You got that? My son almost died because of you. You know, Sofia Pavlovna never managed to reach your father, but she's terribly worried. Are you in touch with him? How is he? You know, Amelia, caring for an elderly person is very sweet of you. I prefer to discuss my father with my mother personally. She says you don't have time for her? Katinka, bring me another one and the bill. Should I take you home? No, thanks. I'm not a child. I'll manage. Thanks. You know, female company annoys me lately. It's easier alone. Vadim, what is going on? Nothing's going on. It's just... That everybody lies. Vadim, you can't drive in this condition, you hear? What are you doing here? Sweetie, this is taking too long. How long do I have to wait? Soon, he is on the hook. What a bitch you are. You have some nerve coming in here. My son almost died because of you. I need to talk to him. Get out of here. Or I'll tell the journalist the whole truth about you. Knock yourself out. I've got something to say about you as well. Had you minded your own business, nothing would have happened. Get out. And don't ever come here again. I will notify the security. I live here, by the way. My son lives here. And you're a temporary hanger-on, who can be replaced if desired. Adinochka, good thing you are here. So that's what that is. You should say that you have your own fiancé for your son. How was he? What happened? Come on, I'll tell you everything. Thank God the ambulance got here fast. And this one's done. He doesn't want to see her anymore. Clean up here and cook some rice. What do you mean, cook rice? Yeah. 
I'll be staying here for two days. Can I pay for the second day tomorrow? Of course, whatever way you see fit. Can I have some tea in my room? Yes, of course. Would you like anything else with the tea? No, thanks. Is everything okay with you? Mm -hmm. Never better. The doctor said that you can go back to training tomorrow. And today you need to make the post a video on the internet and convincingly lie why you weren't at the press conference. I'm not going to training. Why not? And I'm not gonna post anything before I can talk to Zhenya. Son, if Zhenya loved you, she wouldn't have left you and had an affair ahead of the wedding. Why do you need this two-faced woman? Mom, Zhenya couldn't lie to me. It was you who set it up, right? Admit it, you have never liked her. I have to talk to her myself. And until then, I won't move an inch. Fine. If you want Zhenya, you will have Zhenya. Where are you? We need to talk. Don't come home. Mom is here. Millennium Hotel, room 36. Alina, honey, we are leaving. But I haven't cooked the rice yet. The cook is coming. She'll cook. Hi, I want to know about Lev Tamilian's condition. Without changes. Thanks. And where is Stanislav? He was supposed to come. I thought you were smarter. It was me who texted you. Stanislav wants you back. Do I look like a kitten to you? You throw me out, then you want me back. Something like that. Then let Stanislav call me himself and tell me that, and we'll resolve everything ourselves. I know you don't believe me, but I really did love your son. Did you? Yes. And I still respect him. No, leave. Give orders to your help, not me. Vadim? Good afternoon. Is Vadim home? No, it's not the best time. Vadim is asleep. Any message for him? No. How is Stanislav? Tell him we are rooting for him.
Tell me what happened. A misunderstanding. I mixed up the pills. I took the boy's medication instead of vitamins. You're kidding me. No, you're kidding me. Who's that? Why are you getting in his car? That's cardiac surgeon Vadim Safronov. He operated my son. Lova is my son. What? Zhenya. I don't understand. Did you hide your kid? It's a long story. I had to give him away right after childbirth. But now he is back in my life. And I hid it from you because I didn't know how you would take it. Zhenichka, how could I have taken it? I love kids, you know. And I want us to have plenty. We'll help yours too. It's so easy with you. Why not? Why make it harder? Is the kid okay? Zhenya, mm -hmm. we need to get married as soon as possible, just like you wanted. Cinderella Castle, and for us to be in the spotlight, so that everybody writes about us. And not only here, but in England as well. Zhenya, do you hear me? We need to hush up this thing today. Yes. Wedding, a lot of attention, your career. Yeah, mom's right, by the way. I hear you loud and clear. Mom's right. We need to come into the spotlight before the journalists. Yeah, so that this poisoning news turns out to be fake. Everyone's getting together today. Look up the address on the invitation, okay? Make us something to eat. I'm starving. Hey, I'll see you later. Stanislav, what were you thinking? Your mother says you got poisoned. The journalists say that you threw yourself out of a window. Do you understand that you can derail your transfer? Years of your work and mine down the train. Look, nothing bad happened. I just had food poisoning. That's it. Happens to everyone. Fine, whatever. Is the wedding day set? Yes, we're having the wedding in France, by the way. Jenny wanted a castle. She'll have a castle. In France? Yes. You're a genius, my boy. That's right. You should show yourself to the French as well. We'll fly in the whole team. I'll go as well. I'm really counting on you. Oh, you need to ask the doctor's permission. By the way, there he is. Good evening, Vadim Nikolaevich. Hi. I'd like to introduce you to our star, Stanislav Khotkevich. And this is his fiancé, Zhenichka. By the way, they've decided to get married in France. Will you let me go? Of course I will. I'd go too, but I don't have time. A bit boring here, right? Shall we go to my place? Bye. Have a nice evening. I'll be right back. Zhenya, why are you so sad? Can we have champagne, please? Bank deposit. What's wrong, Jenny? Here, have a drink. Listen, I'm not feeling well. I think I'd better go home. Jenny. Jenny. Stanislav. Stanislav. A minute. I have to introduce you to this important person. What are you doing here? You can't go in here. He was just transferred from the ICU. I won't take long. Here, take it. There's $25,000. Take Lova to Maldives or Disneyland. Whatever you want. That is so you, right? Taking a child after surgery to Maldives? Are you serious? Take your money. We don't need your charity. I ask you to mind your personal life and leave us alone. I hear you. 
I want to go to Maldives. I saw on the internet that you can go diving and watch fish there. Lyoba, now isn't the time for what you want. You must sleep. Mom's right. Sleep and get well. I've missed you. I've missed you too. A lot. But right now you need to be a good sport and go to sleep. Will you come visit me again? Of course I will. But you get better. Why did you promise him that? I hope you won't be coming here every day. Don't worry, I won't bother you anymore. I promised him because I wanted him to go to sleep. At the same time, you can tell him how bad I am, unlike you. Tell me, is there coffee in this house? I'll make you some. I'm waiting. Whoa. Move. And no funny business, or I'll shoot either one of you. Take the chair. Put it in the middle. Tie her up. Look, man, don't be stupid. What do you want? Shut up and do what you're told. If it's money, then I'll give you some and we'll go our separate ways. They told me the club would cover everything. They would rent me a house, move my stuff, so... Hi. Hey. What are you doing here? You should be in bed. There's no time to stay in bed. I gotta go to England. So you are leaving? Yep. By yourself? No. With Jenka. So you made up? I... We'll miss you a lot. Come on, you're not leaving yet, are you? Actually, I've stopped by for a second. But if you want, I could stay. Do stay. Jenka left anyway, and I'm here alone like an idiot. What are you having? Whatever you are having. One for her. Where's the safe? In the bedroom wardroom. Try to open it. Be careful with it. Good evening. You bitch! Yeah, I need an ambulance. We have a gunshot wound and blunt force trauma. Trechprudny Lane, Building 4, Apartment 25. Are you done? Take him away. You bitch! Arrest her! She wanted to shoot me! No need to yell. Okay, lady, now you. 
How did the burglar get into the apartment? Did you forget to lock the door? Of course I didn't forget to lock the door. I don't know how he got here. He pointed the gun at Vadim in the hall, made him tie me up, when he knocked him out. She is lying. She is his accomplice. She's opened the door, she let him in, she told him where everything was. She is the one lying. She is taking revenge on me. Vadim left her for me. Easy, ladies. This is how it's gonna be. We all go to the station and then we'll figure out who's who. I need to change. Be quick. Is he gonna be okay? The blood loss is insignificant, but the blow was strong. We need to do an MRI and X-ray. Come on. Rinka doesn't pick up. She's probably asleep. Do you need to go home? How about I take you home in my new car? It's a great idea. How's the ride, by the way? It's awesome. You know, we should put your picture on it saying, Hatkevich choice. Awesome. So that they stop honking because I drive so slow in such a car. Are you slow as a turtle? Worse, I'm slow as a snail. Hey, do you have kids? What do you mean? No, I don't have any kids. Don't worry, I'm just asking. Evgenia Alexandrovna, we're gonna have to keep you for a little longer. Have you gone mad? I've been here the whole night. Deal with the criminals, please. I've got nothing to do with that. You see? So far, it's your word against Emilia Kolobova's word. She's a famous person's daughter. She has never been involved in any criminal activity, and there is a criminal case against you, manslaughter also, from a firearm. What is this? What the hell is going on here? Hello, sweetie. Hi. Zhenya, how are you? I had to call General Shevchenko himself to find out where she was taken to. Let her go now. Lady, who are you? I'll say. Ladies are at the cabaret. I'm an opera diva, you know? Sofia Pavlovna Polonska. What do you even know about it? I have a statement from my son, Safronom Vadim Nikolaevich. There. She is innocent. On the contrary, she saved him. The doctors told me that if it wasn't for you, I can't even think about that. Congratulations. There is it. General Shevchenko himself. For you. Yes? Greetings, General, sir. Chief Inspector Perbinos. There are no problems. We're just figuring out the facts of the case. Yes, sir, General, sir. Evgenia Alexandrovna. We will call you to testify as a witness at a convenient time for you. We will figure this out. The perpetrators will be punished, so uh, don't you worry. Sofia Palna, thank you very much for your help. Zhenichka. Come see Vadim with me. He asked for you. I want to apologize to you. I was very wrong about you. You weren't wrong. Tell Vadim I said hi. Bye. Yes, Vera. What's wrong with him? He is crying on stop because of you. Why do you give him false promises? He was waiting for you and you didn't come. No, it's not because of me. It's because of you. You throw me out of his life. 
Talk to him and stop this immediately. I'm begging you, please. And how do you imagine that? I don't know. Think of something. You're a grown woman. Lie to him after all. Tell him you're leaving. And I'm abandoning him again. I want to be with you, always. Sweetie, do you understand that that's impossible? But why? You don't want that. I do, very much. Is Lova allowed to go out? Yes, but no more than an hour and on the wheelchair. We need to go to a place. Are you crazy? It will be better for all of us. Fine. Virginia, could you bring me some water, please? Would you like a cold one? What are you doing here? You don't remember anything. Shit. Where is Zhenya? I don't know where your Zhenya is. She never came to get you yesterday. I brought you home, walked you to your apartment and... I'm sorry, I don't know what got into me yesterday. Get dressed quick. Zhenya could be here any minute. Where's my kid? Where did you bring the child? Wait for us here, please. Mom, please. Take the umbrella. It's starting to rain. Tumanov Dmitry Alexandrovich. Why did we come here? This is your father. Did he die? Yes. I killed him. Why? Was he bad? No, he was very nice. We grew up at an orphanage together. We dreamed of getting married and having a bunch of children. Give them everything. We started doing sports, bullseye shooting. Dima dreamt of being an Olympic champion. And he would have been. What happened? An accident. We were fooling around. And I shot him. I didn't know his gun was loaded. And that's why he died? Yes. I was 16, and I was pregnant with you. What happened next? I was taken away. Tried. I gave birth to you at a prison hospital. They made me give you away. I didn't know what would happen to me next. Under different circumstances, I would never give you away. Really? Of course. All this time I lived without a part of me. Now you appeared, and it all came together. You are a part of me. I love you very much. I love you too, Mom. 
So can you take me back now? No. Mom is the one who raised you. Vera is your mom. It's not right to appear out of nowhere and take you away. It's cruel. Can we see each other? No. I have no right to invade your lives. Is it that footballer of yours who doesn't want me? I don't care what the footballer of mine wants. It's just that you're not a toy, you know? No, I don't. Take me back to the hospital. Lova, wait. The wheelchair. I hope you'll manage to convince him that father meetings are impossible. Mom, let's go. Lova, Lova, oh God, help, someone help, Court 55. Женя? Finally. Женя, what happened this time? Huh? I'm hungry, you know. The food's in the fridge. Женя, what's going on? Look at me. You don't sleep at home? You forget about me? What's the big deal? Not as big as yours. Why are you giving me your stuff? Because it's not mine. You see, Stas, family is not a one-way street. I always want to be taken care of. Zhenya, I promise, I'll do better. I'll be more thoughtful. We'll go to England and start a new life. We are not going anywhere. Zhenya. It's my mom's scarf. So, what do we have here? Everything's okay in general. The blood pressure is a little low, heart palpitations. Bed rest has been interrupted. Yikes. Zhenya took him for a walk and he got overexcited. Leave us for a couple of minutes, please. Sure. Well, Lev, tell me what happened. Mom, I mean, Zhenya, took me to a cemetery. Okay. What for? To show me my dad's grave. Now tell me everything in more detail. Alina, hi. It's been a while. What brings you here? What do you want? I forgot my scarf. See, honey, it's not your mom's scarf after all. Zhenya. <laughs> 
Oh, a substitute player. Maybe I should bring her up to speed? Tell her what to feed you, what detergent to wash with, and how to iron your shoelaces? Jane, come on, it's just a misunderstanding. And there is a maid for shoelaces. No, honey. The maid shouldn't deal with food and clothing. All by yourself. Женя, listen. Yes? Женя. God damn it. I thought we were fine. And there's this scandal with the wedding, before the transfer. I could back you up if you want. What do you mean? The main thing for you is a high-profile event. And does it really matter who the bride is? It does to me. Not so much to the public. Yes. I see. Wait. Would you really do this for me? I would do anything for you. Hey. How about we try this? Looks fine, I think. What's wrong with him? Shush. Complications. Is it because of the trip? Sweetie. I'm sorry. I had to tell you. He's fine. I examined him. I had a serious talk with his mom and asked her to exclude any emotional shocks. Now I'm talking to you as his doctor. You should see him as much as possible. Vera agreed to these meetings. Really? Thank you. So, are we good? We are good. I also want to be a part of these meetings, and not only as a doctor. Call your mom. I think I know what she feels. Mom? Mom, where are you? Right. Mom? Mom, what's wrong? Are you feeling all right? No? What's wrong? Your father and I got divorced. He packed his things and... left. Mom. And now... I'm all alone. Mom. You are a grown-up. You have your own life, and I... Mom. Nobody needs me. See how pretty I was. You're very pretty now, too. It's all in the past. We really need you. You have us, Mom. I'm sorry I was a bad son, and I only thought about myself. I understand, son. Besides, I also wasn't the best mother for you. Well, you know, not everyone has the honor to have a legend as their mom. <laughs> yeah, I could see an F. F6, I remember. Mom, Lova has been discharged. Yeah? Yes. Thank goodness. And? Женя and I want to celebrate this, have a little picnic, and we'd be happy if you joined us. Join you? Tell her to bring her to our house immediately. Children's Lather has not been here in this house for a long time. Don't just sit here, call her. I have to freshen up and arrange for a dinner to be prepared. Call her right now. I'm calling her. Call her. Oksana Dmitrievna, follow me. We have a lot of work to do. Mom, I'll have tiramisu. Oksana, Oksana Dmitrievna, hurry up. The guests will be here soon. The dessert isn't ready. Sorry. Mom? Mom? What? There's no need for that. 
The dessert is served at the end anyway. No, everything should be perfect today. Beautiful. And if he hasn't learned to work by now, then I'll teach her. Hi. Look who's here. My dear boy. Is it me or have you grown? What a nice kite. Thanks for bringing him to us, Jenya. Shall we fly it? Yes. Episode 1. Good morning. Morning. Well... Why is that for? Don't you know? Don't play with me. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing is wrong. Okay, then. We wish you a happy birthday. This generous sale is for you. Write me down the 17th at 3 o'clock. Not sure yet. I'll come to the office and tell you. If I have time, I'll show up. Miss. Hey, miss. I can't move because of you. Park your car half a meter away. Ask Luba to sign me up for a massage. Yes, thank you. Thank you.
Sonia, good morning. Hi. Same. Later, Uncle Mish, I'm late. And good morning. Соня! Hi. I didn't see anything. What didn't you see? Absolutely nothing. Sonia, are you okay? There are flowers in the back room. I know, I know. I didn't mean to spoil the surprise. Well, too late. I asked the manager to buy one normal bouquet. And this moron brought a broom. I couldn't decide, he said. I like it. Very beautiful flowers. That's great you like it. I doubt Paul Palich gonna like it too. It's not respectable. Paul Palich? Sonia, don't be stupid. Paul Palich has been promoted. We are going to congratulate him in 15 minutes. Come on, move. Make the shit look not so miserable. Sonia, keep up. All right. Go, go, go. Just look at her. Just like our manager. She's an idiot. Come on, come on, make daddy happy. Damn it! Hello? Hi, Anton. I lost because of you. What do you want? I'm gonna be late. Paul Polich celebrates promotion and we are having a party. However, I'm stuck here with a report, so I probably won't be at home before 10. In the fridge... Okay, I'll figure it out. I have no time. Okay, bye. Cheers, dear Paul Palich. Cheers, folks. All the best. Hey, Sonia. Still working? Yeah, kinda. Well done. Take it. Take. I like the way you work. Thank you. Listen, there is a thing. Our company is downsizing. Paul Palich just made an announcement. Actually, we gathered there for it. So we talked and decided to cut you loose. Am I fired? No, no, just cut. Listen, who else can it be? You're a newbie here. All right, what did I want to say? You can go. Just finish the report and go home. That's it. Bye. Sonia, are you okay? Well, what can I say? I'm fired. Well, well, don't cry. It's not the end of the world. 
Every black stripe is always followed by a white one. Yeah, but I don't have any white ones. Only black. And moreover, one is blacker than other. Not only I was fired, but no one wished me happy birthday. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. Even my own husband didn't congratulate me. So maybe he did it on purpose. Maybe he's preparing a surprise for you. I wish. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sonia. Sonia, what the hell? Why are you so early? You said you won't be before 10. Sonia. Don't worry. It happens. Actually, we gathered there for it. So we talk and decided to cut you loose. What the hell? Why are you so early? You said you won't be before 10. Then you know what? My company won the tender. He came to me with a bottle of expensive whiskey the next day. I thought he came to speak or congratulate me, which would be logical in that situation. However, he poured two glasses and said, You know, Ilya, I came to say that I don't envy you. You are number one, and I am number two. This means that I will work twice harder and earn twice more. And... and emptied his glass. Just like that? Yes, I swear to you, emptied the glass. Did you become friends after that? No, I thought he was crazy. <laughs> you know what? Everything happened just as he said. A year later, his company overcame mine. And I came to him with a bottle of whiskey. And then we became friends. Poor Tolik. Rest in peace. Your father was an amazing man. Yes. Do you remember when he visited us? Took Igor with you for the first time. How old were you? I don't remember. Seventeen, probably. Yes, yeah, seventeen. I remember that. You were so shy. Well, I couldn't get the word. It's probably my fault. I shouldn't have said... Look at the groom I brought for you. I'm sorry, Igor. Oh, yeah. I can't forget all these jokes. You look so good, just like a bride and groom. Weren't we right? It seems to have been going to the wedding for a long time. We will soon be one family. We talked about this with your father more than once. Well, not only about that. You plan to merge campaigns. Well, yes. The market encourages this. If you want to dominate, you need to unite. It should have been done a long time ago. Our children are together and madly in love. 
Excuse me. <clears throat> we can become not only one family, but also a company that will not be equal. Sorry. Christine. Look, your capacities and our raw material production will become one. We will force all competitors to get hell out of the market. <laughs> Calm down. No need to be nervous. So? It is difficult to speak. I know you're just after Anastasia. Don't strain yourself. I know all you want to ask. The questions are almost always the same. All right. Your first question is where you are. You are here with us in the hospital. The second question is what has happened. You had an accident. Do you remember it? Amazing. We're moving. So, calm down. The third question is what's wrong with you? You have been operated. We removed the shrapnel from the chest. The operation was successful. The most important thing is complete peace. Deal? I will come... Later. By the way, we called your husband as soon as you were brought here. And he never came. I'll try again. Stay calm. How do you feel? Listen, I just... Well, I don't know how it happened. I was on my way home from the club, and then I met her. Sonia, it's all her fault, I swear to you. Well, okay, let's forget it. It happened only once. I didn't want you to find out, but you're the one to blame. You just got home from work earlier. All right. Get better. Hold it, please. Thank you. You need to eat everything to get strength. Sonia? Is it you? I can believe it. Your wife is very lucky, but she has to spend in the hospital at least three weeks. How long? Three weeks? God damn it. The main thing is that she's alive. This is a list of medicine you need to buy her. Yes, of course. Mom, what's the point of playing solitaire and paper cards if you can do it on your phone? You can't cheat on the phone. 
If you cheat, then what's the point? Victory. The point is always to win, Christina. And our victory is not far away. I doubt it. I don't want to hear such words from you ever again, clear? Everything is going according to plan. Sorokin is tired of Yegor's bachelor life. I can reach him. He avoids all marriage talks. He doesn't even want to live with me. Well, then try harder. Mom, I'm doing my best. I doubt it. Our future depends on this marriage. Do you remember it? We can be declared bankrupt and end up in the trash. They can put me in jail. Well, it's not my fault that my father died and left us a bunch of debt. You're the only one who can fix it. If you marry Yegor, we will be financially secure. But we need to do that faster than they realize. We have nothing to offer but a big name. I think you need to go deeper with Yegor's father. He loves all these business schemes of yours. And Yegor is afraid to stand up against him. I like you more now. Come in. Can you imagine? I met my classmate in the hospital. Whoa. Yes. We haven't seen each other since school. The one after the accident? Well, she tried to commit suicide. What do you mean? According to eyewitnesses, this wasn't an accident. She deliberately veered off the road. Excuse me. Look who is awake. Who bought the medicine? Dr. Fyodor couldn't get your husband, and we can't stop the treatment process. You shouldn't have. Don't mention that. Let's talk about it later. Do not think about it. Everything will be fine. It definitely won't. Everything in my life is not the way I would like it to be. Is that so? I'm married, but to be honest, I don't even know if I love him. Looks like Anton keeps me as a maid. I wanted to have children, but he's afraid of losing his carefree life. Everyone can get a prince. I worked twice as hard. Stayed up until night. And they have fired me. That's why you tried to kill yourself. You're alive and that's the main point. You will recover, leave the hospital, return to your husband. I want to be alone. Of course. <laughs> Drop it. You're crazy. He cheated on me. In our bedroom, on our bed. On my birthday. What's the point of all this? Don't cry. 
Everything will be fine. Do you hear me? <laughs> doctor. Yes? Are you going home? I have an urgent business for you. So talk to Uncle Doctor. I don't need him. I need you. Lena. Friends and hockey are waiting for me. And I have a question of life and death. I beg you. All right. When I was a student, my professor used to say that when a patient says that she doesn't want to live, she tries to say, help me. She's only afraid to ask for help. I don't need any help. Help. Everyone needs it. People live when they have a reason to live for. I have nothing. My whole life is a disaster. I really need to show you something. Why, God, why? Why are we here? Look at this. An iron fragment pierced your chest and stopped at the very heart. If you think you're out of luck, look at this man who had the same accident as you. He died. And you, you are here, alive. Take a closer look at the picture. Don't forget that life has given you a second chance. Why, God? Winter. What a miracle. They say that children love winter, but adults don't. So? I'm a child. After winter comes spring and then warm summer. True. Isn't it a miracle? Of course a miracle. Too bad not everyone thinks that way. The older we get, the longer our winters. And we have to wait until summer. Maybe that's why we care so much about our children. We know we won't always be there. Yes, you see my point. Sooner or later I will retire. And Yegor just doesn't give a damn about my business. Someone will have to run the company after me. Igor has Kristina. They love each other, and this love will help them overcome difficulties. Yes. Kristina is a girl with character. Right. She has a business mind, just like her father. If our children get married, we will unite the companies. And we will never have to worry about their future. I always wanted to unify our companies, but all those modern customs... God, why don't they hurry up? There will always be something to stop them. I want to babysit my grandchildren. They should hurry up. Sonia? You scared me, Lenka. Are you ready for the procedures? Don't you have anything to do? I have you and I'm taking care of you. Here is your new friend. Then you feel set. Look at him and you will immediately feel better. <laughs> Idiot. I see you started to eat. Do you want me to get an additional portion for you? Lena, I'm going to gain an extra pound here. Then go for a walk. I'll pick you up in five minutes. Come on, hurry up. Fresh air. Right. Yes, I haven't been outside for a long time. Two weeks to be certain. Lenka. Why didn't you go to a medical school? Didn't pass the exams? I didn't try. I didn't even try to apply. Didn't believe I would make it. Without connections and money, you have nothing. Too bad. 
I think you should have tried. Sure. I've been replaying my entire life in my head so many times these days, and I decided to give myself a second chance. Atta girl, get better, get a new job, everything will be fine. I want to open a florist dry studio. Okay. Yeah. Like your own business? Isn't it risky? I don't know. I'll open it and I will see. You need tons of money. You can lose everything. Lena, it's just my plan. So, what do you think? I think you didn't call me for that. We both know business is not my strength. Yes. I just wanted to talk to you. Then don't beat around the bush. Speak. Right. Why don't you marry Christina? I knew that. I'm not sure I love her. Wait, what? You're not sure that you love her? How is it possible? So many years together. Yes, so many years together, and the longer we're together, the more I think, what if this isn't love, but just a habit? Well, good. What's bad about it? It's a good habit. But where is love? Come on, boy. Yegor, wait. I think I know what's going on. It happened to me, too. You're just nervous about making a responsible decision. I'm afraid. I don't want to make a mistake. Why don't you understand this? What's wrong with you? It won't be a mistake. You're the perfect couple. How can you know this? I don't understand. Who knows if not me? Our families have been together for so many years. That's it. Let's be honest. You want this wedding so badly because you have dreamed about uniting our business. And what's wrong with that? I want it for you, first of all. So now all this for my sake? For whom else it can be? Your happiness is in the first place. This is the main thing for me. You can't be serious. Shall I remind you how you left me and mom for business? No need. Don't talk to me like that. No. We had this conversation before. It was a long time ago. Not long enough for me to forget. For me to forget what it's like to live without a father. Enough. I said marry Christina and that's it. Papa. Dead. Dead. Doctor, call a doctor. Heart attack. The man is 60 years old. To the intensive care. Stop. You can go. He is my father. We'll do our best. to stabilize your father's condition. Will he get better? His heart should start working without additional devices. Then we can talk about recovery. The ambulance took him here. Can I transfer him to another clinic? No need. We have very good specialists. Can he hear me now? Yes, of course. But please... Watch your words. He must stay calm. Why? Why did I tell you all this? 
You're right, Dad. You're always right, and I'm selfish. You always wanted the best for me. I'm sorry. Forgive me for not understanding this earlier. Hello? Christina, hi. Hi. Let's meet tomorrow at our restaurant. Sure. What for? I have a surprise for you. Hmm. Okay. See ya. See ya. Hmm. Mom. Mom. What? It seems to me tomorrow will come the day we have been waiting for. <laughs> Excuse me, but I came here first. Is that so? Yes. You stuck the money right in front of me. Well, you didn't do that, right? Could you wait? Miss, this is not a store. This is a vending machine. Whoever puts the money first is right. You took the chocolate I wanted. It was the last one. Today is not your day. Miss. Damn. Have you seen that brat? Who? The one near the vending machine. I can see the bread you are talking about, where there is a tall, handsome man in a white shirt. A tall, greedy man in a white shirt. He took the last chocolate. He's not handsome. Maybe you should visit the optometrist. We have one. I'll write you down. <laughs> have you made eyes at him yet? He is not up to it. His father has a heart attack. I'm sorry. If you're talking about our first meeting, it's fine. Heard about your father. He had a heart attack. I'm sorry. The chocolate was delicious. Yegor. Sonia. Nice to meet you, Sonia. Why are you here? An accident. How's that? How did it happen? Car's technical malfunction. I see. 
Соня, let's have a walk. Sure. What do you do? I help my father in business. Although sometimes it seems to me that I'm only getting in the way. Business isn't my strength. And what would you like to do? When I was studying in London, I visited a drawing studio. I enjoyed it. Yes. Well, then I came back and my father fascinated me with work and I abandoned drawing. That's funny. I would never think you were an artist. Do you want me to prove it? Well, yeah. All right, then. Let's go, let's go. And what are you up to? Nothing. But I have a dream. Dreaming is not bad. Sometimes I'm afraid of my own thoughts. It's crazy. All the best in this life begins with a dream. Easy to say. Close your eyes. Why? Close. Now, imagine your biggest dream. I see myself differently from now. How differently? Strong. Self-confident. And... And? Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> what else do you see? Flowers. Real flowers. They're everywhere and they're amazing. And what kind of place is it? A florist dry studio. My studio. See? Dreaming is great. And please, don't doubt it. Everyone thinks I can't do it. Even my own husband doesn't believe in me. Are you married? Yes, but lately... Never mind. I just want to change my life completely. I don't want to go back. I think you will manage to do it, Sonia. You can do it. How do you like it? What the hell? Actually, I came to find out when you are going home. I don't know. Well, the apartment is a mess. And it's time to pay the rent. Are you allowed to work after discharge, right? I didn't tell you. But I'm fired. Well, you know how to get into trouble. Well, you'll find another job. I don't want to look for another job. I want to start my own business. Flowers? Do you know how much money it takes? I know. It's a lot. Let's say I have money. Let's say you do. Even then, I would find a better use for it. Yes, I even know what. I do something much more reliable than your stupid idea. It's not stupid. Sonia, get down to Earth. How old are you? Yes, that's right. How old am I and what have I achieved? I'm tired of this. I know that I'm capable of more. Why don't you believe in me? Want the truth? Look at yourself. What can you do with your brain? Do you have any idea what's waiting for you? 
Get this crap out of your head. He will never let me do what I want. Never. Can you imagine that? He is just being realistic. All men are like that. I don't want to be discharged. I don't want to go home. I don't want to live my old life. Where are you going? You'll get burned. Wait for the signal. I got burned when I married Tom Tom. Get ready. Let's go home. I'll take your receipt. Igor. Igor. Hello. Hi. Did something happen? What's wrong? Will you marry me? Yes. Come on in. Ready? Where's Sonia? I don't think she's coming back. Episode 2. Lenka, thank you for hosting me. You have no idea how much that means to me. No worries. Stay as long as you want. Do you remember our childhood? We used to have sleepovers. Right. Well, your bed is ready. Welcome. I don't have any clothes. Not a big deal. Take whatever you want. What? Does it hurt? Is it your wound? No. Just... such a strange feeling inside. Either happiness or fear. Are you going to talk to him? About what? Make yourself comfortable. This number cannot accept message at this time. So that's how it is, right? So you're interested in a business loan? Yes. I want to open my own florist dry studio. Mm -hmm. You haven't indicated any property. Do you have an apartment? Oh, no. No. We rent an apartment with my husband. Do your parents have any assets? House, cottage, land? No. My parents... They're gone. I see, but someone has to act as a guarantor. 
Maybe your husband or his relatives? Is it possible to get a loan without involving my husband? In your case, the bank will refuse you. The loan amount is large. Moreover, if you have late payments, the penalty will be enormous. I understand. If I can't pay the loan back, what will happen? In this case, the bank has the right to take your business. The property will be sold, but this will cover only part of the debt. The rest you will have to pay yourself. Therefore, you must be confident in your abilities. And by the way, the insurance of your business is an obligatory condition. It's already included in the loan. Here are the payout schedules. Excuse me, is this for a month? Yes. I need to think. Have your time. Sorry. Do not put off the dream for later. I agree. Listen. You don't have a job. You have no property. You are unreliable client for the bank. Of course, I can try to send documents for consideration, but without a guarantor, there is almost no chance. Try it. Serhi, please, lend me some. I will pay you back in a couple of days. I know you're a couple of days. But for real. Back off. Find a job. Go to hell. Sofia Kuzmina? Yes? This is Tikhonov. Where have you suddenly gone? Well, I... Okay, okay, don't bother yourself. It's your business. You have to come to the hospital and pick up your statement. All right. Slut. She has left me. Hello, yes. Yes, it's me. I see. Thank you. Goodbye. Am I interrupting something? Hi. Of course not. How are you feeling? No, but uh, I've been discharged. How's your father? His condition is stable, but the doctors talk about it without enthusiasm. We all understand what that means. Are you planning to go on vacation? No, this is from a bank. I told you about my dream. Do you remember? Yes, of course. Flores Tri Studio. Yes. I wanted to take a loan, but they refused me. 
Apparently, I am an unreliable person without a grantor. Can I take a look? Please. They definitely overreacted. Bastards. Creditors. Exactly. They attacked us like vultures. Mom, we have a solution to all problems. We are lucky that the old fool got in the hospital. Igor thinks about dad's health so much that he stopped showing off. You did a good job with Sorokin, and he was Igor. But we need time. I want you to arrange a reception for our partners in the office. Now? When our business falling apart? Yes, right now. We must pretend that everything is fine. Well, if you want, I'll rob a bank for you. Lena. That's not funny at all. Don't get upset. I just want to cheer you up. I'm not upset. You were right. I have no chance of starting my own business. My fate is to sit in the shabby office and serve my husband. I have an idea. Let's get drunk as goats. Just like at the prom? I don't remember being drunk. That's exactly why you don't remember. Why not? Come on, let's drink. Hello, yes. Yes, it's me. What? Yes, of course. I'll be there. Yes. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. What? What? Lenka, the bank approved my loan. For real? But why did they change the decision? I don't know. I don't understand. Just a mere formality. Take out insurance and sign all the papers. And that's it. The credit is yours. Just remember to pay on time. Otherwise, the penalty will be serious. Uh-huh. Yes, I got it. I'll ask you to sign here and here. Uh-huh. Could you tell me, why did the bank suddenly approve the loan? You have a guarantor. Guarantor? Who? Igor Sorokin. His father's company is a longtime client of our bank. You are very lucky. I would also like to have such influential friends. Igor, hello. Hello. I wanted to thank you. Thank you so much for watching for me. They gave me a loan. Well, to be honest, it wasn't difficult. I don't understand. Why do you need this? I like that you believe in yourself and do what you think is right. Yes. You told your husband is against your idea. Did he change his mind? No. I changed my mind and left him. Igor? Hi. I decided to surprise you. What about... I have a lot of work to do. I don't accept rejection. We will celebrate our plans. Who is the girl in the picture? I don't remember. This is an old drawing. Found it on the table. Yeah, nice. Well, let's talk about our plans. I want us to announce our wedding. What do you mean? We will arrange a banquet, invite guests, and make an official engagement, yeah? Engagement? Are you serious? The engagement is a relic of the past. I don't think so. It is important for me. And besides, it was your father's idea, and we can't upset him. He needs to be happy. 
And one more. Let's move in together. Let's talk about it after the engagement. Good, as you wish. Here is the room for your flower shop. Florist tries to do. I'll be honest, it was very difficult considering your budget. No one will offer you anything better. I understand. The room has been empty for a couple of years. This is not Buckingham Palace. Let's see. What do you think? As you said, I have a little choice. Let's sign the papers then. Hello, delivery for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, bring it in. Turn it to the door. And closer to me. A little bit closer. Here to the right. Careful, careful! Is it in one piece? Thank you very much. Goodbye. All right. The sofa is for relaxation. Yeah. I want to put a... A cash register there. And divide the space into two zones, one for rest, another for work. Good. Help yourself. I'm starving. I know. What a day. Hey, don't you want to change your style? Are you okay? Yes, I'll also need a uh, hundred roses. Red. Yes, red. Yes. Please, don't let me down. I will be a regular customer. Okay. Yes, thank you. Bye. Yeah. I have never thought you could do it all by yourself. I didn't believe either. It's so beautiful here. And you are so beautiful, just like a business lady. Thanks to you. Don't mention it. You made me believe that I shouldn't be afraid of my desires. Our doctor Tikhonov said medical university dropped a few extra places. So? And I decided to give it a try. Lienka, that's great. You will do it. Do you know what the most important thing? Believe in yourself. I forgot I have a surprise for you. That's for you. Lienka. Wow. It's amazing. This is for luck. Thank you. It's time. Ready? Yes. Come on. Attention, attention. Attention, attention. Floris Tri Studio is officially open. Congratulations. No one said that customers would immediately tumble down in drows. We are going to have a reception during which we will announce our engagement. Fine. Thank God. I'm very happy. See? I told you your dad would love it. Ouch. Excuse me, please. I called you dad. But get used to it. I think we should wait until my father is discharged. Yegor. No way. 
You will have to wait a very long time. I am not even allowed to get up. They say I need rest and constant monitoring. And then this thing, I can't live without it. Don't delay the engagement. Your happiness is the best medicine for me. Sonia, is it you? Yes, yes, it's me. Preparing for your exams? My brain is a bit fried. I see. Wow. You are determined. I take an example from you. Lienka. Do you know I love you, don't you? What have you done? I have rented an apartment. I know that I can stay here with you, but I have to start building my new life. Sonia, you are the smartest girl I've ever met. So do what you think is right. Lianka. You're doing great. Igor, hi. My mother asked to... Since when have you been drawing again? I always wanted to do it. Don't you think it's a waste of time? I mean, if you like. Okay. Good for you. Very nice. Antonio, why don't you say hi? Where's your politeness? Hi. Didn't recognize you? Well, it's good. It's really good. I'm going to be rich, right? What's up, man? If you want to live, give me my money back. I'm broke, but I will. No, 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 no. It doesn't work anymore. I have a problem, Antonio. A serious problem. I'm ill. I have a terrible allergy. I'm allergic. Allergic to people who take my money and then don't pay it back. Antonio, I go crazy. Do you want to see it? No need. I'll get it back. I just need time. Time? Well, we can make it. If I hear your excuses again... Yes, I got it. Got it. Wait, wait. Where do you live? Apartment 32? Yeah, that's 32. I won't forget. Hi. What's wrong with you? Can you... No, I won't give you money, don't even ask. I wanted to borrow. You have borrowed from half of the district. I'm not going to join it. Why are you all like that, huh? Is it true that your wife left you? Kinda. She just ran away. We will see. How long are you going to wait? By the way, she makes money in her flower business. Flower what? Igor? Hello. Hello. How did you find me? Pretty easy. I have to congratulate you. Your studio is all over the internet. Great news. I'm going to have more clients. 
I hope. Impressive. How is it going? Not much yet. People mainly come for flowers and buckets. And the main income is the decoration of large events. But I don't have such clients yet. But the positive attitude still remains? <laughs> of course. If I don't think about loan and rent payments. Well, I have two orders to complete. Yes, first I need a bouquet. Any advice? Yes, of course. For whom? For one beautiful girl. Who is she? I'm afraid I can't say that. You didn't get my point. I need to understand what bouquet to choose. This girl is smart and very beautiful. I think this is enough for you to choose a bouquet. Good. One moment. Here. I think this is it. Well then, all right. Igor, please, I won't take money for you. Please, take it. You are the one who helped me. I insist. This is for you. For me? Yes. Just as I told you, this is for a smart and beautiful woman. Thank you. So, how did you like it? Gorgeous bouquet. A professional helped you. I also think this way. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Let's go, come on. Have a seat. You said you have two orders. What is the second? Yeah, and about this. My partners are hosting a business reception at the office. We would like to decorate the hall with flowers. What do you think? Is the hall big? Big enough. Well, what do you say? I don't have enough flowers now, so I need to order more. For this, I... You just need to say yes. Sonia, I believe in you. Yes. Excellent. Unfortunately, I need to go. I'll leave you my business card. And send all the information to the email. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Igor, thank you for the bouquet. No problem. I was glad to see you, Sonia. Thank you for the order. And for the order. <laughs> Did you forget something? When they told me, I didn't believe it. And here I am. What do you want? You have changed everything. New clothes, hairstyle. Go away, please. So you opened this crappy studio behind my back? This is my business. Is it so? You're my wife. You must share with me. I don't owe you anything. One more time. You are my wife. Yeah. Not much. Do you want me to press the button? Do you believe the police will do something to me? Who said it would be the police? Who then? Those who are responsible for my peace. You're bluffing. If you don't believe me, you can press it yourself. All right, birdie. If you want to fly a little bit, fly. Just try not to fall.
<laughs> Your face seemed familiar. Do I know you somehow? I don't think we've met. I'm Sonia. Christina Anatolievna. This is my office. And you're a florist, yes? Exactly. My friend gave me a word of advice. I hope you are worth it. Of course not. Is it enough for such a spacious hall? That's not all. The rest will be brought from the warehouse. Those roses? Don't touch them. Be careful. I love roses. They are... Yes, roses look harmless, but they have thorns. It's better not to touch them if you don't know how. You can cut out the thorns. Then it won't be a rose anymore. You know better. You're a florist here. I hope you do your job well. Or I don't envy you. Good luck. I don't envy your boyfriend. If you have one. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Flower Delivery. What? Who? Sergeyev, flowers delivery. Oh, yeah, I got it. Where are you? We are waiting for the flowers. Have you arrived? I'm in another city. Pity? Why is that? I'm in another city. Your flowers are in the warehouse. Can you hear me? We have a conflict. What profit? Not profit. The cellular service is horrible here. Hello? So at what time you'll be here? Hello? Hello? What is it? If so, no. Hello? Igor. Decided to come earlier to see how you're here. Horrible. It's a catastrophe. I didn't receive flowers from the warehouse. There was some kind of conflict. The driver got stuck, and his car broke down. So they can't bring flowers today? No, there is only a watchman in the warehouse. They have no workers, no transport, no one. I can't reach them. All right, keep calm, okay? I'll figure out what to do. What can you do here? I have failed. I won't get money. I won't pay for the loan. And I will lose the studio. Or we can go to the warehouse and pick up the flowers ourselves. By the way, there's a bus in the parking lot. I can make a deal with the driver. Igor, if we are quick, we can make it. Let me go first. Oh. Let's go then. Yeah. And again, you saved me. I'm starting to like it. <laughs> it's closed. <gasps> what happened? I forgot my bag. Don't worry, no one will steal it. An invoice for flowers is there. Damn it. We don't have time to go back. Let's try without it. Of course, they will believe me and give me a huge number of flowers out of thin air. Sonia, try to call them again. Phone is in the bag. Sonia, you're amazing. Why is it always like this with me? What's now? I have an idea. Let's go. Come on. Igor, this is theft. Not exactly. You have all the invoices, you have paid for the flowers. Explain everything later.
this way. Let's go. Carefully, carefully. Give me a hand, Sonia. Careful. Watch your head. Oh! My leg! Sorry. I can't believe we are doing this. Don't stop. <laughs> Come here. Here? Yes, I think yes. Careful. Careful. Watch it. Well, do you see them? Yes. My flowers are there. Indeed? Check invoices. Yes, they are. Yeah? Yeah. Well, 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 watch it. The last one. Come on. Let's go. It seems... We need to pick up the flowers. Yes, you're right. You're crazy, Igor. You are the same. And let's drop the formalities and go to first name terms. Angry. You have done your job very well, Sonia. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. You know, I have another task for you. Let's discuss all the details tomorrow at 9. Thank you. Okay. Yes, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Just a minute. Yes, of course. So I... Let's go. I want to introduce you to someone. Get together and talk. I hope no one is bored. Don't say that. I love all your events. Glad to hear it. Things are going uphill, which means we have a good reason to celebrate. Meet Igor Sorokin, my daughter's fiancé, my future son-in-law. Hello. Igor Sorokin? I know your father. Everyone here knows his father. I heard he's in a hospital. What happened? A heart attack. Such a blow. We all pray for his recovery. Wait, so what does it mean? Your daughter and Yegor are about to marry. Yes, you're right. Folks, someone wants to capture the entire market. Don't worry, we'll leave something for you. I'm sorry. Are you leaving already? Yes, my work is done. Can I keep your company? To be honest, I'm already tired of this event. Let's celebrate your amazing job. I know a place where they make amazing mule wine. Well, let's go. Come on.
I have just realized what could happen to us. The watchman was there a couple of meters from us. But if he saw us, what would we do then, huh? I had a plan B. So tell me. Please, please, let us go. I suddenly remembered how we were sitting in the car in front of the hospital and you told me about your dream. Yes. Looks like it was a hundred years ago. Yes. You were afraid to think about any changes, but now... Look at yourself. You did a great job. And you helped me. No, I didn't do anything at all. Yes, you did. It is all about your strength and perseverance. I'll tell you that few people have enough courage for it. Sounds like you're talking about yourself. No, just thinking out loud. Such a beautiful place. My mother and I love to visit it very much. <laughs> Only mom? What about your dad? He left us. When I was eight years old, I had to grow up very early. It must have been hard for you. It was much harder when he tried to take part in my life. Once my father sent his bodyguard with a gift on one of my birthdays. It was a huge radio-controlled car, all glowing, shining and squeaking. In one word, it is impossible to imagine a better gift for a boy. But as soon as bodyguard left, I took that car and threw it out of the window. I needed a father, not his gifts. What about now? Do you get along? When I graduated, he... seemed to understand that he was wrong and... did a lot for me. Helped to get an education in London connected to the business. So you forgive him? I love him. I do. But I will never be able to forgive. He doesn't even understand it. But there's one thing I do know for sure. Someday I will have a child and I won't let him grow up without a father. Good morning. Morning. What time is it? It's almost nine o'clock. I'm late. I have to go. God, I'm late too. Turn away. No, you turn away. <laughs> I'm first. Okay, just be quick. a very beautiful house. What is the occasion? Engagement. Congratulations. My fiancé is late. I think we'll start without him. All right. Come on in. I put it down 
Here. Can we move the furniture? Yes. Great. Then we'll put the tables here. We will have white orchids. It will be very beautiful. Here are five varieties of roses with red to yellow overflow. About the thousand pieces will be enough. Here are the vases. In the corners, there will be tall, beautiful, and elegant vases with assorted flower compositions. Here we'll make a monogram for the capital letters of your names. Everything will be done from flowers. Interesting, especially the letter idea. What are your letters? Sometimes the combination doesn't sound very good. We have very beautiful letters. Ka and Ye. Excellent. Ka and Ye as symbols of your love. Four vases are enough. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm late. And here is my fiancé. Meet. Igor. Igor. Episode 3 Sonia! Sonia, wait! Let's go now, I'm done. Where to? It doesn't matter, go! Sonia! Sonia! Igor, what was it? Isn't she weird, right? He didn't tell you anything? No. He seemed to be a good man. A good man with a bride and an engagement in no time. What were you thinking? How could you not notice he had a fiancé? Lienka. I want to be happy. Don't you get it? For a while, I thought that everything could be fine. But I was wrong. Or maybe to hell. To hell? I mean men. They are nothing but troubles. <laughs> to hell, all of them. It's better to be alone. You are not alone. You have your florist right studio. It was your dream. And you must follow it. It's your own words. Thank you very much, Lena. You're always there in difficult times. Don't mention it. We are friends. Goodbye. See you soon. Things are going well for you. Well, yes. First payment. Amazing. Why? To be honest, when I first saw you, I didn't think you would make it. I mean, your business. People come to take loans every day. However, most of them can't pay back. It's a simple idea. Not everyone is able to open and raise their own businesses. So I am not the majority. I did succeed. So far, so good. It's the first payment. Who knows what will happen tomorrow? Thank you. Hello. Sonia, is that you? Where have you gone yesterday? Hello, Christina. We have very little time and so much to do. The engagement is in a few days. Can you handle it? Christina, listen to me, please. I love your ideas with the flower letters. I want the whole house to be covered in flowers. Christina, I understand everything, but... Sonia, listen. I don't know what happened this morning. But if we want to end on time, we need to end the discussion. Christina, please listen to me. I won't be able to complete your order. What does it mean? Excuse me. I wish all the best to you and your fiancé. Sonia.
fine. Igor, you are so worried about your father. But everything will be fine, really. I can't wait to announce our engagement. Why the nurse looking at you like that? I have no idea. Weird, just like the girl who decorated our office. She refused to decorate the house for our engagement. Can you imagine that? Like she doesn't want a good reputation and money. I'm worried that we won't make it on time. I don't want us to be in a hurry, okay? Igor, I have already found a new florist. And now I'm going to meet him. It wouldn't hurt you to come with me? I can't now. I have very important things to do. Igor. I'm sorry. What was that? Sonia, Sonia, we need to talk. Closed. Take your hand away. I won't. I'll close the door anyway. And break my arm. I have nothing to talk about. But I have. I must tell you the truth. I saw everything. I beg you. Just listen, please. Christina and I studied together in London. There we have started dating. I shared the management of the company with my father, and Christina took over her family business. Our parents have always dreamed of a merger between Sorokins and Lebedevs. Especially my father. He became obsessed with this idea. Christina's father died a year ago. After his death, my father began to put pressure on me. And what happened then, you know. A heart attack and... I became afraid. I was so afraid of upsetting my father that I proposed to Christina. That's the only reason. Well done. You did a great job, Yegor. You take care of your family. You take care of your father. I just don't understand why you're telling me all this. I'm a stranger. You really don't understand? No. After I had met you, everything changed. You had met me. We had a nice chat. And then did something stupid. I regret. But I don't. After we've done something stupid like you said, I can't help myself. I can think only about you. I'm sure you're the woman I want to spend my whole life with. That's right. You want. It's the most important point, yeah? But you should have told me about your bride. You knew about my husband. I've told right away about him. I didn't hide anything. But you're just like all the other men. Igor, if you had feelings for me, you would do things. I'm ready for any action for you. Don't you feel it? Did you call off your engagement? Sorry? Can't you hear? Did you call off your engagement? No. See? What else can we talk about? That's nice. And costs a lot. It is very difficult to find a good specialist now. At first I hired one, Dumbbell. I was lucky enough to kick her out in time. Yes, now we have a very expensive florist. But you can see the result. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we are ready to start. Where is Yegor? He was somewhere here. You can start. Yegor will come. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Friends, please come closer. We all gathered here in this wonderful house for an important event. Our charming Christina 
is going to tell you more about it. Welcome her. Louder. And we welcome our brave Yegor. I'm sure he's on his way to us. Yes. Where is he? Yegor, we are all waiting for you in the lobby. Where are you? Let's applause. Yegor? Yegor! And here he is. Let's welcome him. Finally. Friends, this is a very exciting day in the lives of two young people. They waited for a very long time. Every person on this planet is looking for their soulmate. But not everyone finds some. Yegor, Kristina, you are extremely lucky. You have met each other. You fell in love. And now, both of you finally ready to say aloud those words you have kept in your hearts for so long. I... I honestly... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Igor, what's going on? Why are you standing here? What are you doing, fool? Run after him, bring that bastard back. Igor! Stop! What are you doing? Christina. Honey. I'm tired of pretending. You have to understand, I don't love you. Stop talking nonsense. You are just used to me. And that's it. Our love is... Our love has disappeared. It is gone. What's wrong with you? Please, let's go back to the house. The guests are waiting. We have to... Listen, listen. I promise you'll be fine. You will meet someone who deeply loves you. But I can't take it anymore. I can't. Sorry. Igor. Igor. Don't you dare to leave. That bastard humiliate us like that, in front of everyone. That's your fault. You should have kept an eye on him. It's not my fault. No yours. After so many years together, you can drag him down to Isle. Mom, what could I do? Do you like the house you live in? Do you like the car you drive? Or maybe clothes you afford? Without Igor's money, they will take all this from you and leave your bare ass at the street. Do you want this? We must bring Igor back in any cost, understand? Let me help you. It's not heavy. I did it. Well done. Put it there. I felt myself so relieved, like a huge stone had fallen out of my heart. I was serious about everything I've told you. What have you done? What kind of reaction is that? I told the truth? What truth? About everything. That I don't love her. We neither won't get engaged nor get married. The engagement is today. Wait, did you run away? I did it only because I can't stop thinking about you. Since the first day I met you. Igor, but you can't run away on the day of the engagement. Why didn't you cancel it before? I was afraid and I didn't have courage to do it. And today... I finally understood I can't lie anymore, either to myself or to others. So that's how you do it. First you propose, then you run. Yes, yes, I was wrong. But if I didn't run away, 
it would be much worse for me, for Christina, for everyone. I want everything to be like it used to be. The main thing is our present, right now. I have a lot of things to do in my present. I have orders to take care of, I need to pay off loan. So don't bother me, please. Rejected. Valera. Find Yegor immediately. Got it. He is at the bar, drunk as goat. Don't. I'll handle it. Repeat. Scotch, please. In a minute. It was a good day, wasn't it? It's not so easy to get rid of your family, yeah? Yengor. I can understand your feelings. Sure you do. Seriously. Engagement, wedding... These are very serious events, especially in the life of a man. You are so afraid of losing your freedom. Well, you had a breakdown, yeah? It's okay, it happens. We are with you, even without an engagement. Let's go home. Woman. The woman who never became my mother-in-law. I'll tell you without embellishment. It's all over between Christina and me. Don't be stupid. Just don't. You know how my late husband wanted our families to unit, right? And you have fooled my poor little girl for so many years. So it's time to be a man, marry her. Don't you understand? I don't love Christina. I don't. I don't care. Do you hear me? I don't care if you love her or not. Marry her and that's it. There will be no wedding. Are you sure? Your father has a weak heart. And he won't be very happy about this news. Will you tell him yourself? Or should I do it? Come again. What a beautiful day. I'm closing. Hi. What a beautiful day, what a beautiful day, what a perfect day. Are you all right? I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Lenka, what happened? I'm not Lenka. I'm Yelena Alexeyevna, future doctor. Did you get in? Yes, with a full scholarship. That's my girl. Good job. Thank you. Let's celebrate. Yes, of course. I hope your visit won't make your father nervous. 
He needs to remain calm. Come on. Why are you so quiet? Did the engagement go wrong? Don't be silent. Talk to me. It's okay, Dad. It's just... We can't get along with Christina. Just look at him. I've been lying here for days among these devices, all in pipes. And you know what I feel? This. I can feel her breath. Dad, come on. I won't stop. Listen. All my youth, all my life, I did nothing but work. I worked, earned this damn money. Even divorced your mother because of it. In the 90s, I wanted to keep you safe. So what? Am I happy now? Yes. Of course, I can afford something, especially when I'm sick. But laying here, all alone, I want to trade all my money to go back. To get together with your mom and you. I want to hold your hand and walk you to school. Or play football with you. Or go fishing. That's what I'm thinking about. It is impossible. Yes, son, this is impossible. But I am very grateful that you began to communicate with me, that forgave me. You followed my footsteps and took over my company. Thank you. Dad, it's all right. That's what I think. You don't have to marry Christina. No need. Live your life, son. My ambition is only my ambition. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I wanted to force you to marry. Forgive me. Dad, you... you have no idea what these words mean to me. I can't pay off the loan with that. Lena! Only small orders. Well, it's fine, you will have some more. What about your men? My men? Not Anton, of course. Has Igor called you? Every day. And you don't answer? I won't. Do you hate him? No. Hate is destructive. He has known Christina since childhood, and he met me less than a month ago. Now you understand his reason to not to tell you? It doesn't excuse him. Why are you protecting him? All my life I went with the flow. I did as others did, I thought as others thought. I got used to the idea. I have been dreaming of becoming a doctor, but I was afraid to even try. 
until a miracle happened to me. A miracle? Yes. I met my classmate, who miraculously overplayed death. She showed me that if you do not give it to your fear, you can achieve everything. She left her unwoven husband, got a huge loan, and opened her own studio. Her own studio! I can! I was such a fool, I was afraid to try. And now I'm a future doctor. Thank you for this. Listen. Just listen. The main thing is that you feel. If you love Igor, then everything else is unimportant. Let the past stay in the past. Leave the present. Igor is calling. Should I answer? My god, girl, of course! Yes, hi. I am surprisingly calm around you. When you're near, I know everything is gonna be all right. I've never experienced anything like this, never. And I understand how it looks for you, and you should... you should hate me. If you say I shouldn't call or write you, I won't. But before you decide, I... must tell you. I love you. Igor, I love you too. I haven't danced in such a long time. I have a surprise for you. Open. That's great. Tickets to London? I booked a weekend in London for us. Are you crazy, Igor? Yes, it's your fault. But what about the visa? Don't worry, I'll handle it. By the way, Another surprise awaits you in London. I thought that Igor was smarter. However, he found another woman. When was that? Look, I have some more. I've been watching them for a week. They are in love. Look. They went to the cafe, cinema, they hold hands and kiss each other on every corner. Bastard, with this florist girl. That's why she ran away. Bitch. Where are you going? I'm going to find her and rip out her hair. This won't help you. We need to be smarter. Sonia? What you looking at? Tea? How did you? What a shit. Where's my money? I don't have it. Wait a bit longer. Do you know what will happen after? I will come, and if I don't see the money, I will hurt you very, very badly. That's a mistake.
Look at him, sleeping so peacefully. Maybe we should go. Can direct his own son to the right place. Mom. Hello there. Sveta, Christina? Do you even know what's going on? What? Do you know where's your son? And most importantly, with who? He's in London with some florist girl. Oh, that. You still can't drop this topic. I know everything Yegor has told me. So you know. That's why you're so calm. What can I do? I won't force him. Excuse me? Are you kidding me? You have changed your mind, as I see. Sveta, I didn't realize it before. But our children have to decide everything by themselves. Oh, I see. Christine, I am sorry. But Yegor, he doesn't love you. I am not willing to force him. I have been waiting for this wedding for so long, for your indecisive Yegor to propose. And now what? Everything went to hell. Oh, come on. And now you, old stump, aren't going to react properly. I beg you, don't get hysterical. I'm tired. I want to sleep. Oh, don't get hysterical. Mom. Your Yegor ruined everything. He dumped Christina. Do you hear it? How could you let that happen? Where were you looking? Don't you understand? This marriage is everything for me. We are deeply in debt. Yes, me. Our company is bankrupt. This marriage and your money are the only salvation. Do you hear? We will be nothing without this marriage. Nothing. Mom, what are you doing? Mom, is he dying? Let's go faster. Let's go. What's wrong? Didn't like London. Igor. How could I? It was the best weekend of my life. You, me, we are together in London. You proposed to me near Big Ben. I couldn't have dreamed of such a thing. What's wrong with the mood then? Well, I'm still married. Sonia, I know it. You have to understand that a divorce is just a legal formality. Unless, of course, you're planning to get back with him. No. I don't want to hear about him. So, it's going to be like this. Immediately after the divorce, we get married. Wait. What? Tell me, are you capable of crazy things? How crazy? Yes or no? I'm a decent girl. That wasn't my question. What do you have in mind? Let's move in. Are you serious now? Yes, I am. Let's live together. So, and besides, my apartment is much more spacious than yours. Well, what do you say? The door is open. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I go first. Don't touch anything. The police will figure it out. Leave it. Someone was rummaging around. Yes. The thieves. I've got nothing. I immediately pay the money to the bank. But the thieves don't know about it. Should I call the police? The vacation is over. Great excuse to turn on the phone. Well, and here we go. Yes, it's Yegor. What? 
No, no, listen. Dad passed away. No, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Do not freak out. Do not freak out? Mom, do you even understand what happened? Christina, calm down. It is what it is. We have to keep going with Igor. Are you out of your mind? Do you hear what are you saying? Mom, you just killed a man and I was with you. You need to call a lawyer. No one will call anywhere. Good. Nobody saw us. They probably thought that the old stump died by himself. What if you didn't think so? What if the nurses saw us? Mom, there were cameras, we'll be jailed. Calm down. Sometimes I feel like you're not my daughter. Yes, I lost my temper. But now I can't change anything. Sorokin is dead. You need to pull yourself together and turn the situation in our favor. And what are you going to do? I'll think of something. I am so... sorry for your loss. It's all my fault. Listen, I... I know how hard and painful it is to lose a loved one. But life goes on. Do you hear me? Could you leave me? I need to be alone. Yegor. Don't feel sorry for me. Just leave me alone. Antonio! Are you in a hurry? I'll pay back. Good to hear. Pay. But not today. I don't have it yet. But that's for now. I'll get the money. Did I tell you about the interest? And about the pain? Yes, this is quite fair. I'll put you under water one more time. People will think you commit a suicide. Don't. I will pay you back, I swear. Your words mean nothing. I have no money, but I know where to get it. Enough for the interest and more to come. Don't make up stories. This is not a story. My wife owns a florist tri studio. Her insurance is more than enough for you. You're lying. No, I swear. Here, here. Here. See? Insurance photo. If something happens to the studio, my wife will be paid a huge sum. Your wife, not you. I'm her husband, so her money is my money. Your money is my money. Keep it in mind. We're here. Are you okay? Yes. 
Can't be better. The store seems to be closed. Should I take you home? No, this is not a store. It's my florist try studio. I don't want to go home. Don't worry. As you wish. Episode 4. Sonia, I'm sorry, I behaved like... Igor, hello! What? I'm at the studio. It's fire here, I can't get out. Save me, please! Sonia! 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 
Sonia. Sonia. Sonia, Sonia, how are you? Sonia. Here? It's even better than before. All good. No need to worry. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Do you understand how important it is? If he knew, we are done. The medical certificate is in the daughter's name. Don't worry, I'm the best. Here, for your work. Do you know her? Excuse me? What were you talking about? Lenochka, what's wrong? Nothing. My conversations with patients are confidential. So she is your patient? It's not your business. Get up. Wear this. You will be irresistible. So are we going? Of course. We don't tear our suspicion. So chop chop. Get dressed. I don't want to go. Igor needs support. Mom, he doesn't need my support. Maybe he doesn't. But you need to talk to him. We have discussed everything. Well, I'm sure he will be glad to find out about your pregnancy. But I'm not pregnant. Look. See this? It's your baby. I don't understand. What don't you understand? I bought this certificate. And the rest to make you officially pregnant. And you know Yegor always wanted to be a father. Maybe you are right, but I'm not pregnant. What are we going to do then? We will think about it later. Come on. Hurry up. I missed my father so much in my childhood. I knew he was somewhere there, but wanted him to be by my side. I... I couldn't forgive him. I couldn't. However, now I see what he was doing back then was for us, but it's too late. I've never said it. Igor, he knew it. He is always with you. Always. Igor, I even don't know what to say. He passed away so unexpectedly. Such a blow for all of us. Please, accept my condolences. And remember, we are always there for you. Thank you, Svetlana. Igor. I am so sorry. My father passed away and... I know. I know it's hard. I can understand you better than anyone else. If you need me, just tell it. Such a loss, Igor. Your father was a young man. I can't believe it. Thank you. Igor, can I have you for what? I understand it might be not a good time, but I can see Christina's struggles. Svetlana, again? Indeed, it's not the right time. I'm not about the breakup. 
It's your business, however. You must know. Christina is against it, but I believe it's the right thing to do. What's that? People's life is so unpredictable. Christina is pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. Here. Take a look. This is your child, Yegor. I beg you, don't tell Christina that I've told you. She is so sensitive now. She must avoid stress. What did you tell him? Oh, that's you. Anyway, you're not his level. Or anyone's else level. Christina, Christina! Igor. Sorry, I am lost in thoughts nowadays. I guess I know why. I doubt it. Why didn't you tell me? About what? Hmm? About pregnancy. You should have told me. Why? You dumped me. Have you forgotten it? If you don't need me, you don't need our child too. Don't say it. It's perfectly clear that child is at first place for me. I will never give up on him. Igor? Congratulations. You have dreamed of it. I hope you will be a good father. I don't understand how could she get pregnant. Well, you see, something like this can happen when mama and papa have some privacy. I've seen Christina's mother at the hospital, talking to a gynecologist. Now I know the topic. It's so nasty. Herbs. Bring some alcohol. Sonia, you must bring him back. Lena, he's going to have a child with his ex fiance What do you want me to do? Do you want me to destroy a future family? To leave a child without a father? No, that's not my point. But it's time to get up. How long have you stayed in the bed? It won't help me. How about your dream? You must aspire Please, after Please, leave me alone. I don't want to hear anything about Igor or studio. Leave me. As you wish. Sonia? Sonia? I couldn't reach you for three days. Are you okay? Yes. God, Sonia. What's wrong with you? The door is unlocked. Room is the mess. Is it you? Yes, it's me. Listen, I know what happened to your studio. You tried your best, and... It's so unfair. Who cares how hard I tried? You can't say so, Sonia. 
Who cares? Me, is it to daylight? I'm gonna make some coffee. For me? Coffee with brandy to cheer you up. You was a broom. It will be easier to breathe. Anton, you made coffee for me. Cleaned the apartment and now flowers. What's going on? Well, what do you think? We're not strangers. Whatever is between us, you aren't an indifferent to me. When you had left, I understood a lot. We had hard times, but... Frankly speaking, all of our marriage is a hard time. Yes. And I was the reason. I looked at our life from your perspective and saw what a monster I was. I'm sorry for that. I'm really sorry. But I've changed, Sonia. Yeah, don't tell me you'll give up gambling. But I did. Don't believe me, do you? Actually, no. What's that? I'm visiting this group for two weeks. They help people like me to give up gambling addiction. I'm sorry. I don't know what to believe. Sonia, I quit gambling. And I need to show you something. Come home for dinner tonight. Home? So? This is our baby. Such a strange feeling, I'm a father. May I go with you next time? No, Igor. I won't forgive you so soon. I can't stop thinking about you and... Listen, you... Don't talk. I got you. We both need time. I thought I would raise our baby by myself, but you're here. I can't stop smiling knowing that we're having a baby. It's essential for a child to grow up in a full family. Come on in. Hi. Let me help you. Smells so good. A dinner. By the way, cooked it by myself. Wow. Yeah, I hope you like it. I spent whole evening at the kitchen. You... You're so beautiful. Thank you. Come. Oh my. Have a seat. Anton, you've... You've never done something like this. 
Listen, Sonia. For the first time in my life, I realized what my life was like and how unfair I was to you. You took care of me all my life and loved me. I am guilty. I want to start all over again. But for real, you know? I want you to be happy. I want to have a baby. Do you want us to have a baby? Of course. This little detail, our child, will make our family complete. Anton, I'm sorry. I can't now. Everything is so fast. Sorry. Well, let's have dinner then. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, move. Excuse me? Yes? Why was he arrested? Vadim has used his position and was engaged in forging medical certificates. About pregnancy? Yes, about pregnancy, ultrasound, and so on. I can't even believe he did it. Here. He changed pregnant women's ultrasounds and wrote everything down in a notebook. Not to forget. Christina Lebedeva. Christina Lebedeva. Hi. Sonia, you can't believe what happened. Are you leaving? Yes, I'm going back with Anton. Anton, are you out of your mind? He destroyed your life. Lena, is this your reason to come? Everyone is so smart, knows what's best for me. Take care of yourself. But I'm going back to my husband. But you don't have to. The doctor was arrested in our hospital. So what? He is a gynecologist, and he gave everyone false pregnancy certificates. Just think, he issued the same certificate to Christina. She is not pregnant, she is deceiving Igor. Yes. Wow. Wow? Is that all you want to say? Lena, what do you want from me? The reason isn't in Christina's pregnancy, but Igor's behavior. If he wanted to be with me, he probably would have been here. How can you understand? He is responsible. He doesn't want to leave his unborn child. Christina is the bad guy here, and you have to go tell him everything. Should I? Yes. No. It's all over with Igor. My life is getting better. And by the way, Anton quit gambling, and he wants us to have a child. Anton? Yes. Yes, Lena, he has changed. When I felt bad, Anton came to support me, and Igor turned away. So that's it. I'm done. One doctor was accused of bribes and falsification of pregnancy certificates in our hospital. I don't quite understand. Why do you tell me this? He forged such a certificate for Christina. She is not pregnant. Bullshit. Listen, if you need evidence or details, contact the head chief, Tikhonov Fyodor. He will tell you everything. Visit him.
What are you doing? Something important. Important? Anton, I hope you... I'm not playing. I told you I quit it. So what are you doing? I'm looking for a job. So many vacancies, I don't even know what to choose. For example, a courier with a bike. What do you think? It's winter now. Well, then I'll put on winter tires. Or this. Handing out flyers dressed as a Christmas bunny. Hourly payment. Seriously, rabbit? Imagine that. Your husband is a Christmas bunny. Yes. Yeah. Listen. Maybe you can do repairs? You were good at it. And the income was good. Repairs? Yes. Why not? As in the good old days. As in the good old days. Well, what are you planning now? I don't know. I don't know. Probably I'll beg to take me to an old job. No. My wife deserves more than an office job where no one appreciated her. What should I do then? Don't give up. And keep doing flowers. Let's open a new studio, I'll help you. We're together now. We're a team. We are the force. Are you serious? Yes. Anton. I don't understand. I really don't understand. How can you be like that? I even can't call you a human. Fake pregnancy certificates, fake ultrasound. This is the height of hypocrisy. Igor, listen. It's all for us. I love you. Do you? Do you love me? You're a callous, selfish being. I'm afraid you don't even know what love is. And you'll never know. Igor, I do love you. Enough. Enough. Because of you. You are the reason why I ruined my relationship with the person I truly love. You knew how I feel about children and took advantage of it. I will never forgive you. Never. Of course it was you. Here's the one who's behind all this. Igor, take it easy. Let's discuss everything. Nothing can stop you. Victory at any cost? You will even go to such meanness, right? Igor, it's all for you. For all of us. You and Christina will be fine. Trust us and everyone will be happy. What a family you are. You know what? You deserve each other. It's good that I figured everything out on time. Igor, wait. Wait, Igor, come back immediately, Igor! Are you happy? Yes, I can believe it. Who would have thought Anton could change? Are you together now? Yeah? Yes, we are. And? Eliana. Well, we sleep in the same bed. We haven't had any intimacy yet. Well, I'm glad if you're okay. That's how it should be. Yeah. Can you imagine? He said he wants me to keep doing my job, even though the studio burned down. Oh. Does he know about a huge loan you have to pay off? Yes. And he wants to help. No one will give you money for a second studio. It's not necessary. We will do the repairs ourselves. The studio was insured, and soon we will get check. Does Anton know about it? I'll tell him when the decision of the payment will be made. Lena, I haven't seen him like this before. It's all your fault. If you hadn't interfered, everything would have gone on as usual. And Yegor would have married me sooner or later. We didn't have time to wait. Yegor only fooled you around. You started dating back in London. And look how many years have passed. What's the difference he has left? We still have chance. We will come up with something. What can we do? Anything. We have to think first. Mom, stop. Thank you. I have one notary. He owes me. 
You need to talk to him. What does the notary have to do with it? Well, we don't need Igor himself. We need his money, his father's company. If we can't get Igor, let's try to get his company. Mom, is murder not enough for you? Now you want to go raiding. And what do you suggest, daughter? Maybe you can tell me the way out. Except. Except. We are bankrupt. We can't pay our obligations. I will be judged. Do you remember it? I remember. Then they will know about the murder. You will go as an accomplice. Goodbye. Sonia, wait. Sonia, stop. Don't you see I'm waiting for you? What do you want? One more conversation. Yes, and it is very important. I don't think so. Christina isn't pregnant. All this was a lie. I know. Then you must understand me. I don't owe you anything. Whether Christina is pregnant or not, it doesn't matter. Our relationship is over. Igor, you're not a little boy. You must understand this. Listen, even when I thought Christina was pregnant, I didn't stop loving you. You can't imagine how hard it is to choose between loving you and loving my child. Why do I have to understand you all the time? Can you understand me? I want family, Igor. A real family. Hey, jerk! I'm gonna break all your bones now. Anton, wait a minute. Meet my husband. Yes, he is not exemplary. But he tries to change for the best. And he does it for me. I saw from the window how this idiot was talking to you. Do you know him? No. Have you received the insurance? Yes, the money is here. And you are carrying it with you. We should have gone to the bank together. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, I'm coming. The examination after your father's autopsy was somewhat delayed. But now the results are ready. I still don't understand anything. There are bad news. Your father... He didn't die a natural death. He, he was killed. And you are... Gennady Viktorovich, investigator. According to preliminary data, someone deliberately interrupted the operation of the life support apparatus. This is nonsense. I can't believe it. Why? Why would anyone do this? Task force immediately examined your father's room. There is no doubt. Sorokin Ilya Gennadyevich unfortunately, was killed. The killer plucked the tube from the machine, causing the death of the patient. Do you have any suspects? Not yet. You are the sole heir. That's why I decided to talk to you. What are you hinting at now? Nothing. For now, nothing. Even vice versa. I hope you can help bring some clarity to this case. The killer left evidence at the crime scene. This is a rhinestone. The rhinestone was left on the tube of the apparatus. Do you have any idea to whom it might belong to? A toast. A 
for the revival of the Flores Fry studio and for a new life. You know, for a happy life. For our happy life. So, now I can congratulate you. I hope you don't regret your decision. After all, this is your father's and my best friend's company. Not at all. Business is not for me. Well, now you're free. Do you have any plans? I don't know yet, but I know for sure I will return to London. Nothing holds me here. Flight is tonight. Good luck. Thanks. Lebedeva Svetlana? You're coming with me. What's that? You're charged with the murder of Sorokin Ilya. What a violent accusation. A rhinestone from a woman's nail was found at the crime scene with your fingerprints on the handset. So what? You'd better come with us voluntarily. Moreover, someone is waiting for you in the car. We will explain everything in the department. Please. Mom! Look out, don't hit your head. Anton! Anton! Anton, where's the money? Where are you? Sonichka, everything is fine. Are you playing slot machines again? No, no, everything is okay. Everything is okay. You are my baby. Go, go, go! Yeah, hello. Hello, this is a fire inspector. Could you come to my office? Details of the fire investigation have come to light. What kind of details? It was an arson. I hope you haven't received your insurance money yet. Otherwise, they will have to be returned.
examined. What's going on here? Sonia! What is this mess in the apartment? You've gotten completely out of hands. Anton, where's the money? What? What money? My money. You played, I heard it. Because I have a new 100% system. How much did you lose? Casino, they're bastards. Scammers. My system couldn't lose. Have you lost everything? I didn't lose. I was deceived. You promised me. You've been visiting the group therapy. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going anywhere. I said it for you to believe me. And you believed, didn't you? What? Yes. All those dinners, dogs, champagne. So everything was because of the money? Because of that stupid insurance? How? How could you? That was you. You rummaged into my apartment. And what should I do, eh? You left me in debt. And you have opened your own business. And I needed money. There was arson in the studio. Is that you too? Yes. Have you collected your clothes? Why did you stop? Come on, get out of here. You can't get away with this. And what will happen? What will happen? I'll go to the police. Come here. You don't go anywhere. Is it clear? Have you forgotten what it's like to live with a husband? I will kill you. Don't. I'll warm up dinner for you. You're hungry. There. Now I see my wife. Warm it up. And then clean up the apartment. Wanted to fool me, bitch. You're going to jail. Shut up. You will rot in prison. Shut up, I said. How are you? How are you? Look at me. Come here. Here. Sonia, Sonia, baby, I'm here. Hush, my dear, quiet. Quiet, hold on. Now, now. Hello, ambulance. A woman dies. Zarechna, 52. Sonia, Sonia, everything's fine. I'm here. Do you hear? Igor. I love you. Sonia. 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 I never had time to tell you this. But I know how much you wanted to hear it, Father. 
I forgave you a long time ago. I love you and have always loved you. Always. Hey, I told you to sit in the car. The doctor forbade you to move. Igor, everything is all right. I feel great. and The wound has almost healed. Oh, I won't survive if something happens to you. Everything will be fine. Let's go. Let's go. Are you cold? Four years later. I didn't think we'd see each other again. Yes. Well, I said I would come. Four years have passed. Yeah, time passes fast. For how long are you staying? My husband has business here. He opens an exhibition. Yeah, Igor's paintings are very popular in London. And here is the first exhibition. It's wonderful. By the way, I'm going to open Florist Dry Studio. So do you still deal with flowers? Yes. They're wonderful. How can I live without flowers? I have three studios in London, several in Europe, and more to come here. Sonia, you are great. No, Lenka, it's you. You are a doctor now. Uh, Yelena Alexeyevna now. Life is a strange thing. Mom! Run to your mother. Go. All right, Lena. I will go. We will talk later. Glad to see you. Mom! Mommy! Who is here? Shall we go? Give me a hand. Unsweet revenge. Honey? Let's do it. Yay! My dear, this is specially for you. Thank you for the 15 years of serene happiness. Misha, you know my weaknesses. It's a real masterpiece. God, I love sweets, and thank goodness I can eat them as much as I want and not get fat. Or else, with a baker husband. Yes, honey. For you, I'm willing to switch to diet cakes. Sorry to carve this beauty, but I have to. That's right. Thank you. Well? Come on, carve it. Who will get? Give me the plate, quick. The first piece. Thank you. Enjoy, dear guests. I'm not offering Marisha a piece. She needs to lose weight. But I would offer a piece to your husband, Petya. By the way, where is Petya? Why is he not here? He couldn't come, Falil. I see. Vitusha, you definitely must propose a toast. Silence. Attention, please. Well... My son is speaking. Misha, Mom, congratulations on your anniversary. I'm very thankful for your love and that we are a family, as it's true that a father isn't the one who gave birth to you, but the one who raised you. Misha. Dad. Thank you for becoming my father. To you. Thank you, son. God willing. Well, did I smell it? Don't be silly. Such a good kid. He really is. Thank you, thank you, Vitsusha. I really hope that on our next anniversary you will give grandkids for me and your mom. No, he won't. It's too early for me to become a grandma. You got that? Yes, yes, of course. Sorry, darling. I didn't think of that. Treat yourselves, come on. Please enjoy. Carve smaller pieces. 
I've missed you so much. We saw each other in the morning. I've missed you so much. Anya, aren't you tired of this secrecy yet? We had a deal. Vitya, your mother is the restaurant owner. She will definitely not want me as her daughter-in-law, although I'm a perfect wife. I don't even have a mother-in-law as a bonus. But your mother needs at least an innocent princess, and I don't want to lose my job. Come here. Marina, have you seen Vitya? He was just here. He went with Denise somewhere. Luda, you have to stop with this total control of yours. My godson is a grown boy now. He is my son. He has been and always will be. You won't understand this, Marina. You don't have kids. That's an interesting twist. Ludmila Viktorovna, I'm very sorry, I have to... Uh, Anya. Aren't you cold, son? Mom. What are you doing here? That's what I want to ask you. Well... I was going to make love to my girlfriend. Mind how you talk to your mother. Don't you think it's at least vulgar? Mom, I'm not 15. I don't need your control. Tomorrow, she won't be here. Don't you understand that she is not a good fit for you? Mom, look. If you fire Anya, I will marry her. Keep that in mind. Over my dead body. Why do you have to leave today, Donut? I feel so bad. No one loves me. And this carrierist wants to take my son away from me. Do you see that he chose her over me? Why aren't you saying anything? Ludochka, darling, we already talked about this yesterday. He hasn't traded you for anyone. We all love you very much. I adore you. You're my goddess. Don't get upset. Come back soon. I already miss you. Don't break my heart, my love. I miss you already, too. But you insisted that I take part in this international bakery tournament yourself. This will raise the status of our restaurant, as you understand. No, I don't. I don't understand why participants can't take their wives to the cruise. Sweetheart, I gotta go. I'll call you when I arrive. Don't be sad. Unwrap the presents you like that. Don't be sad. I love you. You're the best. Bye, Donut. Call me when you get there. Fantastic. So, God, how tasteless. They save on everything. I wonder who's this from. Could have signed it at least. Guess they didn't want to be embarrassed. I wonder, a heart. What? That's what I'm talking about. Wow. What's this? God. They got the right thing. My favorite. I wonder what's this? No signature. Who? 
Who is that? What is this? It's... Who is this? This can't be... Oh my god! What nonsense! Pick up the phone. Please answer. The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please try again later. Bastard! Bastard! You came. I missed you so much. Sweetie, I wish you knew how much I missed you. How are you? Well? Everything is good, thanks. Mom? Dad's here. Misha. You've been gone for so long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. Work, you know how it is. Why are we standing here? You must be hungry from your journey. I would eat a bull. I would eat you. Go wash your hands. I'll make your favorite in Kali. All right. Daddy, let me get that. Right. Anya, you know I'd be happy to. It's just... It's just work. You're just like your father. Although not a real one, you both are total workaholics. Yeah, you got that right. Misha's upbringing. You know what I think? Since your mom knows that we are seeing each other anyway, and it looks like she's not firing me, how about we move in together? Anya, you know how I feel about common-law marriage. And marriage in general. And that's very weird. You have a very good example of your parents. They're happy together. It's more of an exception. Have you seen the divorce statistics? I don't care about official marriage. And that's why I don't know the statistics, and I've offered to move in together purely for household reasons. Yes, I want to optimize time. We're both at work, we don't have time for dates, and I miss you very much at times. At times? Have you forgotten? I'm a cat who walks by herself. What? You heard me. By yourself? Alone? Mom. Daddy, when will you finally quit? You can earn all the money. Yes, our daughter's right. Honey, you know that money doesn't grow on trees. Too bad. It's impossible to find a decent job these days. How about you tell me whether you can move your exams so that the three of us can go on a cruise? No, Daddy, some other time. I'm so happy that you will finally go on vacation together. Caribbean cruise on your anniversary. 25 years is a good date. Why are we sitting here? What? We have to leave soon and the suitcases aren't packed yet. I forgot to pack our first aid kit. She's starting to fuss. Mom, stop. Am I a pharmacist or what? I'll pack you your first aid kit in no time. You do that. Misha. It's been going on for too long. It's time to put an end to this gamble. 
I'm tired of lying to Katya about your business trips. Let's break this loud triangle. Inga, you know perfectly well that I'm not doing this for pleasure, but for our family. You know that. Misha, I'm tired. I'm also tired, Inga. I perfectly remember what poverty is. If I divorce right now, I will get nothing because all of Lutka's fortune is her first husband's inheritance. I've told you about that. I want to speed up the process, but I can't withdraw too much out of the family budget. This would be suspicious. We need to wait. How much longer? A year, two, ten? I'm sorry. I'm just nervous. Of course you're right. Yes, we need to hang on, but I'm... so tired of sharing you with another. Ludmila, it's just work for me. You know perfectly well that I love you and our daughter. I'm doing everything for you to have everything you need and so that we don't need anything. Oh, you are so sweet. But hurry up. I've packed your first aid kit, but I won't be able to hold the plane. We haven't called the taxi. See? I'll get a taxi. Go get the documents ready. Hey, Nina. Where's mom? Ludmila Vasilevna is in her room. She saw off your father and unwrapped the presents in the morning, and I haven't seen her after that. She's probably still resting. Still? Go wake her up. Tell her I'm here. Yes, of course. Thanks. Ludmila Vasilevna, can I come in? Your son is here. Lyudmila Vasilevna. Victor is here. Lyudmila Vasilevna. Wake up. Yes, I've sent everything. I'll call you back. Nina, what's going on? She won't wake up. Mom? Mom. Mommy. Mom. 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 I think she took sleeping pills. Stop crying. Call an ambulance. She's cold. Nina, call an ambulance now. Okay. Mom. Mommy. Mommy. Breathe. Mom. Mom. Once again, I'm telling you, my mom couldn't have killed herself. She was a very strong person. Believe me, even the strongest people have moments of despair. But unlike the weak, these people make decisions fast. But we'll check all scenarios, of course. You don't understand. My mom was crazy about life. She took care of her health. She did everything to prolong her life. And she was terrified of death. Death and blood. That explains why she chose sleeping pills and alcohol. No blood. No agony. Oh, God. I came in and they were taking her out on the stretcher. What happened? Stop, stop. This won't bring Mom back. I'm sorry. I'm usually more reserved, but... Luda was like a sister to me. This is 
Aunt Marina, my godmother and our family Saturni. Vladimir. Killing herself? I can't wrap my mind around it. Lyuda is the last person to do that. I've already told that to the detective. Have you reached her husband? No, I tried, but the number is unavailable. Most likely he is on a plane right now. I have quite a weird request for you. Don't tell him about the suicide. Tell him it was an accident. I don't understand why. I told you, we must check all scenarios. Do you have suspicions? I don't. It's purely a technical moment. I must consider all possible scenarios. Again, my condolences. Thanks. Take care. I'll see you out. No need. I know the way. They can't do a day without me. Ludmila? Well... That's odd. Victor? Father. Answer. I can't. Do you want me to do it? Fine. Hello, Vita. Who is this? Hello, Misha. Hi. Yes, Marina. Vitya is busy at the moment. He forgot his cell phone in the office. Misha, something bad happened. An accident. No, no, Vitya is fine. It's Luda. What? What do you mean she died? What are you talking about? What do you mean she died? I don't get it, Marina. Is this a bad joke? Are you crazy? What happened? Misha, look, there is this hitch. Quiet. Yes. Yes, Marina. Of course. No, I'll try to make it, of course. It's just that I'm on the ship now, yeah? I'll try, of course. Yes. What? So he won't be coming? Now that's a grieving widower. Misha said he would try, but he's on a cruise right now. It's really problematic to get to the airport for him right now. The funeral is in three days. It's enough time to get anywhere if you want to. What happened? There is a problem. I urgently need to go home. What? You want to ruin my vacation because of that fake family? I've been waiting for this joint vacation for so many years. Inga, don't be dramatic. You know what, honey? Don't you dare leave me alone on a cruise here. I'm tired of being on the outskirts of your life. If you leave right now, you can forget about coming back home to us.
Our condolences. Hang in there. Hang in there, brother. He never came. Maybe he couldn't. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Where else would I be? Vitya, I talked to the detective, but maybe now is not a good time. No. I want to know what he found. To be honest, I wish he didn't. For 15 years, he's been living with two families, bastard. He has a daughter. He said he didn't have children. I'm afraid that's not all. What could be worse? The detective said he is on cruise right now. I know that. With his second wife. My mother is in a grave. And he's having fun with another at her expense. I won't let him get away with this. He will pay for everything. For every teardrop of hers. For her death. I'll kill him. Vita, look, there is no need for crime. You won't kill him, but you'll go to prison. Revenge is the dish best served cold. What do you mean? You can survive physical pain, but not the spiritual one. If you hit, then hit on the weakest spot. Do you think he has one? He does. His lovely daughter, Katya. Oh, Kola. You know, I want to fall in love like my mommy did. At first sight with my prince, my soulmate, and live happily ever after with him. You girls are all dreamers. But you, as a medic, should understand that there are no soulmates. Why not? They're only raging hormones and passion. As for princes, I think a monarch is of no use in a household. A pharmacist is another thing. Wait, wait. A pharmacist like you? What's so funny? Pharmacist sounds... brutal, by the way. Don't miss your training, brute. Don't forget about the rehearsal tonight. Have I ever? Have I ever?
God, I'm so sorry. It's just that you... The road is slippery. It wasn't on purpose. Did I scare you? I can get you to a hospital if you want. No, I can't go to a hospital. I have a pharmaceutical chemistry exam tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. Well, if you don't want a hospital, maybe cafe as an apology? But I don't even know your name. Victor. Katya. Nice to meet you. Now you know. Something like that. Wow. Yeah, finding a cure for cancer is a global dream. Yeah. I think that if you dream big, you achieve big. I don't know, it's kind of stupid to waste your talent on small things. Okay, tell me. Do your parents support you with your dreams? Yes, I have an awesome family. They believe in me. What do they do? Your father, for example? Oh, my dad is a very good baker. And your mom? My mommy is a hairdresser. She's a housewife, mostly. I'm just talking about myself. Tell me something about yourself. Who are your parents? Mine have died. Both of them. Not so long ago. I'm sorry. My condolences. Car accident. You could say that. Sorry, I have to go to work. Sorry, I'm the one yapping away. Sorry. Hey, stop. Don't even think about it. I'll pay. You know, I'm not used to having coffee at someone else's expense. Well, at least let me give you a ride. It's okay. It's not far. It was very nice to meet you. Bye. See you. Bye. Did you meet her? I was about to call you. Vitya, please say something. I'm nervous. I wish I didn't meet her. Aunt Marina, I'm not much of an Avenger. This Katya is not like her father at all. It's like kicking a puppy, honestly. She looks at you with these trusting eyes and wags her tail. Vityusha, how many times have I told you to never believe us women under no pretext? You included? I'm not a woman, I'm your godmother. Vitya, think about it. Mikhail impudently lied to your mom, to you and all of us, and we believed him. Why would she be any better? She is his daughter. You haven't spoken with her. She thinks her father is a saint. What did you expect? For her to immediately tell all the unpleasant secrets of your family just like that? You think she's... a professional hypocrite? I wonder... Does her mother know about the second wife? She does. They think of his. Tells everyone that she's married to Mikhail, although officially they've been divorced for a long time now. You know, I doubt very much that such parents would have a decent daughter. It's true that Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Well, what do you say? It's okay, I think. Why are you so, um... What? Up in the clouds. Did something happen? I did, my sweet Piro. I think I met my prince today. Is that the one on a white horse? On a big black car. Does it matter? Are you serious? Yes. His name is Victor, and I like him a lot. 
Too bad we probably won't see each other again. He forgot to ask me for my number for some reason. Looks like you didn't impress your prince too much. Kolya, you should have studied to be a surgeon, not a pharmacist. Why do you have to be so blunt with the girl? You should have thought of something so it wouldn't be so hurtful. Maybe he forgot to ask because he was distracted. Well, then you, Katya, should have studied to be an ophthalmologist. Why is that? Because then you would have known that all rose-colored glasses break glass inside. Fine. The heck with that prince. Show yourself. That's it. This makeup is much better. Do it for the performance tomorrow. Okay. Hello, Kolya. I'm downstairs. Are you coming? Victor? Hi. What are you doing here? I mean, hi. Waiting for you. Here, it's for you. Thanks. How did you know where I live? Stopped by your faculty. Do you work as a princess? Part-time. Wow. Who's that? Sorry, that is the one. No, Katya, don't even try it. Out of your league. Hey, man, what do you want from her? Keep in mind that if you hurt her, you'll have to deal with me. Kolya, go wait in the car, please. I'm going, going. Go on. Hurry up, because we're late. Your boyfriend. What? Him? No. He's a friend, neighbor, classmate. We've been together since childhood. And Piero at the same time. Damn it. Maybe I could give you a ride, because it looks like you'll be trying to start it until nightfall. Kolya? 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 I curse the day when my mother gave me this piece of junk. Kolya, he is offering us a ride. You said it yourself that we are late. What if he's some psycho? I don't get in the psycho's cars, and you shouldn't either. Well, suit yourself, and I'm not going to be late. Thanks. I'm so glad you found me. I thought we weren't gonna see each other again. Sorry I didn't get your number back then. I was perplexed, to be honest. It's not every day that you hit pedestrians. Listen, maybe it's the Stockholm Syndrome you're developing. It's when a victim defends their abductor. Don't mind him. He is more adequate, usually. What did I say? Stop over there. We're here. Here? Yeah. Cancer Treatment Center? Yes, thanks for the right. Well, my dear friend Piero, shall we? See ya. I've got your number. See you later. Leave her alone. Excuse me? Hello. Have you seen a princess and Piero? Yes, yes, it's right here, down the hall and first door on the left. Oh, thanks. Are you ready, kids? Yeah! Yay! Then repeat after me. And now let's clap. One, two, three. 
Now let's tell the sickness to go away. Go away. Warm sunshine will make us happy and will never be sad again. Come on. Yay! I'm confused, Dan. So confused. I don't know how to figure out whether that person is a hypocrite or not. I'm answering, my dear Watson. You need to get her drunk. All the secrets will start pouring in. Hey, that's a good idea. You're a genius, man. Well, since it's your idea, you're gonna help me. No, I'm not gonna make a barbecue. You don't have to make a barbecue. We're talking about a posh dinner with an appetizer and something stronger. With an appetizer? I just don't get why you need Anya drunk. She's yours anyway. After Ludmila's death, she thinks she's owner. We're not talking about Anya. Who then? It's better if you don't know for now. Are you for real? When it's a posh dinner with an appetizer, it's Dan help. And when I ask who it is for, then our many years of friendship doesn't count, right? All right, all right. I'm seeing my... stepfather's daughter. Misha has a daughter? Yep. And a second wife. Can you imagine? No way. Yeah, you're right. I wish I didn't know. I would have slept better. Kolya, we need to think of a new script. The kids loved it so much. Of course they did. They were delighted with my Piro. You're so self-critical. How did I manage to forget my keys and my mom isn't back home yet? I have Pilov. Want some? Sure. What would you do without me? I would have died of starvation. Is it him? What makes you say that? Because you lit up like a Christmas tree. Katya, I don't like this. Jealous? Concerned. Just look at him. He's packed. Rich, you rich. Yeah, right. Maybe even he's courting you as a bet. So he couldn't like me for who I am? No. No offense, but he's out of your league. Guys like him prefer tuned dolls. Don't think everyone in the same. Maybe he liked me. Otherwise, why else would he waste time on me? That's what I'd like to know. Or maybe it's love? The one? Katya, are you kidding me? Open your eyes. He's just playing you. He'll be sorry when he uses you and throws you away like he used good. Thanks for the support, my friend. I didn't know you think so highly of me. Katya, if you don't change your mind... I will tell your parents. Let Aunt Inga wash your brain. I don't want to be the one to blame. Look, I'm an adult, and I will figure out with whom to socialize myself. Wonderful. Then don't say I didn't warn you. Kolya, where are you going? What about Thanks. the pilaf? I'm fed up.
Well, shall we have another glass? No, not for me. I never normally drink this much. But I want to propose a toast. To us. Bottoms up. All right. <laughs> come on, come on, drink up. Bottoms up. I warned you. <laughs> Vita, what do you want from me? Just you. Me? Yeah, I'm interested in you. Why would you ask that? It's Kola. We had a fight. You know, he didn't like me immediately. I think he has feelings for you. Kola? No. He is an Angelina Jolie fan. He is looking for his perfect match. It's so upsetting. We've been friends since childhood. He is my best friend. I thought he would be happy for me when I'd fall in love, but he's going to tell my parents on me. I will leave you for a minute. Yeah. Come here. What's up? Vita, what are you doing? Why are you getting her drunk? She's just a kid. Maybe she doesn't know anything about her father's affairs. It's so kind of petty. And causing my mother to commit suicide isn't petty? Come on, bring the dessert. I'll bring dessert, all right. But will you be able to look at yourself in the mirror after that? I will. I had good teachers. Oh, and bring some more champagne. Champagne. Oh, I can't. The restaurant is spinning. Don't fall down, okay? Be careful. Vita. When I first saw you, the ground slipped from under my feet. Right, I almost hit you back then. No, not that. My mom fell in love with my dad at first sight like that, for life. I think you're my destiny, my soulmate. All right, let's go home. Don't fall down. I'm holding on. You're not holding me. I hit myself. You gotta be careful. What's going on here? Was that the private service because of which I got an extra day off? Who was he with? What is her name? Where did she even come from? Ask Victor. He's the boss. I just follow orders. He's not just a boss. He's your best friend, and you have to know. What part of my answer you didn't get? Ask Victor. Well, this is where I live. Wow. It's so minimalist here. Who's that? I don't know. I'm not expecting anyone. What if it's the neighbors? What if something happened? The hell with the neighbors. Vita, we should open. Fine, wait for me here. <gasps> Anya? What are you doing here? Is there anything you want to tell me? No, not here and not now. So I guess it's the end of our relationship. Let's talk about this tomorrow. Talk about what? The fact that you have a drunk chick in your apartment? I saw everything. Vita, bringing her to our restaurant is treating me like dirt. Wait a second, it's my restaurant, and I bring whoever I want there, okay? It's your choice if you throw a tantrum here. You know what my problem is. I love you. But it looks like you are not worth it anymore. Yes, Aunt Marina. Is it urgent? It is urgent and unpleasant. 
I met with the notary regarding your mother's will. Did you know that Lyudmila and Mikhail never had a prenuptial agreement? They explained to me that she thought there was no need to sign it because all of her fortune she inherited from your father, so in case of divorce, Mikhail would have been left with nothing anyway. But unfortunately, Lyudmila did not foresee her demise. And what does it mean for us? Mikhail is her lawful husband. Like yourself, he is a class one heir. Half of Ludmila's fortune goes to him, and considering that your mother gave him 1% of your shares at the anniversary, he and not you will have the decisive vote in the company. He won, Vita. This win will cost him dearly anyway. Katya. 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 Get up. Five more minutes. I won't miss my class, honestly. It's time to go home. You were on a horse just now. Me? Where? In my dream. But you were on the red horse for some reason. You princess usually ride white ones. Okay, wake up, sleeping princess. I'm not a princess, I'm a laughing princess. You always confuse us. Come on, I'll get you home. On a horse? In a car. Come on, get up. Easy. You're a genius. Careful. Hold on. Vitya, you're so strong. I feel so good with you. Vitya? I'm getting my stuff. What do you mean? You weren't home for two days. Is there anything you want to tell me? I think we've said everything to each other. What? I thought... Peter, wait, you're not serious, are you? Do I look like I'm kidding? Peter, we've been together for 16 years. Do you want to just undo it all straight away? Not straight away. Besides, you kicked me out yourself. Well, I made a mistake. I overreacted. You can understand how I feel. You slept with my friend. I do understand. That's why I'm leaving. No! I should have put an end to that a long time ago. I won't let you go. I won't let you ruin our marriage for good. Marina, will you finally wake up? What marriage? We lived on autopilot out of habit. So this is how you're treating me? I'm the autopilot? Look, don't. Don't exaggerate. Petichka, come on. I've forgiven you. Happens to everyone who made a mistake. And women these days fall for every decent man. And you're a prominent man. You're not made of steel. Plus, Lyudka probably made it all up. She made a mistake. Marina, don't humiliate yourself. Oh, I can make you your favorite tea, if you want, with herbs. We'll have a dinner or talk like the good old days. I've made your favorite pies. Right here. Here is our parking place. Well, shall we go home? 
No, I'm not going. Can you tell me your name? Or maybe we go straight to a hotel? So, what's it gonna be? Mommy Lulu, honey. Let's take a walk, sir. Come on. What's going on? Come on, come on. Come on. And what is a well-mannered girl like you doing at our hellhole? I'm very happy to see you too, Mom. Hey, hey. I don't get it. How could he do that to me? He traded me for some plain Jane. Oh, my God. She's no match for me, the drunkard. Your favorite coffee flavor? Mom, are you even listening? I'm losing a money-making man. The important thing is not to lose yourself because of a man. That's the main thing. Sit. Come on, sit. What makes you think that it's serious between them? Mom, he kicked me out of his apartment because of her. Wait a minute. Why did you go to him? Well, I had to find out. No. No, you didn't have to. How many times have I told you that no man can stand being taken seriously? And if you start chasing him, then that's it. You basically lost him. It's easy for you to say. Your lover is chasing you, giving you flowers. Yes, and I don't keep him on a leash. If he doesn't like something, he can go on his merry way. I can't do that. Mom. He traded me for some basic chick. There's nothing to look at. Men are strange creatures. They fell for curves and marry basic chicks. Thanks for comforting me. So what, I have to turn into a basic chick now? No one said it was gonna be easy. Besides, your Victor is a tidbit, especially since his mommy passed away. By the way, I could tell boys to go and rough up the face. Of that basic cheek of yours, if you want. No, mom. No need for crime. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. You know, when I saw him with that other girl, I felt like I was falling apart. I don't like that. You haven't fallen in love, have you? Anya. Love is an excusable weakness. Love is capable of ruining even the most perfect of plans. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. But there is nothing I can do about it. What's going on? Where's Katya? At home, she is asleep. What were you doing at her home? Walking her to her door. 
Don't worry, she's fine. She just had one too many. What do you mean? The hell are you talking about? Katya doesn't drink. Maybe that's why she became drowsy straight away. I just drove her home. Any other questions? Yes. Why do you need her? And don't tell me about love at first sight. I won't fall for that. It's none of your concern. It is my concern. Katya is like a sister to me. If you hurt her in any way, I will hunt you down. You got that? You do that, Hunter. But get your hand off me, so you don't get a cast. I told you she's asleep. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. Couldn't. I had the perfect opportunity, but... I'm afraid I'm not even close to being like my stepfather. Mikhail would have taken advantage of the situation if he was you. I don't want to be like him, Aunt Marina. You know, I'm having second thoughts. What do you mean? God forgive me if I'm slandering, but Mikhail knew that in case of divorce with your mom, he would get nothing. She inherited her fortune from your father, but in case of her death, he becomes a free millionaire widower. What are you getting at? Well, we still don't know who gave Ludmila those ill-fated pictures. You think he did it himself? And left to provide himself with an alibi? Himself or an interested part? Wife, for example? Daughter? No. No, I mean, I'm not sure about the wife, but Katya, I don't think she knows anything. She believes her father is a saint and works tirelessly for the good of the family. That's why he goes on business trips so often. That's her version. What if she is like her father more than you think? You also believed Mikhail, considered him your second father. You said that at the anniversary yourself. I did. Now I regret it very much. Vita, if I were you, I would check what's what. And don't discount this girl. She may not be as harmless as you think. To be honest, yes, I suspected that. But I didn't fully believe it. Boy. If I ever drink something stronger than Quest. He's an asshole, that VT of yours. You got off lightly, you know. At least he was smart enough to get you home. Hey. He didn't do anything there, did he? No, Kolya. He didn't harass me, if that's what you mean. He behaved more than nobly, actually. He drove me home, carried me in his arms like a real prince. Princes don't get princesses drunk. I almost called the police yesterday, you know. And what were you thinking of inviting him in? He could have robbed you, or even raped you, or killed you. Do you even know the statistics in our town? Kolya, don't yell, please. I wasn't thinking. I was asleep. Great. Eat. Thanks, but I hate oatmeal. You know, I hate a lot of things, too. That admirer of yours, for example. But I tolerate him, so eat. Look, seriously. 
while your parents are away. I'm responsible for you. That's why I insist you break up with this suspicious guy. I will decide who I date. Plus, I like Victor a lot. Don't tell me you're in love with him. What if I am? Are you expecting someone? Not really. Open the door, please. I'll go get dressed. Ta-da! I'm not here to see you. Speak of the devil. Katya, Katya, are you home? Yeah. Hi. Did you order a hangover remedy service? Natural lemon juice with honey will quickly get you back on your feet. Thanks, you're so caring. Sorry, I don't know how that happened yesterday. I've never drank before. It's okay, there's a first time for everything. Here, it's for you. Thank you. Is it okay if I'm here? Not really, actually. Hey, hello! Kolya, come on. You come on. Sorry. This dude hypnotizes you like a boa constrictor to a rabbit. You completely stop thinking when you see him. Dude, use your head! Hey, watch how you speak with the girl. She's a girl to you. To me, she's a friend. Stop making me look like an idiot in front of Victor. Oh, so that's what you're worried about. Looking stupid in his eyes, right? Then believe me, that's exactly how he sees you, because that's how you behave. That's it. I'm not six. I've got a mind of my own. Doesn't look like it. I don't pry into your personal life. Please do the same for me. Okay. Live how you want to live. I'm sorry you're not hearing me. And when you break up with this maniac, give me a call. Tell me, don't you feel sorry for her? I guess not. Sorry. Don't blame yourself. It's just not a good time. No, you came at the right time, as always. Tea? Yep. Picha left. You were right, Luda. He traded me for that. Fuluzi. Luda, she doesn't even have higher education, none whatsoever. Can you imagine? He's a PhD in philology and he's more interested in being with her than with me. Misha isn't back yet. Also a joke. I don't know whether any decent men are still there, Luda. Don't worry about Vita. He's doing all right. I'll look after him. Oh, I almost forgot. Look what I brought you. Your favorites. You shouldn't have told me about Peter, Lusa. You knew I'd explode and he'd live. He's proud. And I'm so afraid of loneliness, Lucia. I should be going now. It's getting cold. I'll come back in a day or two. I'm not on a diet anymore, Lucia. You know what I think? I'd rather be chubby. But alive, then thin and dead. Mm. Maybe you'd like some milk with your tea. Yes. Can I have some? Sure. I like it very much. Me too. Thanks. Really? Yes.
The omelet is just wonderful. I often make myself one like this for breakfast. What do you mean? I thought this my dad's special recipe. What a liar. How do you know this recipe? My stepfather taught me while he was still alive. Oh. He was a good man. He taught me a lot of things. Thanks to him, I am a good cook. It's sad that people like this pass on. It is sad. But let's not talk about sad stuff, because the omelet is amazing. Thank you. Lemonade as well, by the way. Yeah, and you bother to come visit me in the morning. You probably have some work to do. I was worried about you. Right. And what about work? It's not going anywhere. I'm my own boss. How's that? Family business. Oh. Your father also has some kind of firm, right? No, my dad works at some big company. Really? What's it called? I don't know. I always asked him and something always distracted us. It has something to do with baking. That's odd. I just thought everyone knew where their parents worked. True. I'll ask my dad when they come back. Well, thank you. I'll wash up myself. No need. Sorry, it's... It must be from work. No hiding from them. Yes, Vladimir, I'm listening. Here's the deal, Victor. I reviewed the results of your mother's autopsy. Some things seemed strange to me, and I ordered an additional examination of material evidence of poison we seized in the bedroom. Anyway, I found something very interesting. But it's better if we talk about it in person. Come see me if you have a minute. Yes, of course. Okay. I'm on the way. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. See you then. Go. I don't know what's up, but I guess it's very important to you. It is very important. Sorry. Thanks a lot for the breakfast. And for the kiss. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'll be there soon. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll be there. Does anyone else know about this? Only you, me, and the forensic expert. So my mother was murdered. Looks like it. Only while the investigation is ongoing, no one should know about it. The test results clearly showed that the sleeping pills that Ludmila allegedly took were in the sweets given to her. However, this is a very presumptuous move. What were the chances that she would eat the given sweets? Big. Those weren't just sweets. Those were handmade French sweets, mom's favorite. My mom loved sweets, and everyone knew that. She even boasted that she could eat sweets and not get fat. Do you have a guess who might give her that gift? As far as I understand, it appeared during the anniversary celebrations, so it could be one of the guests or employees. 
I know it could be my stepfather. He didn't love my mother. He had to tolerate her because he couldn't get a divorce. Otherwise, he would have lost everything. But in case of her death, he would become a co-heir. I think it's a beautiful plan to get his hands on my father's money. He even came up with an alibi. He went on a cruise with his mistress. Let me give you some advice, Victor. Don't jump to conclusions. My experience tells me that most often a crime is committed by the person you would think the least of. Do you have a person like that on your list of suspects? I do. But I wouldn't want to say their name. I mean, you said it yourself that it's better not to jump to conclusions with these things. And don't forget about table five. You got that? Great. Hi. Hi. Okay, get to work. I was just about to call you. About yesterday? Forget about that. I was wrong. I understand that we are both free people and we have the right to live our lives the way we want it. I have no right to ask you anything. I should apologize for yesterday. I don't know what got into me. All right? Yeah, sure. Great. Now, excuse me, I have to work. New visitors. What was that about? I have no idea. I thought she would kill me for yesterday, and she's just... Your coffee? Thanks. Bring me a bun or something. Right away. Because I haven't had breakfast yet. She's been out of control since the morning, bossing everybody, me included. I wouldn't have guessed by the looks of her. She seems calm. Here's my advice to you. Don't fall for these provocations, because Anna is a provocation on her own. She's probably up to something. I'm not. It's just... Odd. She basically just dumped me. That's good. Why is that? Well, you have another. So, how's Cinderella? Bad. Why? Is she ugly? I saw her yesterday. She seemed all right. She's not. She's just naive. She has zero experience with men. I fed her some fairy tale and she fell for it. So she's dumb? She's not dumb. She's studying to be a pharmacist. She might get an honorary degree, by the way. It's just that she looks at life through rose-tinted glasses. And you've decided to take those glasses off of her, right? It's not a good idea, Victor. You know, if a person is good, not scared by life, you could easily break her. Then what? You're not like this shrew. You're a good man. How are you going to live with that? It's fine. I'll manage. Dan. Mom was murdered. The forensics confirmed it. No way. Man. So, do you think this girl is involved? I don't think anything. It's just that... Her family benefits from my mom's death the most. Katya as well. What took you so long? Were you baking it or what? Here you go. I will, of course, send them to forensics. Maybe there are some fingerprints left. But you have to understand that this is not an evidence. Why not? You said it yourself, that everyone knew about your mother's love for sweets. 
Especially considering that it was her favorite sweets. Anyone could bring those. Yeah. You're probably right. I haven't thought of that. Although... Your version is also plausible. Some perpetrators tend to go back to the crime scene or visit the victim's grave. I mean, if the murderer has a guilty conscience. Then this allows us to remove your stepfather and his first wife from the circle of suspects. How come? Well, you said it yourself that they're on a cruise right now. But it could be someone associated with them. Maybe that person didn't kill her, but they knew about their plans. But it's just speculation. I will find out whether it's speculation or not. Hey. Hey. I am very glad you came. Is everything okay? Did something happen? I love you. What? Misha, be serious. We just landed and you are going straight to work. Inga, don't start, please. I was absent for too long as is. This might raise suspicions. You don't want us to have problems, do you? Us? You, rather. Why don't you say that you've missed your lawful wifey? God, the only person I've missed is our Katya. You know who I haven't missed? You! Because I'm tired of your nagging. You like going on a cruise, but you don't like how I make money for that cruise. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Please, don't act on my nerves. They'll bug me when I get back to work as it is. Why would they bug you if, as you put it, it was a planned trip? Because I told you at the very beginning, there are serious problems at the restaurant. Oh, please, don't make me laugh, Misha. What problems? Did your restaurant burn down? No, my restaurant didn't burn down. Everything else can be fixed. God, I'm so tired of this. When will this end? No need to look here. Drive and watch the road. Maybe you want me to leave? Come on. Enough. We apologize. Yeah, right. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Yay! You're here. Hi. Hi. How are you? Everything is good, Mommy. How are you? Hey, sweetie. At least somebody in our family is doing good. Did you two have a fight or something? Ask your father. Dad? Katya, make us some tea, please. Dad, what happened? Nothing happened. I was called to work, and your mother is raging. So you're not gonna stay with us even for a few days? That's not fair. That's what I'm saying. Is it fair to use heavy artillery against me? Is it fair to be home on short visits? That really, maybe you should change your job, because we barely see each other. I know. I promise. This business trip will be my last. Are you serious? Well, that's what you wanted. Yay! Misha. Daddy. Misha. I'm so happy. That's wonderful. Since everybody's happy, I have good news. I'm in love. I have a boyfriend.
Why are you smiling? Why? What's so good about that? Wait. Fell in love with whom? Is it Kole? What's Kole have to do with it? Kole is just a friend. And that one's a real prince. Sweetie, you have to understand that there are no real princes. All men are jerks. You can't trust them. Dad, but you're a man too. I'm also a jerk. Ask your mom. I second that. And you're still little. Dad, I'm 20. You know, it's trendy to get married after 30 these days. No one says everything about marriage. We're just dating. You're like him, I guarantee you. He's the best. I don't know. I doubt it very much. Okay, 32. Something doesn't add up again. How long are you going to be depressed? Until he calls me. Mom, your advice doesn't work. I've been acting like a complete idiot for two weeks now. Friendliness, indifference. What's the point? Zero attention. He doesn't even call me. He will. How can you know that? I asked my boys to follow him. Do you even know whom he is seeing? Well, yeah. Some student. Not just any student, but the daughter of his stepfather. The one? From the picture? Because of which Lyudmila killed herself. That is what I'm telling you. Mom! He is taking revenge on her. It's revenge! Godness. Can you have patience and wait? He's not going anywhere. He'll call you and go let me do my work. Lost count again. Mommy, you fell in love with dad at first sight, didn't you? You told me yourself. It is what it is. Only your dad is also far from perfect. I don't need a perfect prince. I need someone who I could be silent with. My kind of man. Is Vitya like that? Yes. Yes, mommy. When I'm around him, I feel that everything is in its right place, you know? Some joy embraces you that you want to sing and dance. You are infatuated. No, I'm not infatuated, mom. I love him. Is there a difference? Of course. Infatuation is temporary, but love... You know, I have this feeling as if I've known him all my life. He makes me feel so good, Mom. Have you even passed your exams, Juliet? Or because of your great love, you dropped out of school as I did? I got straight A's because he inspires me. I'm pleased to hear that. Well, get your Romeo and invite him to dinner with us. I would like to meet him in person. And it's better to do that before your dad meets him and ruins everything. All right. Okay, mommy. I'm draining you with my talks. Have some rest. Too bad dad left. I didn't even get the chance to talk to him. Let's hope it's his last business trip. Yeah, that would be great. All right. Have some rest. I'll make everything and you rest now. Thanks. Sure.
Yeah. There's life. Hello, son. I'm sorry I couldn't be at the funeral. The ocean liner was already at sea. You can't get off a ship. How are you? Bad. I understand. I feel bad, too. No, you don't understand. Are you mad at me? Well, yeah, I deserve that. She killed herself. What? What do you mean? It... Can't be. Ludmila would never do that to herself, Victor. How's that possible? No, she literally had no reason for that. We were doing well. Something's not right, Victor. We have to talk to the police. Let them have another investigation. Have you ever thought about being an actor? You'd be good at it. I don't understand what you're talking about. What? This. Nice picture, eh? Recognize anyone? Where did you get that? From Mum. It impressed her, too. Greatly. What's new here? Ludmila Vorobyova's tragic death. I don't understand. How is it possible? She died? Two weeks ago? Well, Robyo, this will cost you dearly. He went to quit, he said. Mom, where are you going? To fire your father. Did you to have a fight or something, Mom? You've been lying to us all these years. Yes, I'm not a saint. Yes, Victor, I'm not saint, but you know, many men have mistresses and I don't see anything criminal about it, but it's definitely not a reason to kill yourself. I will never believe that Ludmilla would do that because of this silly thing. So you're calling cheating a silly thing? Victor, please. She wasn't the saint either. You think she didn't cheat on me? Come on, get up. Get up. Get up now. Nice punch, good boy. But I'm not gonna fight you anyway. Yes, I taught you well when you were a kid, I know. But I'm not gonna fight you because I don't see the point. I don't even understand what's your problem with me. Your mom was satisfied with me. I was a convenient husband for her. Otherwise, she would have divorced me a long time ago. It was you or someone in your family who sent her those pictures and the poison. It was you. You killed her. What poison? You said that she killed herself. Expect a visit from the police.
Beautiful. Okay. Everything is ready. That's odd. Hello? Hello. Anya, it's me. Mm -hmm. Sure, come. Okay. I'm waiting. Yes, 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 yes! Hello, Mom. Mom, you were right. He called me. I feel terrible as is. Then you appear. Can you be quiet? I can because I also feel terrible. You lied to me. I didn't lie to you. I just didn't tell you. I was looking for the right moment. When? In ten years? Look, Verbio, don't take me for an idiot. I know what you wanted to do. You wanted to leave as a bachelor to the fullest without us. You'd come once every two months and have fun with other women at the same time. I'm sick and tired of these women. How about you stop nagging me? We'll see what your daughter says when she finds out who her daddy is. A jiggler. Don't you dare. Watch me. Don't. Shit. Misha. Misha. Shit. Misha. Misha. Shit. Inga. Shit. Shit. One second. He's in a coma. I won't lie. Chances of him waking up from the coma are slim. Excuse me. I didn't think it would be that way. I wanted to save them, get them out, but I couldn't. Vita, don't beat yourself up. You did all you could. Katya will go crazy grieving. Talk about Katya. Now she's the heir. What are you talking about? Well, if Mikhail dies or stays in this condition, she will get everything as his daughter. She's a rich fiancé now. Convince her to trust you with money management and... What, become like Misha? Don't compare yourself. You'd only get back what's yours. Restore justice, at least for your mother. You think when he wakes up, he will refuse your family's money? No, he won't. 
That's right. Think class, act more, and my advice to you, don't waste time. Katya's now a rich fiancé. Yes. No one's marrying her so far. Otherwise, you'd have to share your house and the business with her husband. The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please try again later. Are you kidding me? Mom, have you forgotten your kiss again? Oh, it's you. Hi. Hi, what's up? Listen, Katya, I had a call from Aunt Tamara from the hospital. I don't even know how to say this. If you don't know how to say it, then be straight. Katya. There was an accident. A serious accident, and... Misha, he... He is in a coma. And your mom... Katya, I'm very sorry. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, let me bring you some tea. I don't want anything. You need a hot drink. Look at yourself. You're all pale. Here are the test results. Put them on my table. Sure thing. I'll deal with that later. Okay, I'll be quick. Vita, my mom died. If my dad... It's okay. It's okay. You're not alone, you have me. If my dad also dies, I won't have any family left. Not true. That's not true. You have a family. You've got me. Katya, I know that now is not the time or the place, but marry me. What? Would you marry me? <laughs> Katya, hang in there. You should get her out of here. Katya, cool is right. It's time to go. I can't leave her here. She will be cold. No. No. You heard the priest. She's in heaven now. What if she's not? What if I never see her again? Come on, let's go, honey. She was so young. She had so many years ahead of her. Mommy. Come on, let's go, let's go. I hear you're getting married. Yeah, next week. We'll just sign the papers. It's how Katya wants it. The situation isn't the happiest, as you can understand. Yeah. You're all right. Surprised me, even. Really. I couldn't believe you two were serious. I'm sorry for taking smack at you at first. The psycho stuff and so on. It's okay. I would do the same thing if I were you. I don't think so. You take care of Katya. She has no one left except you and me. Yeah, I understand. 
Need a lift? No, I'm I'm good. Kolya? Will you be my best man? Mom, I've had enough of your advice. They don't work anymore. I waited for long enough. I was patient with him. And yeah, now I need explanations. What do you mean, not here? He's not at the office, he's not at the restaurant or at his apartment. Is he hiding from me? I don't know. We could ask Marina Alexandrovna. Maybe she knows where the master is. Please do. Hello, Anna. Victor's not here. Good afternoon, Marina. Yes, I've been looking for him. You don't know where he is by any chance. Thank you. Of course. I do, actually. He's at the civil office. He's getting married today. This isn't funny. Didn't he tell you? Although Victor doesn't have to report to his employees about his personal life, don't you think? No, I don't. And I'm not his employee. I'm his girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend, as far as I know. Anya, listen to my advice. Don't make it harder for either of you. And it comes from a woman whose husband left her. Fix your own life first, and then you can start advising others. How do you know that? I never told anyone about that. The world is a lot smaller than you think. Here? And right here. Victor and Yekaterina, I pronounce you husband and wife. Groom, you may kiss the bride. Her. God. God heavens. Hey, don't you know how to knock? More like you don't know how to lock the door. Wait a second, Piotr. I'm sorry. It's a family matter. Knock yourselves out. It's okay. I'll go grab a bite. Hey. Hey, have we met before? I don't think so. I would remember. He saw me hundred times at the restaurant. Sure, why would he remember the help? Looks like Victor treats me the same. I hate him. Okay, give me the glass. Isn't it a little early for alcohol? So what happened at the registry? Mom, he married that plain Jane. Is she pregnant? How should I know? I've lost him for good. Look, Piotr is also married, but that doesn't give me the reason and the right to go on the bender. But you said he left his wife. I did, but he did leave. Draw your own conclusions. It's not cast in stone. You can get rid of a wife. I don't see any reasons to be upset. Mom, I'm not a mason to know anything about stones. I'm just a woman, and I want to be chased, not vice versa. Anichka, use your brain. You said it yourself, that the girl's father is it a death door. Anyone would understand what is he doing there. I would do the same if I were him. I'm sorry I'm not as smart as you are. I don't understand. Victor was always against marriage, and now... Guess who will get the inheritance if his father dies? Not Victor. That is for sure. Wait, are you saying that? I'm saying that he doesn't need a wife. He only needs the inheritance. Yes, he is a calculating guy, so what? I didn't expect that from him. Anya, life can make you do crazier things.
Daddy, I hope you can hear me right now. I would like to introduce you to someone. This is Vita. Vita is my husband. We just got married. You know, he is wonderful. I think you would like him a lot. You always wanted a son. You know, Vita is very nice and kind. And he loves me like you loved mom. So don't worry about me. Now I'm watched over. But you get well, dead. Okay, that's enough. Don't upset your father. I never thought I would have such a happy wedding. It's all right. Your father will get better and we'll have a real wedding. We can have a church ceremony if you want. Of course I do. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought there is no one here. You must be his relatives. I'm Marina. Mikhail's colleague. I came to visit him from work. Hi. Hi. I'm Mikhail's daughter. This is my husband, Victor. You're Katya. Yes, Katya. It's very nice to meet you. I wish it was under better circumstances. Mikhail told me a lot about you. By the way, have you resolved the legal matters? I could help you with that. I'm a company lawyer. We were good friends with your father. I don't understand. What matters are you talking about? I mean the standard ones, particularly financial ones. Mikhail has bank accounts. I personally help him open those. He probably would have wanted to insure you in this situation. I'm sorry for being so blunt, but only God knows how long Misha will be in this condition. He needs highly qualified treatment and proper care. It is costly, very, and he has it. While your father is incapacitated, I think the right thing to do would be to give the management of his accounts to you, his rightful daughter. I think Marina is right. Yes. Well, I won't bother you. Misha, get better. Bye. Thank you. I'll see her off. She is even more naive than I thought. You did good playing alone. The only thing left to do is to talk to the judge I know so that Katya can represent her father. I'll take care of that. Then what? And then you'll have to convince your wife to sign a general power of attorney to you. As soon as she signs it, you will be able to take back everything that that bastard stole from your family. And how long do I have to portray a happy husband? At least a month. Even with my connections, I won't be able to recognize your stepfather's incapacity in a week. It's so long. I'm tired of pretending. Who said it was gonna be easy? It's kind of vile. Relax. Try to have fun. Forget about revenge for a month or two. Well, imagine that you really are a happy couple. Newlyweds. You know what bothers me the most? That this Katya basically has no one else left except me. I can't imagine what will happen to her when I also leave. All of her life she's been living on the money your stepfather was stealing from Luda. Now it's payback time. But Katya didn't know anything. I'm sure of it as never before. She's incapable of meanness. Do you feel sorry for her? Have you already forgotten that the girl's parents drove your mother to an early grave? Poor Luda, if only she could hear you right now. I haven't forgotten. All right, I have to go back to Katya. Enjoy your marriage. So, Hirov. Yeah. You know. I like her. Maybe we should do as she said. I guess. 
Your father probably would have wanted to take care of you. Yeah, you know, my dad always helped me. I think it's time for me to take care of him. He has no one else left now. Well, it's done. I did my part. Your father-in-law is declared incapacitated. Now it's up to you. What if she doesn't want to sign the power of attorney? Then make sure she does. Vita, look. Your wife may not be stupid, but she's in love. And when us women are in love, we rarely use our brains. We listen to our hearts, the man we love, so you are all set. Well, if she starts having second thoughts, give her this to read. Draft version, so to say. And the notary will have another one. Almost the same. I will change a few sentences, and that would be enough for everything to be in your hands. It's all kind of vile. What did you expect? Revenge is rarely sweet, my dear. Honey, is that you? Yeah, it's me. You are early today. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Hey. I went to see my dad this morning. Yeah, and how is he? He is okay. No change, but at least he is not getting worse, you know. That's good enough. Yeah, thank God. What about you? Are you back from work? Yeah. So my lawyer, Marina, she asked me to give you the court order declaring your father incapacitated. To be honest, I don't even know how to react to this. I mean, I should be happy that we've settled all the legal matters, but... It's making me kind of sick. You know, I wish my dad managed his money himself. Yeah, I completely agree with you. As far as I understand, you're gonna be managing not only his accounts, but business as well. You never said your dad had a restaurant and a couple of enterprises, quite large. What restaurant, Vita? What are you talking about? My dad worked for other people all his life. As long as I can remember, he was always on business trips. He worked for some company. What restaurant? But the paperwork says otherwise. Maybe he was doing it at the same time somehow. No, that's absurd. And why would my dad hide this from us? No. I don't see the point. Yeah, I'm afraid we won't find that out until he wakes up. Yeah. But you're gonna have to take everything into your hands anyway. Enterprises can't function without a manager. Otherwise, they go bankrupt, and dozens, hundreds of people would end up on the street. You wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Vida, come on, I can be a manager. I... No, 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 I'm just a pharmacist. Plus, I haven't finished my degree yet, so I can put in charge of an enterprise. Otherwise, I'll make it go bankrupt even faster. Honey, we must do something about it anyway. Business hates delays. As far as I know, big problems arose at the enterprises during that time. Vita, you have a degree in economics. Yes, so? Well, you have all the necessary knowledge and experience, so you should be the head of the enterprise, not me. I don't think this is a good idea. Why not? Your father didn't know me personally. He might have not been okay with me in charge. I doubt he would have liked that. 
You know what he won't like when he goes bankrupt. That's why, as his son-in-law, you have to take the matter into your own hands. Vita, please, do it for me. Please. Anything for the woman I love. I love you. Unsmiling princess, you ate all the cakes alone? And didn't even share with anyone? Not me, not the kids? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Unsmiling princess, get up. Now you know you can't be greedy and eat all the cakes by yourself. Look, all the kids know about that. Right, kids? Yes! Hey, Katya, what's wrong? What happened? I got dizzy. Help me, please. Oh, you princesses. So tender. Now I'm gonna have to carry her to the carriage. Come on. Okay, goodbye, kids. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, bye! Hey, maybe I should get you a doctor? No, it's okay. I think I know what's wrong with me. Maybe it's low blood pressure? I think it's just pregnancy. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> I've never felt like such a bastard. You know, Katya, she's... helpless, I guess. Hurting her is just wrong. But I can't forget the fact that her parents murdered my mother. It's some kind of vicious cycle, you know? You haven't fallen in love with her, have you? Victor, I've never seen you like this, reflecting. I don't even want to think about it. I understand. Dima, yes? Bring us something stronger, will you? Right away. I don't think coffee would be enough. Aren't you at work? So? I'm stressed, I'm allowed. Tell me, Victor. Have you ever heard that children aren't responsible for the sins of their parents? No, really. The girl had bad luck with her father. You with a stepfather. He ended up being a bastard. You didn't choose him either. Why does Katya have to pay for her father? So, here's to the cancellation of the law of the boomerang. We're toast. Yes, but it applies. Be careful not to get hit by that boomerang in your situation. It's so unfair. And driving my mother into suicide is fair? Whatever, Dan, enough about that. I feel bad as it is. Then do something to not feel bad. Give up your revenge. It's not making you happy. You said it yourself that your wife offered to give you the power of attorney. Well, there it is. You'll get all the money back your stepfather stole from you. If so, then this is how me and Katya will break up. Why is that? Well, because. Have you thought about what would happen when Misha wakes up? He won't stay quiet or make it look like we don't know each other. Right. Your father, stepfather, is a piece of work. But he'll stay quiet if it's in his best interests. Whatever. Plus, I won't be hiding her for the rest of my life. For my friends and people I know, someone will tell her the truth anyway. Then just disappear from her life? That's roughly what I'm about to do. I don't like that roughly of yours, Victor. Anyway, Dan, I have to end this circus. A tree with rotten roots will not bear good fruit, you know? You know what, Michurin? Just don't make anything more stupid. So you can clean up this mess later. Listen, you can call me if you need anything. And get an appointment with a gynecologist. Your husband should pay more attention to you. Vita doesn't know anything yet. I haven't found the right moment to tell him yet. Don't tell him. You're the first to know. <laughs> Thanks for the trust, of course. But don't delay the news or the baby bump will show before your husband knows.
Cola. You and your jokes. Thank you. Say hi to your mom. Okay. You know, I'm happy for you. I shouldn't have talked smack about him. He's all right. I'm happy too. He's very lucky to have you. Good luck to you. Thanks. Hey, honey. Hello. Will you be home soon? Yes, of course. Around seven. And don't worry about dinner. I'm cooking tonight. I love you too. Yeah. Bye. So you love her? I thought you were taking revenge on her. What? Sorry for being blunt. I couldn't help myself. Who told you? How do you know? I'm just not stupid. I can put all the facts together. Don't worry, Vitya. No one's gonna hear about it from me. Anya, what do you want? I want it. You. But that doesn't matter anymore. Say hi to your wife. A real chef. Who taught you how to chop vegetables like that? My father. I mean, stepfather. Your stepfather was just awesome. You know, he and my dad would have definitely heated off in the kitchen. You can say that again. It must be great when your father is always around. Did your stepdad raise you? Yeah, mostly. My mom was busy with herself. So me and my father hang out together, fishing. He taught me how to cook. And also how to fight. Although he wasn't much of a fighter, to be honest. You're lucky. My dad was always away. I wouldn't want it to be the same for my kids. That's why I won't let you go on business trips. It's a little early for us to have kids. I mean, I would like to have a baby. Right now? No. In about two or three years, I don't want to share you with anyone. Shit. Ouch. Give me the towel, quick. Katya, give me the towel. Almost stuck. Hush, my little one. Daddy didn't mean it. He will be happy when he finds out. Very. I hope that you have read the contents of the power of attorney. There's really no need for that. I trust my husband. Well, in that case, sign here. Right here. And right here. Oh, that's a relief. Vita, take it. That's all? Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Vitya, will you drop me off at the hospital? Me and Kole are having a play for the kids today. Yes, of course. Thank you. Hello, Nina. Hello, Marina. Is my godson in his office? Did something happen? Nina, you know I'm family. You can and you should tell me everything. I mean, I don't know, but it looks like... Mm. 
Isn't it a little early for that? Just right. I'm celebrating. To our victory. You don't look too happy. It's because this victory tastes rotten. Everything seems to be okay. Well, the girl signed the paperwork. Now you can file for divorce. Do you want me to start? I don't want anything, to be honest. It's okay, Vitusha. It will pass. It's passion. You've been through a lot. What if it's not stress? But my conscience? Your conscience is clear. You didn't kill and you didn't rob anyone. But that doesn't make it easier for me. Hey, don't overthink it and don't think bad about Vitka. If they asked me if I wanted to be a father right now, I would also say no. I am not ready. But when it actually happens, it's a completely different thing. You haven't told him anything yet, have you? Although, I'm sure he will be glad to have a baby. I mean, having a baby with a woman you love is every normal guy's dream. Immoral jerks don't count. Kola, you think so? I have no doubt about it. You're a true friend, Piro. And I had to become a friend of unsmiling princess who's always about to cry. It's the hospital. Hello? Is he alive? Hey. I was passing by and decided to drop in. Sorry, I'm busy. I left my wife. Well? Dad is starting to come to his sense. The doctor has registered brain activity. Thank God. Does Victor know? I can reach him. One second. The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please try again later. That's odd. Vita has never turned off his phone before. Maybe something happened. He is probably at work. Maybe he's in a meeting or something. Call his secretary and find out. I don't know where he works. What do you mean you don't know? He's your husband. I don't know. I've never asked. Why ask? Then call some of his friends or family. I don't know anyone. You were the only one at our wedding. His parents are dead. He's alone. Well, he must have some friends or acquaintances at least. What, he never introduced you to anyone? You... You don't know your husband at all? Looks like it. The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please try again later.
Hello, help desk. Miss, could you tell me the phone number to the morgue, please? Thank God you're alive. I got so scared. Please don't ever do that again. I almost lost my mind. I was uh, at a restaurant with my friends and lost track of time, and I left my phone in the car. I didn't even know who to call. I realized that I don't know any of your friends or relatives or where you work. I don't know anything about you. You really want to know everything about me? Well, yes. Yes, of course. Get dressed and let's go. Oh, I'm sleepy all the time. Mom, have you ever tried going to bed earlier? I have. I can't. Did he come? Yes. I told you. He was not going anywhere. He'd crawl back. That's accurate. He literally crawled. He was completely wasted. He didn't drink like that before. That's actually good. So, as of today, you are pregnant. I mean, he doesn't remember whether he used protection or not. Mom, what pregnancy? I'm telling you, he was absolutely hammered. He passed out as soon as we reached the bed. No, I mean, I undressed him, laid beside him, let him think that we did it. That's wonderful, but the important thing is that he knows that you had sex. We'll find a baby elsewhere. Mom! What? Don't act like it's not you. You've never been squeamish. Nightclubs were your second home. Or did you forget that? Mom, it was a long time ago. Don't give me that bullshit. Do you have someone in mind? So I'm gonna have to find you a donor again. Great. Only we need someone with guaranteed performance, either a daddy or from a large family. Genes play an important part. What? Do you have someone in mind? There's this guy. He told me he had four sisters. I don't think he'll refuse if I take him by surprise. Plus, he's been getting on my nerves lately, so I'll neutralize him. Everybody gets on your nerves. Come on. To my grandchild, only from a rich daddy. This is your house? Yeah. This is my mother's house. Let's go inside.
my God. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. This is Nina. Nina, this is Katya. Nice to meet you. Wow, look at those windows. So much light. This house is like it's from a fairy tale. And you happen to be a real prince. Right. And a queen used to live in this palace. But this fairy tale has a bad ending. What do you mean, Vita? Nothing. Come on, let me show you something. This is my mom. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. And young. She had all of her life ahead of her. Vitya, you've never told me how she died. What happened? She was murdered. Poisoned. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. Do you know who did it? Of course. My stepfather. With his lover. His first wife. All that time he lived with two families. Is that even possible? It is, if the person is a scoundrel. Wait, but you said your stepfather was dead. Yeah, to me. He's long dead to me. Vita, let's not go back to this house anymore if you want. We have an apartment. We live there. People don't need much to be happy, right? Only my stepfather would disagree with you. Although he knew that all the money that belonged to my mom came from my father. From my real father. What a scoundrel. Yeah. That's him, by the way. Vita, is this some kind of joke? It can be. Your stepfather is my father. Mine too, in a way. You... you knew it from the start. So Kolya was right, you took notice of me not because you liked me, but... You're completely not my type. I don't believe it. I just don't. This can be my father, and he couldn't kill a person, and my mom is the victim, just as... She always knew that he had two families. No, my mom would never let that happen. Sure. God, is some kind of nightmare. I'm gonna wake up. Yeah, and you'll be left with nothing. Thanks for the power of attorney. I retrieved the money that belongs to my mother, and you and your father are now paupers. Congrats. Was there anything real in you? Yeah, there was. Hatred for you and your family. Now get out of here. I don't need anything from you. Hello, Kolya. Kolya, come get me, please. I'm very cold and I'm very afraid of the baby, Kolya. I'm on the highway near Spenskaya. Kolya, please. Come get me. Hello. Kolya. Kolya. What's wrong with this? I 
I guess Misha wasn't a good fit for you by temperament, since you laid eyes on my husband. Yes, Ludochka, Peter told me everything. How you two had fun, how you laughed at me. And I trusted you so much. I thought you were my sister, but that's okay. It's a good lesson for me. By the way, I keep forgetting to ask. Were the sweets any good? I put an extra effort into stuffing those. Shit. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on, honey. Honey, come on. Well, come on. Where did we screw up? Where's everybody else? They left already. So there's just the two of us. I guess so. Look, if you want to shut me in the freezer, then you'll go to jail. Killing by freezing. I made inquiries, got that? You're funny. Don't be afraid. I have other plans for you. It's hot in here. Oh, thank God, you're awake. You really scared me, you know. Can you explain to me what happened? What's up with Victor? Why isn't he answering? Gotcha. What's wrong? Gotcha. Gotcha. Nina, I told you I'm not home. Come on, get up. Enough wallowing. Did Nina complain to you or what? Be gone, Cinderella. Or better, go get some beer. Yeah, right. Have you seen yourself in the mirror lately? Avenger my ass. Feeling good after your revenge. Nina, come in. Good morning. Nina, are you also in the enemy camp? Come on. What's this? It's better if you don't know. Then drink it yourself. I guess you won't leave me alone, right? Poison. Now eat. Take it. Look, it won't stay inside. Make sure it does. Look, I feel really sick, and now you... Sick? It's the foreign elements being rejected in you. That's why you're sick. What elements? Meanness, vindictiveness, malice, things that are not typical for you. That's why you feel so bad. 
Tripper. Have you heard anything about Katya? She left the house in just a coat with no money. She didn't even take her purse. I haven't. Eat your broth. You'll feel better. I'm afraid I'll never feel better. Katya. Katya. Katya, sweetie. Katya. Why didn't you come for so long? Yes, Katya. I know about Mom. They told me. It's terrible, Katya. Dad. How? How could you? Yes. It's my fault, Katya. I know. It's my fault. I shouldn't have been distracted from the road, but... How could you have two families for so many years? Lie to everyone around you. Oh. You know, Katya, don't make a monster out of me. I had my reasons for that. What reasons? What reasons? What reasons? When I met Ludmila, me and your mom badly needed money. Do you even hear yourself? Katya, don't judge a person not knowing their reasons. Good life turned out to be more precious to you than an honest name. What's good life has to do with it, Katya? Where do you think we got the money for your operation? Out of thin air? So... So it's all my fault. No, Katya. That's not what I meant, Katya. Katya. Just don't blame yourself for everything. He did it all because... because of me. Maybe initially because of you. But I think later he simply enjoyed that life. <laughs> Katya, don't cry, please. It's not me. It's the hormones. Pay no mind to that. Have you told your husband about the baby? No. That's good. He doesn't need to know about it yet. Katya. I've given it a thought and... and... Let's get married. Cool. Are you in your right mind? I mean, I'll adopt your baby. I'll raise him as my own, I promise. Kole, I appreciate this sacrifice, but don't. Katya, it's not a sacrifice. It's a carefully thought out and conscious decision. Just think about it. You and I are united by something more than passion or love. It's all fleeting. It passes. And you and I, we have friendship, and it's eternal. And I only hope that maybe someday you will be able to love me. Kola, you're so nice. At least I'm lucky to have you. So that's a yes? <laughs> You've got a visitor. Who? Daughter? Your son-in-law. Who? Son-in-law. What son-in-law? I don't have a son-in-law. Maybe you were in a coma for so long. I was, but not that long. So should I go get him? Well, yeah. Bring him in. Mm -hmm. What son-in-law? Is Kola the son-in-law? Yes. Victor? I don't understand. <laughs> 
Hello, Dad. Sure. I guess I'm not that good looking. I'm not a prince, and I don't have a black SUV. Kola, what's that have to do with it? First of all, I'm married. Secondly, I'm expecting a child with my husband. And thirdly, Kolda, there's zero romance between us. And don't pretend that you're in love with me. I know who you are drooling over in our class. Katya, you wouldn't marry me even if you were divorced. Yes, yes, Kolda, I wouldn't. Because you and I are friends. I appreciate our friendship. You know, that's what strikes me the most about you girls. You completely ignore nice guys and you fall for assholes. Well, you don't even object. Victor. Victor, I don't believe it. No. You couldn't have done it. Victor, I raised a good boy, not a scoundrel. Children learn from their parents, even adopted ones, and you were a good teacher. Consider us even, and your daughter paid for you in full. Victor, Katya didn't know anything. Mom didn't know anything either, until she died. Victor, you won't be able to live with that. I know you, it's not you. I already live with that. And stop pretending to be a caring father. You don't care about anyone but you. Don't say that, Victor. All these years I've treated you like my own son, and you know that. The way I see it, you just played the part of a caring father to gain my mom's trust. So I played the part, huh? Victor, all these years I was with you. Not with Katya, whom I saw briefly. You. I was with you when you won competitions. And when you lost, I was also there for you. I helped you with your homework, Vita. I taught you to drive, pick up girls. And who hid you from your mother when you came back home wasted for the first time and was with you the whole night while you were feeling sick? Isn't that a protracted part for a hypocrite stepfather? Mom paid you well for it. Congratulations, your scam was a success. No, Victor, no. My marriage with Ludmilla wasn't a scam. You had two families for many years. Victor, I had my reasons for that. I wonder what are those? I really needed money. And at the same time, in spite of everything, I couldn't leave my first family. QED. You weren't in my shoes. I would never do that. Victor, never say never. If you were in my place, if you were as desperate as I was, you would do the same thing. No, I wouldn't. Victor, wait. Listen, Victor, you will have children soon, and I wish you never know what it's like to find out that your child is gravely ill, and there's nothing you can do to save them, because your goddamn salary won't cover medical expenses even this much. And even if you sell your apartment and a kidney in addition, you still won't be able to pay for the operation abroad. And then you'll do anything. What the hell are you talking about? Don't you know? Katya didn't tell you that she had cancer. What? Bastard. Петя, Петя. What are you doing here? The worst part is that you're not even a girl. 
At first, I thought it was a student who uses something other than her head to pass exams. But surprise! Wrinkles? And the hair isn't yours? What has he seen you? I guess something that you don't have. And what would that be? Brains, probably. You think you won? Are you having doubts about it? Your turn moved in with me. By the way, thank you very much for kicking him out. Otherwise, he wouldn't kept on going with you. Should I call the security or will you find your way out? You won't get him anyway. Petya is either mine or nobody's. Why would he need such a fat old cow? Get out. You bitch! Hi. Hello. Who are you looking for? You. I'm Anna. I'm your husband's fiance. And what can I do for my husband's mistress? I want you to file for divorce immediately. Ask your paramour about it. He can do that without my help. Are you still hoping he will come back to you? I'm hoping that you will leave now. Do you know that it was Victor who saved your father from that car and left your mother to die in it? There is some original revenge. Aunt Marina? Mm. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I killed her. Who? Peter's mistress. He left me. Did you know that? And I love him. I do everything for him. I cook, clean, make money. Do you know how much they pay professors at universities? Pennies. Yeah. And my Petinka loves luxurious life. And women. Beautiful women. Like your mother. Lyudka shouldn't have slept with him. He said that himself. All right, I think you had enough for today. What's this? Blood? Did you cut yourself or something? I told you I killed her. With a statuette to the head. Do you see how much blood? I thought I would feel better. <laughs> but she comes to me every night. Who does? Petya's mistress? Your mother. We talk like we used to, laugh. I miss her. I miss her so much. 
But she brought it on herself. You can't get involved in someone else's family. You can't. But she's a queen. She can do anything. Break, crash, humiliate, insult. She loved that candy, and she told me that I should go on a diet. What a ridiculous way to die. Isn't that right? Aunt Marina, stop. And she used to take those sleeping pills for panic attacks. Can you imagine? The woman has everything, but she can't sleep. She's afraid. But what she's afraid of, she doesn't know. She asked me to go to a pharmacist if I'm some kind of servant to get those. And I did. And she fell asleep. I took the candy and a syringe. Bam! And she fell asleep forever. No, wait a second. No, stop. What about the photos? Misha. I knew everything about him. I just stayed quiet. I felt sorry for Lutka. I didn't want to ruin someone else's family, but she went and ruined mine. Tell me that fair. Okay. Also... Aunt Marina, stop. Also, she had time to call me. Mad as a hornet. She was all shaken. She wanted to hire a hitman for Misha and his family. She asked me if I knew someone who could do that. And then... She fell asleep. No, no. No, stop. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You think I'm Finned? You just didn't know your mother too well. Vladimir, could you come to my place? Right now. It's urgent. I know who killed my mother. This person has just confessed. I'm waiting. Mom? Mom, what's wrong? Hey! Mom! Help! Somebody! Help! Mom! Mommy! Mom! Hello, friend. There. Your favorite. Still some left since that time. You know, Lucia, I was thinking, men come and go, 
and female friendship remains. I hope we see each other soon. I've missed you. I don't know how she could run away. I thought she was in the room all the time. I've already ordered to search the area. Her car is also wanted. Tell me, Victor, are you sure of what you're saying? Because false accusation is... I understand. If you don't believe me, then find another person. Aunt Marina said she killed her husband's mistress. I don't know who she was talking about, but her hands were covered in blood. We'll check that. Although her words about the poison candy are confirmed by the autopsy results, chocolate was found in the stomach. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Who? Oh, let him through. Did Katya send you? Shit! Sneaky. You scum. How can anyone love you? Look, I'm not asking for your sympathy. You ruined Katya's life. Will you also take revenge on your baby for the fact that his father is a bastard? Baby? What baby? What are you doing here? How did you? I have keys. Give those back. You don't live here anymore. Katya. When were you going to tell me about the baby? Or did you choose to hide it? How do you... Although it doesn't matter now. It does matter. I don't want the child to pay for our mistakes. It won't. What do you mean? There won't be a baby. Did you have an abortion? No. Miscarriage. Yesterday because of the worrying. Now please leave. Nothing is keeping us together anymore. Or maybe you want to take revenge on me for something else? Well, go on. I don't care anymore. Katya, I... File for divorce, or I will. Idiot. I'm such an idiot. It will be okay, baby. We will leave. And he will never find us. It will be alright.
Well, come on in. Don't be shy. Don't be scared. I got this apartment from my grandma. I've been renting it out for a year. I want to save up for renovation. But given that it's an antique, the price is right. But for you, it's purely symbolic. I don't even know how to thank you, Serafima. Both the price and the apartment are good for me. Wait, you barely looked at it. You didn't even try to bring down the price? You're not much of a bargainer, Katerina. You wouldn't have fit it in out our market. Anyway, this is the living room. The bathroom is over there. Toilet is separate. No cockroaches. I did a disinfestation last week. The washing machine is as good as new. I brought it from home last week. The kitchen is over there. A guest stove. Do you know how to use it? Yeah, I'm a natural in the kitchen. My dad is a chef. Was. I'm sorry. My lady is all so long. Well, I've told you about the work. If you're okay with it, you can start tomorrow even. The money is decent, pretty good. You'd have enough to pay rent and buy food. And the fact that it's dirty, I mean, only lazy people's hands are clean. You really held me out. I wouldn't have got a relevant job without a degree. That's why I'm happy to get any job. Thank you so much. Thank you, honey, for making my Luba happy with unsmiling princess at your hospital, so one good turn deserves another. But you don't have to. I know I don't, but I have the right to repay good with good for once. So settle down. Take the kiss. Thank you. All right. Katya. Katya. Are you home? Honey! Hello, Nina. Hello. Would you call my son, please? Anya, don't worry. I'll be there soon. Victor, there's... I can see that. Nina, you may be excused. Thank you. So, it's Anya, after all. It doesn't concern you. Why are you here? It's not your home anymore. Victor, Katya is missing. There's no suitcase, her phone is off. Even Kola doesn't know anything. I thought maybe you took her. Maybe she went to visit someone? No, Victor, no. It's not like her. Victor, please, if she turns up... I'll let you know. Thank you. Victor, what's going on with you? I don't recognize you lately. Katya still hasn't turned up. Maybe I should go to the police? After all, we're technically married. Okay, and what are you gonna tell him? 
that you took revenge on the girl for your mother's death, hurt her, kicked her out of the house, and now she's missing. A word of advice. Let her go and move on. But do move on, Victor. I've tried. I can't. All my thoughts are about her. Where is she? How is she? I think I'm losing my mind. Well, if you need her so much, then find her. Hire a detective. People are found somehow. I already have. It's as if she vanished into thin air. Plus, she won't forgive me. She lost the baby. I kicked her out on the street, pregnant. Enough. Enough of this self-reproach, or I will indeed visit you at an asylum. Then you need to put her out of your mind. That's it. You've said it yourself. She won't forgive you. You think it's that easy? I know it's hard. Do something. File for divorce. Find another one. Beautiful, funny, cheer. No. Come on now. Not her, please. Anyone but her. Why? Give me one good reason. She's beautiful, smart. We've been dating for a long time. She doesn't harass me. A reason, you say? Okay. She sleeps with just about anyone. What? With me, for example. If I see you talking on the phone during working hours again, I will fire you. No, no, but there are no orders. It doesn't matter, you are not paid to chat, as long as I'm the boss here. You're not the boss here. Oh, Vija, come on, it's not what I meant, I... I better go. You're fired. What? You're fired from the restaurant. And my life. Vicha, are you serious? What's gotten into you? I told him everything. I don't know what he's talking about. I do. Vicha, wait, you can't do that to me. I've given this restaurant so many years and this gossip monger? He lied about everything. I didn't sleep with him. Come on. Nobody said anything about sex. Screw you. Vita, Vita, you... You're not a saint either. You cheated on me with that wife of yours. Do you even hear yourself? Shut up. Who asked you to open your mouth? You kept your mouth shut for so long. Yeah, you're right. I was a coward. I should have told him that immediately. You think this is the end? Don't count on it. I will get him back anyway. And the first thing I'll do is get rid of you. Well, good luck with that. You? Well? Come in. It doesn't help. This anesthetic is the only thing I'm holding on. If it's the trauma after the car crash that's bothering you, go see a doctor. What's that have to do with anything? You know, there are more terrible traumas. When it's right here. When it hurts right here. Ah. 
Did she go? She won't go. If anything... I know. I'll call you. You should quit it, Pops. You'll drink yourself to death. Do you care? Yeah, I do. Oh, Katya, hi. Hello, Zoya. Maybe it's enough mopping the floor with the baby bump like that. No, it's okay. It's not a big stress. Plus, the doctor tells me to move around more. I don't know, Katya. When I was scaring my baby, I didn't leave the bed at all. My husband even forbade me to sweep the floor. Katya, you know what? Come visit me after work. I'm making this soup. Finger licking good. Thanks, I'll try. All right. Oh. I told you. Where does it hurt? Stomach. It's contractions. What contractions? I'm only seven months pregnant. It's definitely contractions. Okay. Hello? Ambulance? A girl is in labor. What is this? The new girl's stuff. Waiting for the staff nurse. She'll come and get it. How's the girl? Critical. Her gestation period is too short for labor. Have you notified the relatives? No, she didn't tell who to call. She can deal with that right now. You know, check her cell phone. Maybe her husband's number is there. Okay, one sec. Yeah, I'm listening. Yekaterina? Yeah, that's my wife. At maternity hospital? Hi. I had a call from you. My wife was brought here recently. She's pregnant. Just a minute. Doctor, you asked me to let you know. He's here. Miss, can I... At the moment, she is in moderate condition. We'll manage to stop the contractions. The baby is alive. Your wife needs rest and no physical activity. I understand. And one more thing. Of course, all professions are held in high esteem. But a pregnant woman, especially this far alone, should not mop floors in a building. She can lift heavy things, and she dragged buckets of water. I didn't know, really. My wife and I had an argument, and I didn't know about it. Well, you do now. The life for your baby directly depends on your care. And don't leave her unattended. The contractions may resume at any moment. Go on, she is in room 9. Thanks. Over here, please.
Well. Hello? Hello. Hello. Excuse me. You lied to me. You'll come with me. The doctor said you need rest. I won't have any rest with you leave. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving your life now because I love you, Katya. Katya, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's my fault. I didn't know what I was doing. I was angry. Come back home. I can't live without you. Your father can't live without you. He drinks himself to death. I'm not going anywhere with you. You just don't have a choice. I will take you by force if I have to. And no one will stop me because officially we're husband and wife. So you will come with me and you'll live in my house until childbirth under constant supervision. I don't want to risk you or the baby. And then, do what you want. And what if I refuse? Refuse? Then I will hire the best lawyers and take the baby away from you, if you don't need it. This is your room now. You can change everything however you want here. I asked for your things to be brought here. If you want to have dinner, I'll ask Nina. She'll bring you some. I don't want anything. Will you leave your baby hungry too? I'll tell Nina, she'll bring you some. Oh. You will pay for everything. Vita is mine. Mine only. You got that? Dummy. <laughs> Come on in already. <laughs> Greetings to you, unsmiling princess. You have finally given me a smile. Because you sit here and spoil such a beautiful day with your sour look. I see you have swallowed a balloon. Where are you planning to fly? To the moon, away from problems. 
I am Unsmiling Princess, by the way. You should know that by now. I've missed you, friend. Коля. Forgive me if I offended you in any way. Come on, you can't be offended by love. Коля, I've missed you so much. What are you doing here? Is it dead, right? Did my dad send you? Your husband. You know, I never thought I would say this, but I think he really cares about you. He's been wearing me out with his calls. He kept calling, trying to get some news about you. Looks like this dude really loves you. He even declared a truce with your father. They both messed up. He doesn't love me, Kola. He doesn't. He needs the baby, not me. I hope that you're not going to take revenge on him, or it'll be some kind of vicious cycle and children will pay for their parents' mistakes again. I'm not gonna take revenge, don't worry. I just want to put an end to this story. Will you give him a chance? No, I don't see the point. But you loved him so much. It wasn't him that I loved. But a nice, kind-hearted, caring man. I don't even know the one next to me. And I don't want to. But enough about me. Tell me how you are doing. I'm getting married. No way. Yes, we've even filled an application to the registry. With whom? Remember Lenka Sinitsina from our class? The chubby one. Voluptuous. Ola, I'm so happy for you. Will you always appear in my room without asking? Sorry, I got lost in thoughts. Didn't have time to leave. I'll go see my father. Okay, I will drive you. Thanks, but don't bother. Kolya will take me. Am I so disgusting to you? Yes. You could have lied. Why? I'm like a prisoner here, as it is. You're not a prisoner, you're a mistress here. I just want to make sure that nothing happens to you and the baby until childbirth. And then? Then I'll leave. And you and the baby will stay here. I'll send the house over to you. I don't need anything from you. I need this. I want to be sure that in terms of finance, you are doing well. I won't follow you or harass you. I just wanted to be born. Her. What? It's a girl. I did an ultrasound. Daughter? So I guess we have to buy dolls. We need dresses, repaint the room pink. Let her be born first. Right, of course. Yeah, right. I didn't think of that. Okay, I gotta go. Kole is waiting for me. Yeah, okay, call me when you leave your father. I'll come get you. He will drive me. Oh, okay. Dad? 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 Katya. Katya. Honey. You... Why... Why are you here, Katya? Aren't you happy to see me? I am. Katya, of course I am. I'm very happy. It's just that I was afraid you'd never talk to me again, Katya. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I was... I was an idiot. I meant well, Katya. I didn't think that it ended up the way it did. Dad, I can understand one thing. How could you lie to Mom for so long? 
all these years. Katya, I didn't lie to mom. Fine, kept back. Katya, mom knew. No, no, that you're mistaken. No woman would agree to share her man. When Wita's mistress came to see me, I almost... I almost lost my mind. Anna came to see you? What do you know? Even you know about her. I'm so stupid. I mean, Katya, of course I know of her. She was his girlfriend before you. Clingy girl. She wouldn't have given Victor away without a fight. What did she say to you? I don't want to talk about it. I see. It's clearly something nasty. She would do that. Come on, tell me. And I'll tell you whether it's true or not. How would you know? When it comes to Victor, I know almost everything about him. To my shame, I have to admit that I know him better than you. Because he grew up before my eyes. You were away at that time, but believe me, he's a very good man, no matter what. Well, she told me that Vita left my mom in the car to die on purpose and boasted to her that he avenged his mother that way. No. No, Katya, it's a lie. It's a blatant lie. I don't know. Maybe I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but I did one thing right. I raised and brought up decent children. Victor couldn't leave a dying person. Dad, how can you be so sure? Katya, I was there. I saw everything. In spite of all the pain I caused that kid, he risked his life to take me out of a burning car. Inga was already dead by then, but he rushed to her anyway. But an explosion prevented him. In fact, he miraculously survived himself. But she told me... Katya, she would say anything for you to turn your back on your own husband. Don't fall for her provocations. If you still love him at least a little, then fight. Fight for yourself, for your family, for your love. I can't, Dad. I can't love a person who I don't know completely. Katya, but you do know him. Remember all the good things that happened between you. How you laughed together. How you were sad together. How you talk to each other, it's all Victor, Katya. It's all Victor, I know since he was a kid. A kind, caring man, good friend, and a wonderful son. You should understand. He did not take revenge on you for his mother. He took revenge on himself, because he can't be evil. It eats him up inside. Daddy. Katya. Yes, Katya? How are you feeling? Yeah, everything is okay. Thank God. What? Say, could you come get me from my dad's? It's raining outside and Kolya had to go to the institute. Of course I will. Okay, I'll be waiting at the underground parking lot. Goodbye.
Катя. 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 You shit. Катя. Don't die. You hear? Катя. I love you, Катя. Shit. Are you the husband? Yes. Then it's for you to decide. The condition is critical. You have to choose either the wife or the baby. I'm afraid we can't save both. The wife. Save the wife. Thank you. Thank you for my daughter. But you understand that... Katya will never forgive you. I'll never forgive myself. <coughs> there. She's been sitting like that for about 30 minutes. Did she really do that? Yeah. Whoa. I mean, a person must have limits. Unfortunately, not everyone does. I knew you'd find me. It was stupid to do it with my own car. I should have stolen one. Look, you almost killed a person. Don't you feel any remorse? Almost? So that idiot is still alive? Please. Your wife's condition is serious, but not critical. There's every chance that she will recover soon. And the daughter? I won't lie. It's a miracle that she's alive, but... There's no chance... The girl will make it through the night. She's very premature. Doctor, but there must be something you could do. I will do anything, any operation for any price. I'm even ready to find a donor. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. But there is something you can do for your daughter. Pray for her. God is merciful. My God. Victor, don't you dare falling into despair. As long as she's alive, there's a chance. Now I understand you. A father will do anything for their child. God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please help me. Dad, I'm... I'm scared.
Baby, my baby, my baby daughter, where is my baby? Blow out the candles. Are you ready? Wait, do it.